on P. Chat for me. We have 4,000. Twitch. Oh, like you can make me a mod, you think? Oh. We're live. We live? Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome to the TTW NBA Draft Reaction. Brought to you by Straight Talk. Available at Walmart.com and at Walmart. Shout out to Straight Talk for sponsoring. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to check them out. The 2023 Draft. How we feeling, fellas? First and foremost, I want to say I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. Y'all know I'm a big draft guy. Um, the through the wire draft expert, as y'all call me. <laughs> but I'm excited every year. But to come in here, I already have the Chris Stapps trade. Marcus Smart is a Grizzly. Jordan Poole is on a Wizards. Chris Paul is now a Steph warrior. Curry's backup and a warrior. <laughs> yeah. Um, Chris Middleton opted out. We still don't know who's going at number two. Yep. The, the Blazers are keeping Dane one minute, then they're trading them the next. Um, the Lakers are trying to trade their pick. The Pacers want Turner or might trade Buddy here. There's so much going on. And the fact that we had certain reporters say that this year their focus won't be reporting the draft selections, but yep. more so on the trades and the movement it of better players, not disappoint. which mm -hmm. makes me feel prepared that it's going to be an avalanche of moves. But I'm with KB because since the Warriors have been in the lottery those years ago, there was always rumors of they're going to trade the second pick. They're not going to take Wiseman, LaMelo, or Edwards. They're going to trade 6 and 11, and then they took Moody and Kaminga. I need trades. Yes. 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 I yeah. think the one thing that we uh, that you can see going on around, around the league is everybody wants to compete, and uh, everybody wants to try to get better. And so this might be the draft day where everybody's trying to get better. Nobody wants to be young and trying to be go with this youthful movement. But I honestly think the youthful movement is fun. Like, I would love the Blazers to buy in on going youthful. I like the Wizards have now bought in and going youthful. That's it's fun. Like, that. you're now going to see Jordan Poole go to a situation where he's free. He's not in the Warriors system. If we get to see maybe there's more to his game. We know defensively he's lacking a lot there. But maybe in, a, maybe in this new light, maybe he could try. So If you want trying on the championship team, I don't know if you're trying. On the one thing I will say about the Wizards <laughs> is still a lot to be desired. They still got to fill out this roster. Yeah. But just so far on paper and the opportunity of what they'll be able to do at number eight, depending on what they do, Daniel Gafford, Denny. Daniel Gafford been high on him. For That's who now. I'm most excited to see in this draft. pieces there. Yeah. So, I'm excited to see what the Wizards do because they – Originally, I thought they were going to bring in a guard. They still can, but they just brought in a hall of guards with Tyler Jones and also Jordan Poole. So they up their guard play. I'm still curious to see what they do. If they draft for fit right now, that's an L. Mm -hmm. Draft yeah. the best player available. If it's a guard, yeah. go get a guard. If it's a point, do what you got to do. Yeah, their roster definitely doesn't have a solidified like franchise. I, I know it's right. 140 M's into Jordan Poole right now. But he ain't showing you, you that he's be a building franchise around guard. Yeah. <laughs> my, my thought process always, when you have a top 10 pick, especially if you're a smaller market like Utah that we're going to see, like Washington, uh, who else is in here that's not a big – Orlando. Portland. I am a big believer, Portland. You reach. In the top 10, you reach because you're not going – Paul George doesn't hit free agency and says, hey, I'm going to Washington. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Le yeah. Um, Carl Anthony Towns isn't going to hit free agency and say, hey, I'm going uh, to Orlando. That That's just Tracy McGrady was a young player coming off the Raptors and was able to get a big bag. They almost got Tim Duncan. But there are certain markets where guys aren't just going to be linked to. They might have to be traded there. So when you have a top 10 pick, I'm just a believer that you have to you have to go for it. And uh, I could see Orlando going for it, especially at six because they have 11. I could see Utah going for it at nine because they have another pick at 16, I believe, and then another one at like 28. Uh, Washington has to go forward. And then you have some teams in between that I don't think necessarily have to go forward, yep. but they, ha they have to hit it because it can really complete their puzzle. So Detroit, you already have Cade, Ivy, Duran, and some other good pieces there. This pick could be big for them. Houston already has Jabari, Shingun, Eason, Jalen Green, this pick could be a lot for them. Could be the missing piece of the puzzle. Um, and they got a new coach. A new mm -hmm. coach. Yep. Indiana with Halliburton. I like, I, like where this, I like where the paces are at. There's a lot of players I feel like could fall to them depending on where other teams go. But I feel like they're going to have a, the, the luck of the litter when it comes to when their selection comes up. Why do they do this, by the way? 
The last couple <laughs> years, we've known exactly who the first pick was, from Paolo to K to Ant. Well, Paolo was a little questionable. Was it? I guess in the it, moment it was, yeah, but it was a lot of speculation hindsight, of it being Jabari. I said yeah. on our show <laughs> that it would be a mistake to not take Paolo, and yeah. he was taken. So I, I think that was pretty clear cut. My question for y'all: staying on Washington for a hot second because we know who's going number one, um, and this shows us that this is just for TV. Because when I was a kid. I used to sit there and be like, do they really need the minutes, like, every single minute? Yeah. If you got the first pick, you've known for a month and a right. half. Yeah. You, you know who you take. And we know clear cut. There's no conversations going on in that, in that all front. You don't think right Luca's now. being offered to them right now as we speak? No. Ain't no way. <laughs> At eight, if you're the Wizards and on the board you have Asar Thompson, mm-hmm. Taylor Hendricks, and Anthony Black, who would you take? Asar Thompson. I would go... I think it's Star Times that has the highest upside of those three dudes, where it's like, it's, it's definitely a lot of potential boom or bust with him. Yeah. But I think when you talk about the Washington Wizards in the first year of the rebuild, at the middle part of the lottery, you can afford to go boom or bust. I also wouldn't be mad at um, Taylor Hendricks. I think Taylor Hendricks could come in and compliment Jordan Poole and uh, Denny Nim with his defensive versatility, his ability to shoot 40% from three. He's long, lengthy. He has switchability. I would not be mad at the Taylor Hendricks pick at, at, all, at all. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be mad at Anthony Black either. You bring in uh, a very good guard who just got a good game, uh, feel for the game, and I like what he does defensively. And alongside Tyus Jones and players like Monte Morris, he gets to learn a lot uh, throughout them. And he's also, I think he's just got a good upside too. So you can reach a little bit with him, but I think he's also got a solid floor. Ladies and gentlemen, we know what the pick is. Oh, the pick is in. We knew what it yeah. was, but it's officially in. Can we take some time to talk about this seven foot five now? Cause it's now seven foot five. Victor Wimbenyama. Um, he did a little a bit of a media circuit um, right before the draft doing a few interviews. And I had never heard him talk or heard an interview of him before. I've always just seen the clips of the NBA 2K player that is in real life. He answered every single question perfectly, if you ask me. And he is taking on this pressure. And whether he believes it or not, he's saying that he don't feel the pressure. Yeah. Because this is who he is, and this is what he's always dreamt of doing. And I, and I love that myself. For championships. He's already ready for that. I think yeah. that's good for him. Well, that, that to me, that those are just like uh, the politically correct. They could have got correct. Chris Paul. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I want to win a championship, <laughs> even though I know I'm not going to because we're not uh, up to par yet. But... Um, Vic is Vic is outstanding. I think this is an incredible spot to be in for the San Antonio Spurs. I think as basketball fans and basketball analysts, we should be happy that this yeah. is what it is. This is like picture perfect for this historic, first class, uh, well reputable organization to land, uh, quote unquote, the best prospect we've ever seen That's coming LeBron. into um, over. Some people said yeah. over LeBron, the best mm-hmm. prospect for, for them in to be team sports history is what some people are saying. For them to be coming together is 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 magical. And then for him to have Coach Pop, this is what you should want as a basketball fan. Um, and Why don't we I, thought when Pop was going to be done soon? For sure. Another generation of talent goes right to his hands. And then they said, hey, we, we want you to stay around, Pop. Yeah, you you got to keep My biggest thing with Vic <laughs> is what, what what's to expect as the, for a rookie? Like, I'm really, really... Can we Angels. take a quick vote? I, honestly, I feel like I don't have a vote because I was going to say just like on a PPG skill because I they're going to give him the keys. He's going to have all the the you know the just pr- opportunity in the world for it. Like, could you see him at twenty PPG rookie Easily. season? We're yeah. talking in twenty twenty three. 20 points per game is the minimum. Yeah, this, you know, what I'm to a team everybody where, averages yeah. twenty, and he's coming to a team where there's like no like pecking order. Like Nobody demands the ball. Clear cut number one guy. There were 44 players in the NBA this season that averaged 20 or more. That's I think most, he, can, he can do that. That's the most intriguing thing about this team, though, is that they have some some pieces already for them to compliment him. Devin Vassell, uh, Keldon Johnson, Jeremy Sohan. There are some things there, so I'm interested to see you know how this team is going to look. Yeah, I'm not putting the pressure on them being a playoff or play-in team, but I, I'm just interested to see which strides and what steps they take um, – with him and how fast I guess I'm trying to see how fast he accelerates the the timeline mm-hmm. and you get to see him come in and play basketball in like a solidified system like pop plays a fluid offense where there's passing cutting everybody has to be involved in offense so it won't be like he's going to Houston where they probably just won't give him the ball and say here make something happen he's going to be able to get easy looks and easy duck in let's start let's start speaking on Houston differently because they got a new coach yeah they do so you know, but we yeah. know like the solidified Spurs culture of For how sure. they play good winning basketball all the time, no matter what. 
This so. is the long pick is in. My gosh. When well, we you know, know the media, is. they got to talk about it. Yeah, they, 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 they got to show all, all the pictures of him in a Spurs jersey. They got to they got to do it, you know, because yeah, he deserves all his flowers, man. He's worked hard. He deserves all Which, of it. What's your biggest question mark with Vic? The health. Yeah. Not that not. And it's not by his own accord. He just plays 70 games in his league. He, he's telling the world he wants to play at least some summer league, even though there was rumors that the team doesn't want him to. He wants to play. I just look at the seven five frame of him being 190 pounds or whatever it is. It'd be like, okay, um, is it gonna is it gonna last? Is it gonna last? And the pick is in. We got Adam Silver right up there. Here we go. What what's the odds that he makes <laughs> and no. say something other than Victor Wembanyama? There's no way. As soon as the ball had dropped and the Spurs they got the number one pick, they already started putting the Spurs jerseys on. Him. He had already bought a house. What a what a moment, man! Pick his in, man. Shout out to Victor Wembanyama yeah, and the Spurs, man. This this one right here. I want to give a shout out to almost the eight thousand people that's in this through the wire live. Shout out yes, to the eight thousand people. Uh, oh, he got the handshake with little bro. This is this this is every young basketball player's dream. Whether it's first, whether it's sixty. Yeah, you want to hear that name called by the commission, man. You just heard Isaiah Thomas say that. Like, he yep. was just happy. When he got drafted at number 60, it felt like he was the number one overall pick. Yep. Trey Mann from the Oklahoma City Thunder made a tweet today that was like, man, I still can't believe I got robbed of my childhood dream because, you know, the COVID oh, draft yeah. was kind of oh, wow. like virtual yeah, yeah. and whatnot. So, um, they should just run it back. Redo the whole draft. The whole year. Yeah, well, they they should, like risked, a reunion type They should have risked it. Risked it no, 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 no. <laughs> just, just put a mask on, <laughs> and you don't have to have all of these people in there. You got you, mom, agent. Dad got to don't. Agent don't got to be there either. <laughs> you and moms. No, that's, no, that's agent got to be there. You, you, agent getting his cut regardless. You heard Isaiah Thomas. He thought he was going somewhere, and when he wasn't, everybody like, oh, and the agent got to be there to be like, calm down. You're still going to get picked. Shout out to Vic, man. The biggest question mark for me besides the health I would say the shooter. They talk about Vic shooting like he's Przingis. It does look cool when he's making the shots, but Vic ain't like Vic ain't a stretch five yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just looks nice because it's fluid. On our feed, it says uh, Victor Wembanyama, power forward, France. Orzaz Panda said that Wemby is a mixture of Katie and Elijah Wan. Do y'all think that's true? No, the Elijah Wan, the Kevin Durant, I could. I could see like very small shades of just because the way he, he handles the ball. Yeah, he his skill level for his size and the way he pulls up. But the Elijah one is he was more so back to like back to back the basket. To basket yeah. A lot more obviously physical. He's got a lot of time before I think he really builds into his body and gets to that type of level. Look at these people. Taco Fall, Sean Bradley, Yao Ming. He's right there with some of the tallest in all time. Third in NBA history when it comes to and wingspan. That is foot insane. wingspan is crazy. Size 20 and a half sneaker. You don't even God. see that size when you're on sneakers looking for shoes. Yeah, yeah. no. Nah, he, he, <laughs> he threw the first pitch recently at a game, and, like, they had the picture of the ball inside his hands, and it yes, like bro. looked like a tennis ball. Yeah, yeah, that's no, It's actually insane. Shout out to Vic. I just want to remind everybody at home, this is – um, a reaction to the first 30 picks. We will do a uh, wireless talk timeout after every 10 picks. So stay tuned for that. Everybody's favorites, most surprising. We got a, we got a lot going on, man. Show, we got a show. jam-packed show. But oh, now this old. is where the draft starts, by the way. This is where the draft starts. We knew what one was. The odds have been shifting between two and, and Scoo Henderson and Brandon Miller. And now we're about to really see what a head is at. I read a report that Michael Jordan, even though he sold the majority of his stakes, still has the final say of what's going on tonight. I don't know how much I like that. But <laughs> here they go, Derek. This moment right here could change the course. Oh, there's Vic crying and stuff. That's love. Um, this could change the course Laugh and crying. of your franchise's history. Yeah, you know what's crazy? That if it is Scoop, it's realistically you do take him, but then that just sets up the door for you to have to trade Dame. I could also see them taking Brandon Miller and also trading Dame. If if this pick isn't traded within the next 48 hours, I could see a world where Damian Lillard now comes out and requests a trade because he doesn't want to stick to this youthful movement. He's made it clear. And I'm expecting something big or either Damian Lillard requesting a trade. That's, that's really the only two options. Okay. All right. I guess what we'll what can you expect big, though? Like I feel like if there's any well, potential for something big guys, happening, we would have heard. Yeah, teams would have to really want this number three pick. Somebody Pascal has scratched off that list now. We've heard the report that he doesn't want to resign if he gets traded because he wants to stay in Toronto. Mm-hmm. The pick is in, by the way. Sheesh. Um, oh, you looked I felt already? Like I looked. I didn't you look. You know, the spoilers are out. I'm not going to spoil it for everybody at home. Thank you. But the pick is in. I do still have <laughs> no he's on because I'm expecting trades. Oh. So I did look, and I know who's being picked, and who? 
Woo. I feel like I'm they not even looking at the chat right now. Like, I know chat gonna spoil it. Chat, I see the chat right there, and I see they they definitely spoil it right oh, now. I so if you don't want to know, don't look at the chat. Do not look at the chat. So, I would I, love I'll to hear what they're time. talking about um, during this Victor Wibin Yama interview, um, but I don't know if that's a reality. Um, I feel like a lot of their talks got to be about the pressure and him having the expectation that he does and how he's gonna. You know, what's his mentality? I hope not. If there's any time to not think about the pressure, it's this moment right now. Yeah, let him just enjoy it and soak it in and just have fun. Yeah. Let you him know, go out and celebrate tonight. The like, funny thing about drafting what? is that I love when y'all call me an expert. <laughs> I, I just love when y'all do because I, I, I just, there's just a sense that goes into it. Well, you study the draft prospects. You, but like, it's even – Your I, years – like you be the years Jeremy ahead. Jeremy Sohan dapping up Victor Wimbayama. I love that. He was, Jeremy Sohan was didn't Jeremy Sohan um wasn't he at the lottery wasn't he the one that pulled yes it? I, yep he represented the Spurs I don't for think sure. that's good true. memory bro yeah good memory what you don't think what's true wasn't it the owner that was there representing the Spurs I thought Jeremy I, thought Jeremy. I don't remember we might have to fact check it in the chat yeah fact <laughs> fact check it let us know but um it's 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 outside of the prospects you. You got to dive into what the team might do. Oh. You got to put on that GM hat. And boy, 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 boy. I can't wait to see what happens, man. This is a domino effect. Um, I did two mock drafts yesterday, last night on stream. And uh, y'all know the pick if y'all watched my stream. Did you watch my stream? It was Brandon Miller. It was Brandon Miller. I was tuned in. I was tuned in. Yeah, KB was. I was in there. You know what I'm saying? I got to show love. So the pick is Brandon Miller? (laughs) <laughs> no, no. Here's my draft. He took Brandon Miller with the second, but it's been so much. Oh, the changing. chat is saying it was the owner, by the way. Okay, oh, it was the owner. It, it was. Okay. Uh, there was some players that I can't. I it, thought there was, was definitely players there. Um, one of the players was. Uh, I Jay remember Lindura. Colin Sexton was there. Colin Sexton was there. Yeah, that was very. Is that Glazing? The guy nah. with the Victor Miyama haircut? Nah. Is that a tap? That can't. No, that better not be no damn tattoo. Somebody <laughs> has a, a Vic tattoo in the head. Oh my god! No, no. that might that not can't be, be no tattoo. Somebody that guy is here right next to it. He needs to make better decisions. <laughs> the pick is in. We're hearing that it's okay for us to talk about. Okay. Brandon Miller's going second overall to the Charlotte Hornets. Ooh. I'm gonna let Derek go first. I'm Derek. excited for Charlotte, man. I, I, I'm I'm happy to see them buy, be able to get go out and get another good young talent to win like Brandon Miller with the whole, the whole Mikael Bridges. I mean, Miles Bridges situation being over with. They now get to bounce back with Brandon Miller, who has a very similar skill set, tall, lanky. You see him on the phone. Obviously, he's going to be the pick. And he me. said he ain't going to cry tonight. I want to see if that's true. But Brandon Miller's going to be very good for them, man. I, I'm happy for them. LaMelo gets him a new running mate that can go out and score the ball really well. And it's going to be very fun for them, bro. Yeah, I'm excited. I think... I was actually, uh, I'm surprised. I thought that it was going to be Scoot. I thought the talent. And y'all can see the highlights. He going crazy. I thought he was the more just, you know, had the more upside to him. But Brandon yeah. Miller, he's got a lot to him. He can definitely space the floor for LaMelo. Get a little bit uh, a little bit of creation for him, too. And we've seen what Terry Rozier can do next to LaMelo. So a guard with some bigger size, I think, is a different aspect that they can add. Yeah. yeah. I, he's going to be very good, especially because he also sits down defensively and plays defense. I just hate how overthought this was. Um, I said it on my stream. I didn't really have an argument for either way. I like Brandon Miller more, but if Derek said he liked Scoot more with LaMelo, I wouldn't really have an argument there. This is a situation where you just have to applaud for Charlotte. When you look at their history, Mm -hmm. they've every once in a while found a guy to be that face. But when it comes to putting the rest of the pieces around that puzzle, they have not been able to do it. They had Kimba, then they drafted Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Cody, Z- Cody Zeller, Noah Vonley. They had LaMelo, and then we got Book Knight, Kai Jones. Uh, we still don't know about Mark Williams. So for them to just get talent, high end talent that they can't mess up, it makes me happy for them. Yeah. Their history is Sean May, Raymond Felton, Adam Morrison. You know what I mean? Like Michael just, Kidd Gilchrist. I oh, that, man. So. <laughs> yeah, a, a Mecca Okafor. Like, they just Whoa, haven't... whoa, Mecca was nice. He was. He I mean, worked with KDU over uh, Dwight Howard. A, a Mecca Okafor was cool. He was not <laughs> nice in the NBA. And that's no disrespect because he was really, really good at UConn with Ben Gordon. Um, but they just haven't been able to not draft well. And yeah. one of the guys they drafted is one of the faces, emerging faces of the league, Shea Gilders Alexander, but they didn't give him. <laughs> so yeah. uh, I'm happy that they can just get some high-end talent. Their number two pick history is 50-50. 50-50. 50-50. Alonzo Morton is a great pick at number two. 
It was. Um, I also yeah, like Michael the fact Kiki that it's Christmas just like Christmas. if you look at what they did last season, they had a lot of big scoring games from uh, just different people, whether it was Kelly Oubre, Terry Rozier, LaMelo. He's going to have his opportunity too. It's not really, you know, not – it's uh, LaMelo's the, the basic playmaker. He's the main playmaker. But a lot of guys look for each other, and he can get a lot of good shots without having to even credit for himself. We had the privilege to speak with Brandon Miller. Let's, let's, uh, let's roll that interview, see what he had to say. What would you say that you weren't able to showcase as much in college that will grab people by surprise when you get to the next level? Really just, like, leading with my uh, with my voice. Uh, I feel like I've always led with my actions uh, on, the, on the court. You know, being a guy that just lead a team to, to get wins. Hey, who who you see yourself in in the league? Paul George, mm-hmm. definitely. I kind of study him. Um, I really just steal his moves and just put my own twist to it. So I'm you- guessing he's probably your favorite. The player that you're looking forward to playing against the most. Bron. 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 Bron over Bron. PG? Bron. Okay. Everybody want yeah. that Bron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody want Bron. Everybody want yeah, that Bron smoke till they get it. Then they probably like, ooh, somebody <laughs> didn't want to guard him. I guard him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying he's not going to score, though. But <laughs> If you could add one player's skill from the NBA to your game, who would you pick? Hey, shout out to B, B Mills, man. Shout out to B Mills. A uh, heck of a dude. Funny dude. Got a yeah. little confidence, too, with him. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was it. I would say that's probably one of the other parts that make this draft a little bit more exciting. We were able to uh, have, like, these one-on-one conversations with these guys and really get a feel for their personality and who they are and their demeanor. And uh, Brandon Miller was my favorite player going into the college season this year as a, uh, out of the freshman. Um, obviously, when he kind of skyrocketed, it's cliche to say he's my favorite prospect. But to see his attitude and his, uh, his humor and how he carried himself – Maybe uh maybe gravitate to him more, man. Good good guy. Shout out to Brandon Miller. Shout out to the Charlotte Hornets. Thank you, Blazers. Their pick is in because we don't have. Thank Who you. Who do you think is gonna be <sighs> Anthony Black third overall? Nah, big scoop. It's, it's gonna be scoop. The pick is in though, which means that it hasn't been traded yet. You know what's funny? I also wouldn't have been surprised if they did go with like a bigger wing. No, we, but no. The, you, now scoop. you overthinking it. No, now you overthinking scoop. it. Who, what bigger wing is even comparable? Like a Ben Thompson? No. Like, no, no. I've seen no, some guys no. where they take they the be- third, best player available. There's yeah. no way they don't get scooped. Yeah. I'm spoiling the guys. It is. It's going to be. He didn't want to even be. consider it. No. It's got to be school, guys. I think this does open the door. I really like school and what he could kind of bring to a team. Uh, he's super athletic, and him just touching the paint and how he can get downhill is really interesting to look at. But it's going to – it's going to bring up a lot of conversations with Dame still. It's going to keep it going. Yeah, um, you you should just run out a young backcourt of Anthony Simons and Scoo Henderson and just let it ride. Shaden Sharp is also there at the wing position. And just have fun. Be young, fun. Those three players right there are such a great building block for you to have mm-hmm. that I don't even see why you even question going in that direction. And you can have an even better direction and future and just – young, fun talent yeah. with the package that you get for Dame. So yeah. we're only talking about what they already have. Yeah. Then you take in consideration what they potentially could get back for Dame and the fact that committing to a rebuild means that they'll probably be in a lottery next year and they're just going to be able to continue to accumulate talent. And I think when you already have certain type of building blocks, it puts less pressure on you and whoever you're drafting in the next few years. Yep. When, you're, when you don't have anything and you're trying hard to find that piece – it is so tough because it puts pressure on you. It puts pressure on the player. But when you already have a scoot, you already have an Anthony, you already have Shaden Sharp. Now you come in, it's like okay, we're looking for a front court player. Yeah. You know what I mean? We 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 willing and dealing. So um, and I, you lose that pressure of just having to constantly trying to keep Dame like you know satisfied and trying to contend just for a little bit. At least try to get to the playoffs. But this is you relieve all that pressure. Yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting next few weeks. Now that this pick is in, and it's it has been taken you know he shouldn't he should get comfortable but not too comfortable who school he should get comfortable we don't know he should get comfortable that front office seems he he should get comfortable they seem desperate and they seem like comfortable they seem like henderson get extremely comfortable buy yourself a house get comfortable i wouldn't be surprised the blazers just do some do some just to do it in order to try to get dame make dame the only reason i'm saying get comfortable because we keep talking about getting dame happy what is what what's the trade Jalen Brown is going back to the Celtics. Hey, Boston said they ain't done. 
<laughs> they're not trading for the young yeah, guy. Yeah, I know. They're not trading for number three. I, I, I feel the same way about a potential Dame trade. What is the tr- what is the trade? What team out there is looking for a Damian Lillard at it the It would moment? be Miami probably, but uh, I just don't know what they package is. That's what I'm saying. You got to get ready for Tyler Hero. <laughs> yeah, add another guard to the thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would much rather just focus on on the greatness at school. He's one of the few prospects in the lottery that we didn't get a chance to talk to. We tried, you know, we tried to get the little Busy interview. man. A uh, very busy man, you knowing that he was going to be one of the top guys. Man, busy. Anybody on like Fashion Watch? What do you, can y'all, I, I, that's one of the things I really enjoy about the draft is seeing what type of you know suits and jewelry is being. I mean, being you got to put on your best suit. It's one of the best nights of your life. See, you I'm thinking about the out. opposite though. I like to see the bad ones, like the tra- oh. the Trey Young in the shorts <laughs> with the suit jacket. Well, that's, like the Fortnite that's why one. I'm not really into the. I'm not really into the fashion. On I'm draft a spoiler. Night. Grady Dick is the, is the worst dressed player in the draft oh. right now. I, I didn't just, mind his suit. I don't I like these type of suit. events. It's the same reason why, like, I think girls are the prettiest when they're, like, you know when you got prom in, like, high school? I always thought, like, the girls are the prettiest when they're just everyday. When they're just when, normal, yeah. When you people have these big moments, they try to go above and beyond. And it's like, you don't have to do that. So we're going to see, like, Grady Dick, he didn't have to do that, buddy. <laughs> like, he's, from, he's from Kansas. He's he got to show you his, his door. He didn't suit. have to do that. And I feel like whenever you have these draft moments and stuff like that, it don't show the real reflection of the fashion. People well, Brandon always, Miller said this is the last time you'll ever wear a suit. <laughs> it's the first and last time you'll ever wear a suit. He's saying it now as a teenager. When he's 38. If he went an MVP. Thank you. He going to be at that award show. With a suit. And hopefully no shorts like Draymond when he was accepting his DPOY. <laughs> the, sh- the shorts with the suit jacket trend lived a half of a season. And I wish Do it Do you like did. the the hoodie with the jacket trend? A hoodie we got with enough. the jacket? We'll, we'll like a blazer. Time and time talk yeah. What y'all like about Scoot and what you don't like about Scoot? We're um, going to let Scoot pick pass before we even talk about him as a player. <laughs> we got to be fair to Scoot, man. I'm a heat. I like him I, just because what he all brings. Uh, he's got, already got a lot of talent with him, can play both ends of the court. He had a, a super big game against Vic, you know, a couple months ago. But he's got a, a lot. Ago. Whenever they had played against each other, he <laughs> had a lot of big. <laughs> he had a lot of big plays in that game. I still remember it. But I'm. It's just a good foundational pick. Whether you move on from Dame or whether you don't, they uh, played against each other October fourth. October fourth. It's my oh, birthday. Girl's birthday. <laughs> oh, oh, but <laughs> not a year. That's crazy. Not a complete year ago. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, no, I, I just really like his ability to get downhill. Um, I, I like point guards with that mold that it's just like pure athleticism. Obviously, the jump shot is a lot to be desired there with him being as young as he is. We've seen players come in with that uber athleticism and eventually get to the point where they're at least respectable. And I think a good mm-hmm. um, example of that is this recent year from John Morant, where he went from a John non-shooter Morant, to decent. Bros, John um, Wall. Yeah. Just that, if there's one missing piece from my point guard, I'm okay with it being the jump shot of almost everything else feels pretty complete. Yeah, when you look at him, even like the frame, he has a very big frame. He's strong. My favorite thing. They and say he's been doing two a days for six yeah. months leading up to the draft. Grown ass man. Come and on, when man. You can get to the basket and finish through contact the way mm-hmm. he can. It's amazing. And he also has that little in between game where he could pull up for the midi. He has a nice little float game, little runners. He has he has some he has a little more to his bag than just getting straight downhill. And I think the playmaking is very underrated for him. He is a, he has good vision. He can find his guys. And I think the pressure that he's going to put on the rim with the with the uh, Portland Trailblazers, it's going to be very exciting to see him, Shaden, and Anthony making a lot of highlight plays. Yeah, no. Um, I, I appreciate his pace. I think for him to be yeah. so young, he plays at a phenomenal pace and is a phenomenal manipulator. Um, we, we've we seen that in those games against uh, Vic. Pop's talking with, more than he is. For oh, real. Damn. And with the G League, um, where he just able to to decipher when to pass, when to attack. And I think when when players like him with that much athleticism, when they know how to use that to manipulate defenses and create opportunities for their teammates, it's special. And when, like you said, when you have Anthony, when you have Shaden Sharp, you know. And you have a former, getting them, and you have a former point guard in Chauncey. Chauncey Billups as your head coach. I think it's just a, it's a match made in heaven for him. Ladies and gentlemen, the pick is in for number four. Any guesses? I know who it is. Do y'all got any guesses oh, of who it is? I'm going to go Amin Thompson. Amin Thompson drafted Amin fourth Thompson. overall by the Houston Rockets. I got to go on my. There he is. Six, seven, one. So wait, are you four for four now? Are yes. you four for four? Eee. Oh, four for four like what? Like Wendy's. Like Wendy's, man. <laughs> four for four like Wendy's. I'm not surprised at this pick. I think that they were kind of looking for a guard that can just, obviously, I think they were looking for talent. But I think they found the right one because they were looking for a guard that can kind of pass the ball around, just bring some all-aroundness to the team that's, you know, lacking that a little bit. 
And I really like the way he can obviously get downhill, but I think the defense is also really well too. Um, young teams, they kind of need something to kind of hang their head on, and I feel like he could do that with them and start the little bit of the culture. I've seen a lot of tape of him, and he's a very vocal on the court too. Like he demands out of his teammates. He, you know, he's he's screaming on the court, make sure everybody's in the right place at the right time. And I think again, Rockets can kind of use that in his playmaking. I think it's underrated too. Getting the guys open looks. They have a lot of shot makers, but he can no, make it easier for them. I buy into the Thompson twins. Uh they have glaring holes with the jump shot, obviously. A lot of people talked about the overtime elite uh competitive, you know, level. I like I said a, a thousand times, anytime anybody brings that up. A quick first step is a quick first step. Whether you're playing in the NBA or you're playing against me and D Mills at Export. A 40-inch <laughs> vertical is a 40-inch vertical, whether it's with LeBron on the floor or is it against me. So I, I've seen certain type of traits and things in their games that I buy into. And Amen, he has incredible defensive instincts, uh, incredible feel for the game. He makes some incredible passes with both hands that he can throw around the court. And I think with this team, with as much talent that they have, with him now, Green, Shingoon, Eason, Jabari, Kevin Porter Jr., uh, Key and Martin Jr., they are going to be able to get up and down. And with Eme being that defensive voice in there, to have him from day one, he can probably turn him into a defensive monster. And the more that they can get out in transition, the more they're going to be a favorite for the league pass team of the year. Um, I love this pick, though. I yeah. love it. For me, when you look at the Houston Rockets over the, over a few years, one thing they lacked was like a facilitator, a game manager. A man has shown the ability to get his guys involved and be a very – willing passer when the houston rockets typically they run like a very real world my world type of offense now they have a guy who can come in push the tempo facilitate and also defend the other team's best player a lot of nights so, i like the direction of this team because they still have money yep. out there as well they're they're linked to fred van fleet i would love them to get a nice little veteran yeah. in that locker room bring, a, bring so a veteran they need, yeah they need somebody a they nice veteran guard back. uh they have another pick at 20 i believe um Ime at his press conference said that he wanted to bring us some more size, even though they love Shingun. Obviously, they definitely lack some size behind him um, in the front court. So I love the direction for this team, man. This mm -hmm. is this is lining up good for the Houston Rockets. Now is the time, though, where it's time to start seeing some progression. Nobody's saying they got to make the playoffs next yep. year, but we do want to start seeing progression in the wins and losses. We don't want to see no ten plus losing streak. Yes. out of the Rockets, no more of those. Well. Be honest with you. <laughs> Ten is crazy. Ten is crazy. I mean, it got to get to like five, and you got to buckle down at some point. We'll see. Um, but I like the fact that he's, you know, got a lot of length and a lot of Rockets player like Jalen Green or sometimes even Kevin Porter Jr. New Rocket, that's Jalen Green. <laughs> if they're not really knocking down their shot or scoring as much, you could see a little bit of fall up. But Amon has the ability to affect the game in a lot of different ways to keep them going. I wonder how much this impacts what they do in free agency. Um, I, I hope it doesn't impact much because I feel they like they have a lot. They, I mean, the they top. have a lot, but we have to stop that at the same time because we have to start making guys earn their their positioning in a roster because they do have a lot. But at the same time, they don't, if that makes sense. I know. I know exactly what you're saying. It's just they got a lot of pieces that I still they're they're looking at as if like. They're still trying to find out. I mean, obviously they got just got I'm in who they're gonna be looking at, but Jalen Green, I still 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 think they're gauging him. I see a lot of trade talks with him. Yeah. Those guys like though, I believe I, I understand from those are like Jalen Green, Singoon. Singoon, Jabari Smith Jr. Jabari, they have man, Tari Eason. Tari Eason. After pretty much that, Kevin Porter Jr., as much as I like him, he could be traded. Yeah, he absolutely. Can. Uh, Jay Sean Tate, he as much as traded. I like him, he could be traded. Yep. Kenya Martin Jr. requested a trade, I thought, and still finished the year. So, I mean, you have just five young guys that we just named right there, and there's a lot of other opportunity. At 20, I want to see them go and get somebody who is more so in the Tari Eason lane where their mentality on the floor isn't lined up with them having the basketball or mm -hmm. doing something offensively. I would love to see a Chris Murray, an older guy who's just a really good basketball player, uh, be selected at 20 and not another high upside guy who uh, is looking to have the basketball in his hand. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do there at 20. And, I, yeah, like I said, I hope it doesn't impact anything at, in, in free agency because – they have a lot of money to spend. Coach Kyle, I see you in the back. But also, this is also a team who wants James Harden. So we also had to keep that That's in mind. quieted so, down quite a lot. I, I've definitely read a lot of rumors that people believe that uh, with the firing of Doc Rivers, that the 76ers feel pretty confident they're going to be able to bring back uh, James Harden. So mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see. Uh, now on the clock, we have the Detroit Pistons. 
there's a lot of, of course, a lot of great things left on the board. What direction would y'all like to see the Detroit Pistons go to? Obviously, got Kay Cunningham, Jay Nivey, both studded backcourt combination, even though Cade missed a ton of the season. They got a log jam at the big position between Jalen Duran, traded for James Wiseman. Uh, they still got Bogdanovich on the team. So what direction with the people that are available would y'all like to see them do? I, would, I think – oh, you can go, Mike. Um, I think there's – my two options I would probably look at is Cam Whitmore. I think that especially after he had traded away Sadiq Bey – Bogdanovich getting a little bit older. You add a young wing who's shown a lot. He, I think he was slipping a little bit because there was some medical reports or anything, but the yep. games he did play, he looked really good in terms of two-way ability. He was able to put the ground, uh, the ball on the floor, and he was able to make a lot of tough shots. Or I would go probably Jairus Walker. I think you just look at the defensive versatility he brings. You would want to add that to a, a young core that's trying to uh, get better, and I like the front court that they can make with him. This yeah. is an interesting pick just because there was rumors that Cam Whitmore was sliding because mm-hmm. of. He just said that. Huh? Mike just said <laughs> Mike that. Just said sorry. That. <laughs> I, was, I was doing some reading. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I want to see if that's true or not because, you know, they love to do the smoke and mirrors type thing. Right. Yeah. Uh, I heard Mike mention Jairus Walker. I'm not, I'm not against that either. I also heard that there was some um, interest there with Taylor Hendricks and also the other Thompson brother, Asar. So. Um, I think in my mocks, I had them taking Cam Whitmore every time just because it makes the most sense. At that four position, I do like Jairus, but you still have Bojan there. You still have Isaiah Stewart. That three is really a big hole for them, and I would love to see them. You know, you you come out the gate, and you have Cade, Ivy, Cam, and then Duran, Jalen Duran. I like that. K got a lot of options on that break. I like that. Yeah, he got a lot of options on that break. That that K kind of hand can win one alley. He was going to be crazy in transition. You have some athleticism. You have some power. You have some shooting. You have a go-to guy. I think K could be that for them. Um, Jaden Ivey had a really, really great season as a rookie where every month he was getting better and better and better. Um, I would love to see him play with K because K was out most of the year. Yeah. So like we don't know exactly what that duo looks like on court. Mm-hmm. But I think I think it has potential to be really good. I think they could do play well off each other. And I think Jalen Duran was one of the most underrated things that they've done in this rebuild thus far. Uh, why my Knicks didn't keep him? I well, they also no didn't idea. play him in this, like after they traded for James Wiseman. James Wiseman started and took a lot of those minutes away from. Well, they have Durant. a new coach who I think is going to play. Pick his name, pick his name, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what the Detroit Pistons are about to do. I, I know, but you don't. So let's see exactly what's going to happen. Detroit hey, be thirsty over there. <laughs> and tell Shams to chill out there. I'm thinking for trades, and he's telling me who it is. Asar, Asar Thompson. Thompson. Oh, oh, wow. The brothers hey. go back to back. Like who? What other brothers? What other twin brothers in the NBA history went back to back? It wasn't the Lopez's, right? I don't think so. Uh, don't then, put us on the spot. I don't know. Then the Morris brothers Marcus went back to back. All, Mark, <laughs> yeah, oh. I think the Morris brothers went back to back back in the day. Okay. Back in the day, it was like. Seven years ago, it feels so like. Oh, there we go. We have a SAR. We were talking about the, the fast break between Cam Whitmore and K Cunningham. A SAR Tops is a hell of an athlete, yeah, too. He is too. So he'll, he'll do that just well. I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not mad at this one at all. I think that everything that you said about Cam Whitmore, you can say about a SAR. Between the Thompson, the Thompson twins, if there was one of them that I had to buy in with the shooting, I'm buying in with a SAR. Um, I love his game, he has great feel for the game. Um, a lot more calmer demeanor when we did the uh, the interviews. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, this is a this is a pick where Detroit played with house money, in my opinion. There was no really wrong direction they could have taken unless they did something that we just couldn't see, like Anthony Black or something, right. which we kind of figured wasn't going to be the case. And now I guess some of those rumors of Cam Whitmore falling a little bit could potentially it's open starting, up. We're starting to see it. And uh at six, the Magic are gonna have to figure some things out. I do want to roll a little bit of that Asar interview that we did. Uh, so I want to throw to that so y'all can see some of the stuff he had to say about himself and his brother. What's one part of your game that you feel like you weren't able to showcase with OTE that will grab people by surprise at the next level? My mid-range pull-up. Mm-hmm. I'm very confident, you know, 5, 15-foot area, get there, pull up, rise over the defense. I don't, I don't feel like it could, be, it could be blocked. You got any matchups that you got like, I can't wait to go against this guy when I get into the league? I don't know. I kind of want to go against Jimmy Butler right now. Just oh, he's doing good right now. That's oh, you want to go against right now? Right now? Yeah. yeah, one of the hottest hands in the league. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Your brother said LeBron. That's a that's a good one too. That was, yeah. that was my second. Well, he's, he's gonna get a chance to play against Jimmy Butler a lot, being in the same conference. Yeah, he is. 
That was a great answer. I was impressed with that. He didn't do the typical LeBron James. I want to play against <laughs> LeBron. Even though LeBron 44, I want to play against him. He said, the hottest man in the world right now in the mm-hmm. league who is who I want to match up with. <laughs> yeah. And boom, brothers drafted in the top five, Lonzo, LaMelo, and now the Thompson twins enter the chat. Sheesh. And then in about 22 more years, you know who's feeling great? You'll get my two sons up here. <laughs> <laughs> who's feeling great? OTE as a whole. Yeah, they to got see to, their top yeah. two talents, um, top five, go top five. Like yeah. that's that's insane. For like them. I'm sure it off. Like I'm sure it off. Now, I don't know anything else about OT. Do they got other prospects <laughs> coming out soon? I have no idea. But the Thompson twins, uh, you know, there are people in this draft that we rooting for, like on some selfish things because they're like friends of they the show, Rob basically. Dill- Dilling, uh, Dillinger or Dillingham I, who I, was I, going to Kentucky. Okay, he played in OT. Um, but these guys watch through the wire. Yes. Yes. These guys are fans. You know what I'm saying? They're viewers. So, like, yep. we rooting for them all the way. Um, and him and Cade and Jay Nivey. That's a lot. I love of, the humbleness I like of it. both of them, too. That's a lot like of athleticism. If you ask them who's the better who's the better brother, they, they say, say each, each other. other. Yeah. yeah. So, like, they they not even that full of themselves. So they Toughest like, matchup. I'm better than my brother. Uh, this, yeah. I this hate is going to be it's weird good. for them, though. Yeah. To not be together? To not be together, it's be man. Something. It's, it's, it's got to happen good. eventually, though. For sure. Yeah. And guess what? East, West. They only see each other twice a year at that point in the league, man. That's you know what they're gonna do jersey That's, swap. Hey, Asar, of course they're they gonna will. jersey swap. Asar, bring you behind to the pie for a full sit down because you, you right up the street. <laughs> you right up the street. No, forget some of the in the season <laughs> after you get some NBA experience, you're right up the street. Ain't no excuse. As soon as you come play the Bulls, we got you. Yeah. You can you can you can spend the night here. The best you don't thing in a hotel, you can stay in the studio. We got a little couch, a little fridge. Just make sure that the bathroom key is not missing when you come. Because that's something that <laughs> he ain't gonna be able to use that bathroom. <laughs> no, but this is this is really dope yeah. um, to see them go back to back. I know their parents are feeling great. Um, great kids, and you can just tell that them. Pick can, number six is in. Oof. The great thing about a star though is that he did steadily increase his three point shooting throughout the year. He started at twenty two percent. End of the year at 33. So there is growth there. Hey, I got to cut you off. Number six. Wait, wait, wait. They told us no more spoiling until Adam Silver's on the board. That's what I got hurry told up, in my ear. Up, Adam Silver. That's what I got told. <laughs> I, I, we, I know who it is. You know who it is, but they don't know yet. So we're going we gonna to play with Adam Silver. Chat, chat was spamming. Pause the chat. Hide the chat. Hide the chat. And we got that off the screen for y'all. We we see. We see. So you don't well, get spoiled didn't by the no people. more spoilers yeah, either. They no. so. And we, oh. rock, we rock that y'all rocking with. The no show spoilers. and then us. Yeah, and I, was no, I was no spoiler until KB just act like he just couldn't refuse. I, hey, I Chad, just Chad was saying phone. Kenny thirsty today. So thirsty. Was I, I was just I was just going about what was in my last ear. Last year we <laughs> I was just going about what was in my ear. Last year we watched the draft. I'm, I was just going about. Shout what was out in to my Anthony ear. Black, one of my favorites Anthony in this draft Black class. Um, this picture, by the way. Casey has got them eyes. Look at this picture on the screen. Casey and nothing, but there he is. Anthony Black, this is good for them. This is a, a, another one that I had in my mock, uh, him going to Orlando. You take – everybody talking about Orlando needs shooting. They need shooting. They have 11. Get shooting at 11. Yeah. Uh, I would be six for six right now if Detroit didn't take a star. Um, and now at seven, the Pacers – the Pacers war room has to look crazy. And I hate to skip over talking about Anthony Black. We're going to talk, talk about, about Black for sure. The Pacers are on the board at seven, and I do not think that they thought a scenario would occur where they would have Jairus Walker, Taylor Hendricks, and Cam, and Cam Whitmore. Whitmore. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All three guys fit a need and compliments Tyrese Halliburton in the direction that they're going. I cannot wait to see where they go. I have an idea. But Anthony Black, talk to me. I, I really like it. Obviously, he brings a lot of defense. Thank you. He brings a God. lot of defense. He brings a lot of defense. I thought to the that team. boy was going to the Wizards, man. I did not want that. I'm sorry. Look at Isaiah Austin. Isaiah Shout out Austin. Isaiah Austin, a Baylor great. The um, Magic is one of them teams. I didn't know what direction they were going because they have a lot of guards. They have, you know, they have the Fords. I thought they could have. It's not really a big man you can get in this type of situation. So they went through with a guard that I think complements them. Is they had a lot of times where last season they were doing a lot of switching on defense. Look at the hat on his head. It's ridiculous. It barely fit. But I think he fits the defensive scheme. And then he also just makes his play, the, the players around him better which I think they have the shot makers. He he can help them out in that area. Yeah, I wonder what type of what, – what they going to run out there because they got – like Marco Fultz is, is really be Mark good. Hill. It's probably going to be Mark Hill and him. You think yeah. they'll run together yeah, yeah. start I think together? He, that's Cole the most Anthony intriguing the thing bench. about Anthony Black is he can play on and off with his size. He can guard one through three, maybe even one through four, depending on who you play on. It's just but I agree. Most teams I agree are going to try to keep him honest and, and dare him to shoot that shot. I yeah. agree with Mike, though. And when we talk with Anthony Black, because we, we could run an interview in a little bit, 
he said that his sh- he can shoot. Yep. He, the game plan was to go downhill. Um, but I, I agree with Mike. I think Anthony Black is at his best when he's around other high level talent, which is why I didn't want to see him end up in a place like Washington. I think one thing about Anthony Black though that I've noticed that if you do f- force him to pick up that right hand dribble, he's he sometimes could be a little a little timid with it. Like he if you force him to if you stop him from going right, he got it. He got to be able to switch back and counter go left. Roll that interview. Thing, that's a good thing about him being so young. Yeah. Um, What's one time. thing that you feel like you wasn't able to showcase at college that'll grab people by surprise at the next level? Am I shooting for sure? Because, you know, Coach Muzz, we didn't really shoot well as a team, so he was just telling us get down here. And to be honest, it was pretty easy to get down here. So uh, at the next level, I'm going to be probably forced to just, just show my whole bag for real. What player do you see yourself in at the NBA level? You watch somebody like... I see some of some of me in his game. And I've been hearing that scouts and people talking. Josh Giddy. Yeah, yeah. Josh Giddy. But okay. Just the way he sees the floor and stuff like that, I see it some lady. He don't lock up like you though. You get in that stance. Yeah, no, nah, you gotta he sit down. He ain't doing that yet. <laughs> he ain't doing that yet. You got any marquee matchups you looking forward to playing against once we get to the league? I mean, it's gonna be fun to play against Dallas if I wanna go there. Cause I mean, playing in Dallas, you know, at the crib, that'd be cool. But okay, yeah. Dallas is in the lottery too, so I mean, it could it be might all. end up there. Nah, yeah, it yeah. might be the might end up there. <laughs> Now shout out to Anthony Black and the Orlando Magic, man. Their core is about to be ridiculous. Yes. Paolo, Franz. They're not done, though, KB. They still got another. Oh, 11. Well, I'm never going to forget that they got 11. 11. Because, never mind. I'm not going to talk about it. The Chicago Bulls yeah. could have been there. Yeah, that's, oh. our, that's our pick. Could have yeah. been there. Should have been our pick. Y'all could have been getting. Oh, I can't wait to see who they get, because then it just could say y'all could have been getting him. It's going to be <laughs> Franz, Wendell, and whoever they draft at 11. Kobe Bufkin. And it's going to be like, damn, we should have had those players together. I hope they takes a swing <sighs> on a score. I can see Keontae George being a good pick for them at 11. A guy who can also shoot, but also score off the bench punch. Uh, but then you got Jordan Hawkins, who could just be a snipe. What does this snipe mean for Jalen Suggs? Oh, he's going to trade. You think so? I, <laughs> I bet my bottom dollar that Jalen Suggs is out of there. By the end of the night, or are you saying? No, I can't nah, say probably. when. Okay. I can't say when. Yeah, here he we go. Here we go. Pick is in. Seventh overall oh, yeah. pick. Indiana Pacers are taking the man whose name I refuse to butcher. Bilal but Colaby. But okay. Bilal. But he's being traded to the Washington Wizards. He's getting tra- so the Wizards traded one pick up to make sure they got their guy. Which I said on Twitter a few hours ago. This is the move to make. The Washington Wizards had to go upside. You have to go mm-hmm. upside. And now you on paper have Jordan Poole, Bilal, uh, Denny, Gafford. There are some things there. It's there's shaping some, up. Yeah. The one thing I hate about this is that, okay, we're aware that there's a trade going down. He's going to grab a Pacer hat. Yes. He'll never play yeah. a second for the Pacers. So yes. all of his pictures are going to be in Pacer gear. He'll yeah, be okay. He's like a millionaire. He'll be all right, but still. Yeah. Multi-millionaire. And you know, like Larry Marketing was in the Timberwolves stuff. He never played a second, though. And Bilal. That, that's how it is. Cole. Bilal Kolabali. He yeah, is, I'm just glad that they got some. Say it with me, KB. Bilal Kolabali. Bilal Kolabali. As long as he makes some highlights in his first week of the season, I'll remember that forever. Hey, yeah. I think he's going to be one of your favorite players because that defense is tenacious. But oh, yeah. that mid-range self-creation yeah. is his eyes so, hurt yeah, so yeah. far. <laughs> but, no, I love him. I love him. I think this dude is is ridiculous. That's 7-2 seven seven, wingspan. Yeah, not crazy. a lot of guys come in with a 7-2 wingspan and are successful. He just looks like a basketball was player. 5-10. Three years ago. I wish you could have got that growth spurt. At, bro, be imagine. Export. <laughs> export. I, don't, I wouldn't be doing this we podcast. Need we need to we be, be in his a, entourage. Right. We need to be in the NBA. <laughs> I like it for the Pacers just because a lot of their lineups last year, they were running super small. They had, like, people that were 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, the Pacers. The, the Pacers. He's going to the Wizards. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. The way it, no, uh, yeah, that's the trade. That's, I need to have my phone out. But the Wizards, was, yeah, just we said it a few it's times. It's my uh, B. <laughs> <laughs> the Wizards, I, I'm glad that they they got somebody with some really high upside. After all that, they're getting back. Jordan Poole, probably the best thing that they got back with all the trades they're making. They need somebody that's going to, you know, just somebody they could build with and lean on. I wonder what this trade, what is the, that's what we're waiting for. What do we know about this potential trade? Obviously, I'm assuming that the eighth overall pick was involved, so the Pacers trade so down one. I can tell one. you right now. Okay. Um, and I hope I'm not getting too far ahead of myself. Indiana is selecting Jairus Walker at eight via the Wizards. And then they'll send That's two second-round picks yes, in order. Second picks. So Jairus up. Walker is going to be the Pacer, which, yes, I nailed it. I nailed it. That's, I nailed it. I nailed it. That's that, that might be my favorite pick of the draft so far. And I said it on stream yesterday. 
Jairus Walker may not have the most MVPs, all-star selections, but he's going to be one of the most winning players in this draft because he does whatever his team needs on a night-in basis, and the Pacers just got him. Him and Miles Turner front court, Halliburton calling the shots, Benedict Matherin, you're going to get better at hey. D, but he's being explosive. You, you, Bilal, Kalub, Kalub, Bilal. Bilal. Let's, Bilal. let's give him his love. <laughs> oh, I did. I did. I was waiting for, uh, what y'all think? Um, I think he's the perfect wing to go to the Wizards. Uh, when you look at Jordan Poole and uh, Tyus Jones, you got a big wing who can now defend multiple positions. That, it's a, that's very promising if you ask me. And then you got Daniel Gafford on the back end. You you got a perfect team, Swing. not a perfect team, but you got a good. Definitely yeah, not saying. perfect, yeah. man. And he got yeah, Denny, 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 them twenty eight wins. He and him are very good defenders when you put them both on the court together. So well, that's he, gonna be very. Be, be patient with Bilal because he's young, yeah, and he's gonna have a lot of growing pains. But I'm happy that the Wizards have Jordan Poole to take away some of that pressure of him oh, yeah. not maybe having the best opening month of his career. Cause you and got, Jordan Poole will make that easier for him. Jordan you, Poole has shown Flash to be a solid pass. Know how NBA fans get, man. If you ain't averaging 30 in that first week, he's a bust. The right. D-word gets thrown around. You're playing with somebody that's going to be averaging 30 in that first be, week. Be patient. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just want to make sure, because it seems like there might be some confusion in the chat, Bilal has been traded to the Washington Wizards in exchange for the seventh overall pick in two future seconds. And with that pick, the Wizards have decided, I mean, uh, the Pacers have decided to take Jairus Walker. Just want to make that clear for the people that might have got lost in the sauce. Just one off. I wonder what that what that conversation is like. Do the Pacers bluff say, yeah, we about to take Bilal? And the, yeah, the Wizards are like, oh my God, don't do it, don't do it. We'll I give feel you like seconds. that wasn't yeah, that like much worried that they needed popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> I Lucky didn't think they were going to take was. him with that pick. That's why I'm a little surprised they traded the further one up for him. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I feel like we always cut you off, but I be. He don't be saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he don't be saying nothing at all. The, the Wizards, man, this is an offseason for them. As you you know, they traded Bradley Beal away, traded Chris Dasperzingis away, traded Chris Paul away, which they got from the Bradley Beal trade. And now Kuzma's a free agent. so Kuzma's all but gone. Um, which is probably but for the I, better. I highly doubt he wants to stay there and be a part of a rebuild. Well, he said he won thirty million dollars, and I don't know how many teams can give him thirty million dollars <laughs> annually. So, uh, so, so I guess I guess we'll see. Um, but now we're showing the Jairus Walker stuff. Uh, the man is an absolute stud. Shoulders of steel. Plays great defense. Crazy upside. I mean, he's on one of the the best teams in the country all year long. And uh, man, do I love his fit for the pace. Like the Pacers are putting together one of the best young cores in ball. That between quick, those quick feet that he got when he can sit down and play on a switch is yeah. very, it's going to yeah. be very. This is a winning essential. team, too. Yeah. This is a winning team early last year. Yeah, he, they were a playoff team yeah. until, yeah. He's going to play with a guy like Tyrese Halliburton who sets the table for all his teammates. Mm -hmm. If there's one team, if I was a young player that I would want to be drafted to, it's, it's the Indiana Pacers. I want to go play with Rick Carlisle and Tal Tyrese Halliburton. Yeah, like, and we've seen. Just like we talk about versatile threes, I think versatile fours are also becoming more of the norm, especially after we've seen what Aaron Gordon did and how not only you could lock up on the perimeter, but you can take care of some of the bigger bodies down low and also protect at the rim. And I just like what he does in terms of what all that. And he also can do a little bit of playmaking and show that, too. And he shot 37% from three. So, like, so like the 37% from three, it, it could improve, but, like, 37% is very I mean, solid for a four-man. If four he man. shoots 37% yeah. from three for his career, the Pacers are ecstatic. Yeah, He's going to get the look. Miles Turner and Jairus Walker on the court at the same time. Both Damn. of them don't – they're not a spacing issue. This could – I, I, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on him with the Pacers. This looks like it could be a playoff team so fast, bro. Yeah. I mean, they had a, a really nice run at the beginning of the last season before Tyrese had got hurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, yeah, that's that's what I was that's that's what I was saying. Like, he's probably not going to be rookie of the year or you know win the most MVPs or anything like that. But when you talk about winning basketball games, this guy helps you do it. Um, did it last year, like you said, with Houston and Coach Sampson. Um, and I think he's going to do the same thing in Indiana. They're going to have a really really good team that can do a lot of different things. We talked to Jairus Walker at Media Day. Can we can we get that footage up? Because he said some some very interesting stuff about his potential comps and stuff. What's one thing that you don't feel like you were able to showcase at Houston that'll grab people by surprise at the next level? I feel like my my ball handling for sure, playmaking and shot creation. Who is a player that you look at in the league today and you like, damn, I see some of myself in his game, or you know, he reminds me of me. I I feel like just the versatility that LeBron brings to the game. Like I feel mm -hmm. like it's it's really nothing he can't do, and I kind of feel like that about myself. So 
You got any marquee matchups that you're looking to go against when you get to the league? I want to see what KD talking about. Okay. <laughs> I want to see what he's talking about. Tatum, too, because they've been, they been on one. And, like, I, I got an ego myself, so I feel like I'm a, I'm a really good defender. But, I mean, I'm going to just do what I can to make it tough for him. But right. definitely that's going to be exciting. What's your favorite? I think that in the NBA, you need some form of irrational confidence. So when he say, I got an ego and he's ready for Tatum and stuff, like I think that's that's the right mindset going into the NBA because this is the best basketball league in the world. Yeah, it's not like he came out and said that, like Andre Drummond said that he's Kevin Durant. Yeah. He said he's ready to guard those guys. And he feel like he, he did ready to say that challenges. he feels like Braun, though. <laughs> and that wasn't in the clip, but that's part of the YouTube video if you want to go check it out. He did say he feel like he can be Braun. Um, and th- that's big shoes to fill. <laughs> But I guess shoot for the stars. Shoot for the yeah. stars, Jairus. I'm happy for him, man. Dude's a winner. Shout out to Indiana. If I'm a Pacer fan, I'm going crazy right now. Yeah, and this is best case scenario. Can whip more fail. Still falling, man. Still falling. Don't wonder what the medicals are looking like. Yeah, man. no, that's the real question. What exactly was in that physical? I know at the beginning of the year, at Villanova, he had broke his thumb. So now I wonder what it is. Ooh. Now. That boy didn't did a little research. Uh, Shout out to D Vils. No, broken thumb is not doing that though. At, that, the, end, that, at no. the end, at the beginning of the year, you ain't know who can win more. Yeah. Hey, I know now. <laughs> hey, his job ain't to know before the season starts. <laughs> his job is right now. No, it's just funny how you said at the beginning of the is, year. Is he the first person to do these interviews without? All uh, without a anybody person, with him? his mom, dad, or agent, or something. I wonder was that like did he just want to do it solo? He's like, hey, I'm good. I got this. I'm Me media do. trained. I know not to say no crazy stuff. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I know not to say that I'm the best player in the draft. No, it's not that. Even though I, it already um, has happened. <laughs> the pick is in for the Utah Jazz. Are they the ones that say, hey, Cam, we taking you? I believe so. I don't know. I don't know. I feel. Because I feel like they front court solidifies. Laurie marketing. Cam Winmore's a small forward. I know. So why would they go out and get Taylor Hendricks? Oh, you saying they are going to yeah, take yeah. him? Okay. Well, I mean, I think gonna the rationalization him. is Larry Markin can play the three. He has a good amount. Yeah. But I really like Larry at the four. Me too. Yeah. That's when you unlock the superpowers. Yeah. I mean, you don't remember the Kelly O'Linick? You know what would be a crazy pick right here? Uh-huh. I like Kobe Buffkin here, but Let's see what I know it they're is. not going to do it. They were running a lot of Larry Markin and Kelly O'Linick, Walker Kessler last season. Or Keontae George. Go ahead and get him. I feel like that would be a reach. Um... Let, I guess we'll see. Oh, I guess we're getting some commercial breaks. Imagine. Dang, he looks so much taller than everybody. Um, but so far, the draft, how y'all, how y'all feeling, man? It's been going through kind of kind of cool. None of our favorite teams some has surprises. picked up. Oh, I'm sorry. One of your favorite teams has picked. Some surprises, man. Some surprises. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is what yeah. I'm here for. Pick the player that you love, not the player that is mocked to your spot. Yeah. That, that's that should be – that's good GMing. And if you miss, so be it. You're not going to get fired until like four years in the future if the player's going to be a bust. Yeah, but on paper so far, I feel like we haven't seen no like WTF type of picks or anything like that so far. It seems like everything is should be fitting. Or it's like it's a perfect match for these teams that are picking. Yeah, I think the only surprising thing was Asar Thompson. Like we, I didn't think he was going to go Hold that, hold that. Because when we get to our straight talk segment, you tell oh, me yeah. exactly uh, You tell me exactly what the surprising pick is. Um, but who just went? Hey, Jairus Walker. Jairus Walker. And uh, yeah, to see that was the first trade of the night. Um, of draft. I don't know if we getting anything else because I felt like I if the we, trades hope, were going to happen. I wonder if we're going to get any solidified concrete guys that's already in the league traded. I don't know, man. Dallas, Like, is man. Dallas going to trade number yeah, 10? Dallas is a, it's almost there, baby. We'll find out I very was, soon. Hey, 10 and Bertons might get you something. It might get you. <laughs> if it ain't DeMar get you, DeRozan. If it ain't get you nothing thus far, I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel bad for them because I noticed it, it was somebody that they could have got and they were so close. I but, think that, like, if you... If you're thinking about trading for that pick, you see who's being drafted ninth right, right here and so, be like, oh, snap, he's still on the board. Let's go yeah. get that guy. Um, and we'll see if it happens. <sighs> I wouldn't be mad if they ended up you know, what's tough keeping with that, that okay, pick. I think Derek Live would be really good for them, too, just for that big. We'll see. If what's they ended tough, up keeping the pick. What's tough for the trading thing is if, like, you're the Bulls and you didn't have a pick thus far, did you work out Cam Whitmore? The Bulls, the Bulls worked out uh, 12 individuals. And was Cam one of them? I don't know. Um, oh, they didn't release the names? So many, nah, so many people get drafted without doing any workout for the Which team I that drafted them. That's, hor- that's um, horrific. Yeah. Sometimes it works out, though. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a... Oh, um, damn. Who was the example? They were on uh, Podcast P recently. Who was his recent Jaylen guest? Jalen Green? Nope. Not um, Jalen Green. Uh, it obviously, wasn't Julius Randle. Carl Anthony Towns. Um, um, no. It wasn't DeMar. It wasn't DeMar. Damn it. Or maybe it was a, it was one of the NBA player 
There's so many damn player podcasts now. Real. They all kind of blend together. But somebody didn't work out for the team that drafted them, and it ended up being what? Like, it wasn't uh, like uh, anything was crazy. All right, I'm going to, while we on this commercial break, and we, as we wait for what the Utah Jazz is up to, I'm going to look up the history yeah, of Yeah, I'm kind of remembering this a little bit um, in my mind. Because he said he didn't work I out didn't for even them. Work, funny thing is, I didn't even work out for them. Was it Jaron? Did Jaron not work out for the Grizzlies because he thought he was going to go to the Atlanta Hawks at three and he failed failed to four? Oh, maybe. I don't remember. Yeah, I, don't I didn't remember. see this clip out. Ah, it's tough. I, I felt like it was J- somebody else. Can you check the chat? Have you, can you look at chat and, and tell check me? Chat. Chat. Ain't check the chat at all. I forgot it exists. I forgot we was live. Maybe spoiling. Ain't check the chat since Vic got selected. Maybe <laughs> spoiling. I feel pr- I'm like 86 percent sure it was Jaren. It is Jaren Jackson okay. Jr. Okay, so yeah, Chad is spamming Jaren Jackson. There Jr. we go. Thank you, Chad. Love you. Love you. Leave a like on the screen, by the way. Um, so yeah, Jaren didn't work out, and it wor- he's the DPOY of the league right now. So you know, if you do the right medicals and you do your own individual scouting, I guess you don't need the. The workouts for yourself. If you could ball, you could ball, man. Yeah, I'm sure it's been a lot of cases where somebody didn't work out for the team, got drafted, and was ass. <laughs> we won't like, hear those stories, like, though. Oh, okay. Oh, you hey, somebody in my head? The pick is in in right, Utah. In, Adam Silva. I want to say Talk to me. congratulations to another <laughs> guy who was a good friend of the show. Yep. Uh, follow back, watches the stories on IG, all of that. <laughs> Taylor Hendricks. Taylor welcome Hendricks, to Utah, baby. Woo! Love it, love it, love it. Let's go, Taylor, man. Dallas was so close. That's, they were so was very the, close. That was the guy they I would have damn near tried to trade up so to get Taylor Hendricks. So close, yeah. man. Yeah. So close. And it's funny because there is a guy, not going to say no names, who we talked to, and he said, Oh, oh my God. <laughs> he said, I know exactly man, what you're about to talk man, about. I don't, I don't know if I want to go to Utah. Yeah. And he ain't going to Utah. He's so not going out, to Utah. Shout out to, shout out to that guy, man. Hey, you know what? We were in Utah. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Salt Lake City, Utah, specifically. Beautiful, beautiful city. Walk yeah, outside. I had a mountain range. Out there. Yeah. Have fun. At, their front court is solidified. Laurie, Taylor, and Walker Kessler. Yep. yep. And then they're going to have a pick uh, right after the lottery, around 16 or 17, yep. uh, to go out there and get a, another player, maybe some backcourt help. And then you also have a pick at 28, I believe. So they're going to have three first-round picks. Um, and I, lo- I love this pick, man. I really do. I said you have to go and get somebody <clears throat> with upside. When you're in the top ten, and they did it, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean t- go ahead. <laughs> we were talking about this dude. That me, Mike? He could, yeah, I was. But this is a dude that could have ended up going like <laughs> fifth or sixth. But he kind of he fell to the Jazz. I like it because he can. Oh. He's selfless. Did a major trade go through? Major, no. But a trade did happen. Okay. I mean, we, we're not talking about it yet. We need to stay okay. on Taylor Hendricks. But yep. the fact that a he trade I don't did know what happen, but I'm gonna just wait. Derek, you crazy, bro? The, <laughs> what did I do? You'll see. <laughs> I like. I just like the fact he don't need the ball, and the Jazz played a lot of team ball. Derek, and spread you are it crazy. All right. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I'm crazy, but I'll be crazy for a minute. You crazy man? Crazy <laughs> in a good way. Oh. <laughs> but, um, Taylor, Taylor, so Taylor Hendricks. I, you want to go? You yeah, go. he's a friend of the show. Um, he had followed me on Twitter. I mean, uh, Instagram a long time ago. And I'm be honest with you, I don't do draft work. Like even here, me being here right now, I shit. Um. I didn't know who he was. A verified account. All right, I'll hit him with a follow back. Little did I know dudes about to be drafted ninth overall in this upcoming NBA draft. When we, We're at Media Day, which we want to roll those clips of him being interviewed in a second. The first person we saw when we were at Media Day was Taylor Hendricks. And what did he ask us? Where's, uh, water where's, tower. Water, where's the yeah. water tower? Y'all know how tower. to get to the water tower? We oh, didn't know yeah. what the hell he was talking about. We thought about. he was talking about the building. The building. <laughs> like, wow. yeah, I don't know. Uh, but he was, he was a cool dude, great dude. Can we roll a clip of us interviewing Taylor Hendricks at Media Day? Um, let's get into it. What part of your game do you feel like you weren't able to showcase as much in college that you think will grab people by surprise when you get to the next level? I'll say my ability to handle the ball. You know, I did it, you know, a little bit in college, but I feel like I have a lot more to show with that. You got any marquee matchups when you're looking at the league and saying, like, I can't wait to go against those those guys or that guy? I would probably say LeBron and Anthony Davis. Oh, wow. Mm. You sound like a damn that's, Laker fan. That's one game. <laughs> I am a Laker fan. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah, you are? Hey, yes. your family. Huh? We At least family. for a couple more days. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anybody you kind of modeled your game after growing up? Anthony Davis. Oh, <laughs> see, yeah. Chicago. Yeah, he Chicago. right on point. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so with it, I love, I love the pick, man. I love the pick. I think they got... Even if it's not a necessary great fit, you might think, because you say you want to have Laurie at the four... They got a guy. Yeah, and they I think Taylor guy. Hendricks is versatile enough, especially on both ends of the floor, especially with the catch and shoot ability. He can come in and plug in and fit perfectly with this team. So they got a lot of different options. Yeah. Um, Derek, a few minutes ago, 
What's up? We were talking about the Mavericks. About them trading number 10? And you said 10 and Bertans could get you some. Don't tell. They got some? 10 and Bertans is being traded, Derek. Damn. And 10. Oh, man. My favorite player in the draft class is going Another to. Another friend of the show. Our friends Sheesh. of the shows are. I, well, hey, all, here. all of our friends of the shows are selected in the, the lottery, basically. <laughs> uh, Jalen Hutch, you know, you come on, man. You got to join the party. But, um, yeah, they're going to OKC. Okay. Case and Wallace is going to OKC uh, with. Wait. Case and Wallace and Davis Bertans. Uh, Case and Wallace drafted 10. Uh, sorry to spoil it to you. Um, it's, it's, it's here. Yeah, it's the pick is in. You're about to hit it in a second. Case and Wallace in, is going to OKC with Davis Bertans. And as of right now, the only thing it's looking like is just cap 12. flexibility. Oh. Well. oh. And, and 12. They traded down. And 12? Two. Okay. So OKC Thunder said, hey, our guy Case is still on the board. Let's use our 12th overall pick in the cap space that we have to take in the, the terrible contract of Davis Bertans um, in exchange to get our guy. And now... I'm an OKC fan, ladies and gentlemen. But another hidden, <laughs> it is. another hidden thing in this, and why Dallas maybe did this, is two guys that Dallas really liked. They like Taylor Hendricks, and they like Cam Whitmore. Cam Whitmore is still on the board. So him falling and slipping was not smoking mirrors for some team to take him. That was real. We are now at pick 11, and we still don't have a home for Cam Whitmore yet. And if Dallas was able to get off the Bertans contract and still can get a guy that they liked at 12, yeah. that's going to be a huge, huge W for them. Um, and I'm interested to see what Orlando does. Uh, Dallas, as we can see in front of us, still got to bring Kyrie back. Um, and OKC, OKC, you, I am surprised by this pick a tad bit. Me too. It's another guard. So we now have Josh Giddy, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Kaysen Wallace, Lou Dort, Trey Mann. I mean, Jalen Williams and Lou Dort are like guards who can probably play three and four a little bit, as we saw. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just they're one of those teams that have a lot of talent at a lot of different positions. So I guess they they're, they're taking their money and they're putting it on another Kentucky guard because the last time they bet on Kentucky guard, uh, it saved their franchise. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, this is man, this is beautiful. I'm not worried about fit whatsoever. No, I think he fits their identity of just that. That tough, grit and grind, and they're going to sit down in that chair and play defense type of mold. He has other playmakers like Josh Giddy and, and Shea to kind of take care of the offense, but I think he's still got a lot to grow and to show on the offensive side too. Yeah, it seems like OKC for a minute has been playing like this positionless like basketball. Like Even back with CB3, Shea, and Dennis Schroeder, like they just kind of played freely, but they had guys who can also just like they bought into their role and they all knew if we play defense, we could be on the court. So if you play defense with the Thunder, and you play like that switch ability, you fine. And I think Casey Wallace can come in and do that for them perfectly. And now that the pick is in, we're going to take our first straight talk timeout. Again, a straight talk timeout we're going to do after every 10 picks. And we're all going to give our favorite, most surprising, and probably not so favorite pick. D Mills, give me your favorite pick thus far. Uh, it's Jairus Walker. Uh, I think Jairus Walker going to – wait – Pacers. Uh, the Pacers. The Pacers, yeah. He, him Your going favorite to, pick. Jared, don't know where it's I at. Had, my, my that brain, brain, brain got his brain all messed up. You I, had to want to, I wanted to make sure he didn't get traded. Brain but, feeling uh, wheezy. But Jairus Walker going to the Pacers, I think it's perfect. He gets to go <laughs> Queasy, there. I'm sorry. What was it? Queasy, yeah. He gets to go there and play with Tyrese Halliburton. And I feel like if you're any player in this draft class and you get to go play with a guy who sets the table like Tyrese Halliburton and is selfless and willing to get his guys involved, I think that's just a beautiful fit for him. And, I, and that's probably my favorite pick of this draft class right now. Yeah, I don't want to overlap you, so even though that is my favorite pick as well, I'm just going to take my guy, Casey Wallace, man. Um, I'm so happy for him to go this high in the draft and to go to an organization that has so much upside. Now, it's not going to be an easy role considering there's a lot of people there he's going to be competing for with minutes, but healthy competition is good competition. And he's going to go there, and I think he's going to earn himself minutes but just by being a dog. I love that pick. Uh, my favorite pick is Taylor Hendricks. I think the way he can fit in like a glove with the Jazz is just going to be easy for them to just also continue what they're doing, but I also think he can contribute right away. He could play multiple wing spots that three or four, and he can defend. You know, he can defend a lot. So I think he's in the right spot for what he does. I had to say my favorite one had to be Bilal. I think the Washington Wizards needed somebody that they could take with upside with this new fresh start, um, and they did it. They were able to go out there and get him, and that's exactly what they needed. Um, least favorite pick, D Mills. The least favorite pick, it was probably the Star Thompson. Uh, it was just surprising to see Cam Whitmore and them fall as, as long. And uh, 
I thought Cam Whitmore would have been a great fit for Houston, but they took a star who I think also has a lot of upside, but I'm and I'm not mad at it. Yeah, I mean, I that's mine too. I felt like the no, I'm gonna actually go with the Magic. I'm gonna say that I didn't expect them to go wow. with Anthony Black. I felt like they would have went with some more shooting. Uh, I'm not saying it's the wrong pick or anything, but I feel like they could have went a different direction. Obviously, that with already having Paolo. Selfishly, I I don't like that the. The Trailblazers used the third overall pick. I was, I was ready for chaos. <laughs> that was, that was going to be my I answer. I was ready well. for chaos, and we ain't get it, which is fine, which is fine. Scooter's going to be a dub for the organization. And then lastly, what's your most surprising pick? I think the most surprising pick for me um, is probably the Sir Thompson one, to see him go as high as he did. Uh, I, you know, a lot of the mocks that I saw was between, like, 7 and 12-ish to see him go, you know, at number 5 is dope for the family. But it did surprise me a little bit. I have to say the same thing. I... I uh, also, a surprise is Cam Whitmore going in this. That's surprise. what I was going to say. I didn't know. Those it medicals got to be tough. It wasn't a pick, but I was just surprised that Cam Whitmore had fell. Like I said, we've seen this dude almost sometimes his top is uh, as high as top four. So to see him fall out of that, that top ten is really surprising to me. For me, it's uh, Case and Wallace. He's going to a team who has a lot of guards. I wouldn't. I didn't expect the OKC Thunder to go in and buy in on another PG when they have Josh Giddy and Shea. So I felt like they would have been more of a wing position. Mm-hmm. But – I'm not mad at it. He got to come out there and play for his minutes, but fit wise, it's gonna be very interesting to see how it works. No, yeah, and the Magic have their pick in. We talked about it before. There's a big hole in this team as far as perimeter three point shooting, and um, this 11th pick is going to be somebody that's going to give them some shooting. It has to be. Um, I can't see no other way. Already taken Anthony Black, who again I, I love the Anthony Black pick just yeah. because I think. The more talent you put around him, the better he is as a player. I think there's a lot of players that are like that where, um, you know, their best part is showing their IQ and setting up, setting up teammates, um, you know, make enough for teammates, lapses on defense. He's going to be able to do a lot of those things and add a lot of winning plays to a team that has a lot of overwhelming talent. Um, the Grizzlies have been contacting the Magic about Franz. Did y'all see that? I did see that. Why I would you wait your I, phone I'm not bill? letting Franz go with on the Magic. There's, I'm hanging Grizzlies up that just phone playing with their phone bill. Yeah. Just, waste, just wasting minutes. I respect it, though. Yeah. You never, you Look never at know. Coach Cal, my guy. Co- Coach Cal's like, he's, I got another one. A legend. Another lottery pick. Another DJ guard. DJ voice, another one. Something about, something about those Kentucky guards, man. If you're going to bet on any archetype, Bet on the Kentucky guard in the NBA. <laughs> Kentucky they, guards, a, a, a lot of the time, well, most of the time, guards. You got Derrick Rose. They translate. Um, Emmanuel quickly was good. Oh, don't year. tell me. Don't showcase the Bulls trade from two years ago. Come oh, on, wow. man. You ain't got to show it now. I forgot Amino was a bull. See, fake fan. <laughs> <laughs> the Aaron Fox and Malik Monk show, show it out this playoffs. Yep. Kentucky guards. Yeah. All right. The pick Jamal is in. Murray. 11th overall yes, pick. The Orlando yes, Magic are selecting. The son. Jed, Jed Howard. Jed Ooh, Howard? Is that I was not expecting. It this feels is, like this a, is a surprise bit of, for me. I'm this feels just... like a Cam Johnson type pick. Mm-hmm. We go with the guy that we really like, regardless yeah. of where he's mocked up, and it's going to surprise some people. And it really surprised Kobe White back in the day. This surprised, this surprised me. This yeah. surprised me a lot. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, after they picked up Anthony Black, they got a dude that can space the floor. Like I said, they needed, they needed the shooting for their guys, and they pick up a dude that can really knock it down and create uh, create a little bit at the perimeter. I'm th- not too worried about the defense, but I think he's one of those dudes that comes into uh, comes into a team, spaces the floor, and also these shooters on cheap contracts, they're going to be valuable. They had they had to be intrigued with the size. There's a lot of guys that can really shoot the ba- basketball, Jordan Hawkins, but he's 6'5". Um, Grady Dick at 6'7". Even Keontae George at 6'4". For a Jet to be a 6'8", maybe even flirting with 6'9", because he's still so young, Maybe can get an inch or two still um, with the shooting, <laughs> with the sh- with the shooting at that size, and you already have six ten Paolo, six ten Franz, six seven, six eight point guard Anthony Black. This team is gonna be huge. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna be yeah. the smallest person gonna be Wendell Carter. <laughs> <laughs> the center. Uh, it's crazy reading chat. Chat is just like going crazy. It's Come just on, a shock. Please. It's a shock. Dog so bad. Wow. Everybody's in- everybody everybody lives in a W or L mindset. And I hate that's it. just the way it like Because is. history shows us, like KB said, this is my favorite. I love when a team says, I don't care about y'all mocks, because that's all it is is a mock. 
We work these guys out. We interview these guys. We see what we have, and we like players. People had the same reaction for Cam Johnson. I bet everybody yeah. in the chat, they wish their favorite team could go out and sign Cam Johnson this year. I would love Cam Johnson yeah. on my favorite And we got 10,000 concurrents in the Through the White Live stream leave right light, now, man. man. I want to give a big shout out to I y'all. I want you to read some more comments and talk to read, them, man. Read some more comments. Cause Cause you you, you acting luxury. like it ain't a lot of people over there. The but. luxury of the Orlando Magic over the last two seasons is having multiple picks. Last year, Jalen Suggs didn't hit. But Franz did. That was two years ago. Two years ago, Jalen Suggs didn't hit, but Franz did. Paolo hit. <laughs> last year, Paolo hit. But yeah, <laughs> they need two picks. Two of the last three years, they've had the luxury of Marty got a question picks. for us, man. Uh-huh. Marty wants to know, does that mean Cole Anthony and Suggs got to be gone, right? One of the two at bare minimum. Bare Cole minimum, Anthony got to have more two. value, though. You you would think so, but I would assume that's Jalen Suggs does. Just, just the younger upside um, with only having a few seasons under his belt. Um, in the defense, you know, the de- the defense of Suggs is tenacious and real. It's just about can he, A, stay healthy, and can he uh, provide anything on the offensive side other than hitting the game winner against the Bulls a couple months ago. That game against the Warriors, he showed out. He guessed. That fourth <laughs> quarter, if you could get that version <laughs> of Jalen Suggs again, that's why, this is that, a dynasty. That's building. why my team need a uh, moments card because that moment card would probably still be usable the way he was playing. Look at Coach. <laughs> that's got to be a great moment, man. It's got to be a great moment to see your boy. And now we finna get the rumors that he gonna start coaching the match. <laughs> Jamal Mosley officially on the hot seat. <laughs> and you know, he'll he fight for his team. I've seen it. <laughs> for real. Um, the pick is in. Uh, OKC Ooh. is ready to select for the Dallas Mavericks, so I'm very interested to see what the Mavericks do. Mm-hmm. Mike already hinted at it. Uh, Derek Lively um, out of Duke. And um, I'm interested to see what they do. Do Duke they go big? University. Do they get a shooter? I feel like they... Yeah. And Whitmore's still on the board, ladies and gents. We're a couple picks away from being out of the lottery. I just want to remind y'all What is home. the furthest you can see him fall at this point? I, I, at this point, I have no idea because I never in a million years would have thought that we'd be here in a, a getting ready to approach the teens. And you tell me that Cam Whitmore is still on the board. And then the next team is Toronto. Mm-hmm. I have a little birdie on the low. Ooh. He's not Cam Whitmore won't be selected by the Mavericks. <laughs> okay. He won't be so 12. Don't worry about Cam Whitmore. Okay. He's still gonna be. I can't see Toronto taking Cam Whitmore. I don't Whitmore. see it either. So Cam Unless Whitmore. Unless they like, damn, the upside is so damn good that we just wanna we just wanna do it. But aren't they tired of that log jam of OG Scotty Pascal? Now you add another, another high <laughs> energy. <laughs> they need, it's athletic. time they get a guard. Um, oh, I guess did, did we say what the pick was? Yeah. No, but boom, Derek, Li- Derek, Derek, Lively. Derek Lively is, Derek is Lively. going to the Mavericks. Mavericks, and I'm happy with that because yeah. I, I mocked that up a thousand times. It just made it makes so much sense, right? He reminds you of like a young Tyson Chandler. He's going to set screens, run the floor, and he's going to dunk. And yep. that's all the Mavericks need their bigs to do. And JaVale McGee, we all thought was an underrated signing, and they would get that from him. They didn't, and now they get a younger What's, guy. What scares me about this archetype yes. is that sometimes you can't get Tyson Chandler, and sometimes you get Willie Cauley-Stein. And you got to hope that you got Uncle Tyson instead of Willie Cauley-Stein. <laughs> yeah. uh, but Willie Cauley-Stein maybe have a different career if the team that drafted him didn't draft him when they already had DeMarcus and Cousins. And George's Papianis. <laughs> yes. That was just stupidity. You got you to gotta put players in position to succeed and reach their fullest potential. You cannot draft somebody and they already have a perennial all-star at that position. So yeah, if, right. I'm a, if I'm a long athletic center, I want to go play with Luka. For sure. If there's one thing I know he does is when he's doubled, two guys going to come with him. I get to slip, lobs. There's a lot of different things that you could do. And I, I just think it's going to be a beautiful fit for him because now Dallas finally has a rim running lob threat center that rim they really have too. Yeah, and rim protecting. It's not the Christian Wood. Christian Wood was not their dream center. They tried it, and now they get to go out and draft a guy for their dream center instead of having to go out and try to sign somebody. Do y'all think that he immediately comes in and gets like real minutes? Uh, I wouldn't yes. be surprised. Yeah, because they don't really have. Yeah, a, I wouldn't be surprised. Starting uh, real minutes, yes. I could see them starting Dwight Powell to begin with, but then eventually. Throughout the season, I could see it slowly getting into lively. Yeah, Shot. young centers also, they had that trouble too, especially the shot blockers are getting in foul trouble, especially when they're playing big minutes. So if he's playing 20 to 25 and maybe more, we'll see. But I think that's a good range for him and to be effective too. This is interesting. Obviously, Jay Billis is not um, a god, but on his individual big board, players left, he had Derek Lively, number 10. So he's got nine prospects still available higher than Derek Lively. Does that feel right? Or uh, from this perspective, Jay Billis, Bayless, Billis is saying that this is pretty much a reach. 
<laughs> I don't think. It's well, I don't think it's a reach because I think Dallas is going down and getting what they need. This is just one of those picks where they're going down and drafting what they want instead of them having to try to look through free agency. Why wouldn't I just draft the long rangey rim protecting center that I could just draft right now? So, yeah, I, I'm saying that too. That's exactly what they needed, and all, he's cheap contract, and he's got that point where he could help a little bit now, but also maybe a year or two down the road, we look at him and like, wow, he really does fit perfectly next to Luca. So what I, happens? I'm agreeing now? with Mike on that. I think he's going to have like a big year two jump where like Nicholas Claxton did, and we're going to be like, Whoa. okay. Um, what ha- what happens now that they traded down two spots? They got the guy who y'all wanted them to get to start off with, and they traded away the contract. Oh, it was Davis Bertans. Yeah. We're not cap experts here on this panel. But that's they freed up money. at least $17 million yeah. potentially. Obviously, they, they intend on bringing back Kyrie Irving. Yes. But with that extra amount of cash, Gotta potentially. Get help. Dylan Brooks. They, they could, oh, oh, Mike. D- Dylan Brooks might be the pick. He's on to something. He's yeah. on something. He's on it might be Dylan Brooks. I have to be Dylan Brooks. Because I think they Dylan Brooks it. is worth $17 Can you imagine Luca doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Only thing is, Dylan Brooks can't shoot if anymore. Dylan Brooks is shooting thirty five <laughs> plus from downtown. Luca might have to. Yeah, hey, can we can we trust that at this point? I don't um, know. I don't know. What about Kyle Kuzma? Oh, Kuz wants Jeremy Grant. plus million. Jeremy wants one hundred and fifty million. Thirty million a year. Thirty million a year for Jeremy Grant. I'm he just might. saying he wants it. We want. It. There's a lot of things that we want in his life. It just don't mean you're gonna. Jeremy Grant and Kuzma both demanding thirty million this trade. Just is kind of wild. Yeah. Somebody, <laughs> somebody's gonna pay one of those two dudes that thirty million. And it's probably going to be the Blazers with Jeremy Grant because at this point, there's not a lot of other options out there. True. Got to do what you got to do. <laughs> and $30 million nine days with the way the, the league is evolving, two years from now, $30 million is not really going to be on nothing. I really love that Derek Lively pick. I, I have no idea what Jay Billis is talking about. <laughs> Seriously. I'm, I'm just being serious. I, yeah, I, I love have, it too. It's I have perfect. no idea what he's talking about. I, I love the pick. Um, even if it was at 10, I would have still liked it, even if they would have considered too. a reach. But the fact that they even traded back and still got it is even better. Yeah, because their team is looking to compete. They're not really looking to rebuild. So they went out and got a guy that fits. And also, anybody who studied this draft and this draft class knows, after a few picks, a lot of these players, their ranges were so wide and crazy yep. that, like, Derek Lively, you could have seen go to 10. Or, I seen or you like could 19 see 19 with yeah. the beat. Yeah, yeah. Keontae George, you could see at 13. You might see him at 22. Yep. So, uh, Case and Wallace. Case and Wallace, I and thought, could go range. to 8. Yeah. Uh, he could, yeah, tw- 10 or 12, um, even 16. Like, there's so many different ranges for a lot of these different guys for somebody to say. And that's why I stay away from big boards. You don't really see me do big board work because it's just, like, who you like. It, it When it comes to the draft, it's less who you like but what makes sense for each team. And... That big board does his big board doesn't make sense for the Mavericks. The Mavericks taking Keontae George with Kyrie, Tim Hardaway Jr. and uh, Luca, uh, nah. So I'm I'm ignoring uh, who he thinks is the best player. Yeah, this should available. be should be very interesting to see him because uh, yeah, it's been a minute since we've seen Luka Doncic with a a player that does, I mean ever we've seen we've never really seen Luka with a roller lob threat type guy that you trust like they're they're. I'm not Derek. Um, Dwight Powell does that to an extent, but he's also 6'9", 6'10". And they get away with it a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot. Luke is so much of a threat that you, you yes. you know, he brings in so much of the defense. So this this could be a match made in heaven. Only time will tell. Only Anthony time will tell. Toast wants to know, would Cam Whitmore go better with the Pelicans or the Hawks? Which one would y'all rather see him go to? Uh, I was going to say the Hawks originally. That was what my mind thought. The, uh, what was it? You said Pelicans or I Hawks? I like the Pelicans Hawks. Or the Hawks. I like the Hawks more. Just because I feel like the the minutes are not as jammed as it with the Pelicans until they they do make a trade. AJ or Griffin's like that, a real. The, yeah, I like I, I, my answer was neither. You look at the Hawks depth chart unless the Hawks because they have like five guys that rumored to be traded. Unless they about to make <laughs> some moves, you talking about a depth chart of DeAndre Hunter, Sadiq Bay, AJ Griffin. Uh, Jalen Johnson, New Orleans, uh, John Collins, and Jalen. I'm calling them power four. I don't think Cam Whitmore is going to play power four. Um, New Orleans, Brandon Ingram. I was uh, thinking about the space. Tr- Trey Murphy. Mm. Space is going to be rough. Out of the gate. Y- y- I mean, your third fiddle. So I don't really like <laughs> either spots, to be honest. And same with Toronto. I don't, I don't, I, I just don't know. It's, it's just unfortunate for him that he failed as though that he didn't get to go to a team where he can come in and like but, solidify. But I will At say least the this. Have playmaking. If he falls and he plays like a top five pick, 
a lot of people gonna be getting fired. This Derek, this Derek Lively footage of him shooting them corner threes makes me super excited. Shout out to my guy Raphael Raffi- Barlow. He, 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 he really said excited. to buy into the shooting. So yeah, um, that's that's Very another interesting one. stuff. If um, he can pick and pop and pick and lob dunk on your face, Luke so the Lakers got seventeen in his draft. Yes. Mike, would you be uh, would you be excited if y'all drafted Cam Whitmore? If he's there at seventeen, I think you yeah, take. You, yeah, Mike shouldn't be excited exactly. because yeah, I'd like to probably trade they pick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the value got to be there too. If you have Cam Whitmore or Jordan Hawkins Ooh. at seventeen, Ooh. who are you taking? You, uh, Jordan Hawkins. Okay, but okay. I would take him just. You know, ball, Mike. <laughs> I mean, yeah, especially because we it's potential we could lose Austin Reeves. So to bring back, mm, you know, another nah, shooter. I'm not even a Laker fan. Don't put that in the air. Y'all lose him. Y'all lose everything. We I think there's a world where the Spurs room. outbid the Ooh! Lakers for Austin Reeves. What'd you say? I think there's a world where the Spurs might outbid y'all for Austin Uh-oh. Reeves. Uh-oh. I'm like I said, that's just some stuff you've seen on Twitter, or you believe? No, in I do. I do truly believe that he he was playing like he 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 deserves a bag. So, like I said, if we got Jordan Hawkins, he can kind of replace a little bit of that. I wouldn't be too mad. Uh, the good thing is you can match pretty much anything if you're the Lakers with him. So, can throw him it? throw him forty million if you want to. The Lakers can say, we got that. <laughs> Should you? I don't know. But you I don't can. think so. Not at 40 mil. Not now, that price tag. on the clock right now, the um, the Toronto Raptors, one of the more interesting teams in the league right now because they don't know if they want to sell their pieces or buy into the right now. I read some reports this morning that they believe that what the Miami Heat did this year is something that they can replicate under the new coaching regime. Oh, my God. What's the, real, what's the realism? Is it probably not very high? But they have this pick at 13. And how, how are y'all feeling about the people that are available and – a good fit for them. Should they be drafted for fit in, in the first place or should they just go with two names, something? Two names here for Toronto. They're losing Fred Van Fleet. Gary Trent opted back in. You still have OG Scotty Pascal. Don't know what's going to happen with Jakob Pertl. Heard he's going to have a very big market. Kaysen Wall is gone. Black obviously is gone. I'm looking at Kobe Bufkin. I'm looking at Jalen Hood Shafino. Mm-hmm. Two guys who I think could come in and from day one give you some stability at that point guard position and mesh well with the names that I named. Because Scotty Barnes is such a point forward, unique player, and Pascal is with the spin move can create so much of a drive and kick. Kobe Bufkin here would be very, very nice. Uh, same with my boy Jalen Hood Shafino. Only thing is, Jalen Hood Shafino maybe did they don't project to be as good of a spot-up shooter as Kobe Bufkin, but he has more size. It could probably be a lot more better as an isolation guy. Yeah, I would love mm-hmm. him to go out and address that guard situation, which you lose them Fred Van Fleet right now. So I think Kobe Bufkin will be the great pit for them. Or do they throw us another curveball and said, hey, we got 17 small forward wings and we're going to take Cam Whitmore anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. But if Pump put nothing past them. It's been such a unpredictable night so far. And I'm refreshing, and they, I'm, there's no leak. There's no leak. That's what I was just about to say. So the I'm pick gonna, is in, and nobody's this, tweeted about it. Let's just watch this pick. The, okay. gonna, Which is beautiful. I was yeah. I'm hoping Chad. Kobe Buff. No, you can read Chad. Yeah, I'm trying to keep yeah. up on Chad I'm hoping right now. Kobe Buff can for this Please. Chad. Or for this pick. Or was that What's the chat one? saying? Okay. Let's see, man. Let's see what everybody's saying. Uh, we need a guard. So Raptors fans are, are, are in favor of the guards. Okay. Um, let's see. There's also no bigs here either. Yeah. Somebody's saying Nick Smith Jr. Oh, that's a reach. That's an upside. That's an upside. But wouldn't it be yeah. a reach? I've heard him. I've seen him mock so but low. But again, he falls in that category of a guy who could go here, but he can also go 23. Mm-hmm. Like from here, from now on, every player on these boards that they have, the range is crazy. Here we go. Pick Here's the pick. In. Here's the pick. We got no leak. No this is leak. the first Nobody pick. Nobody knows anything. With, this is not real a leak. time. This is real time right now. In like now. three years. This yeah. is the Toronto first pick. Toronto Raptors with the 13th. This is a special pick. Kobe was picked 13th. Devin Booker was picked 13th. Zach Levine was picked 13th. Grady. Grady Dick. Grady Dick with the 13th uh, I, I can't overall wait to, I, pick. I can't wait to, for the straight talk timeout. I can't wait. <laughs> I think I got an idea. What I'm not doing. seeing I, this. I can't coming. wait. And he must have known. They must have gave him a promise. And that's why I got the ring. to put on that red ass suit because with no way we letting you get past our team. In yeah. hindsight, I will say this: fans are going to be a little disappointed. They going there's, crazy. There's guys who have a lot more upside, but when you talk about team needs, they need shooting. Yeah. And he they gives you that do. with size. I mean, Especially he definitely with, give you that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of teams were sagging. You know, super hard. Carmen. Scotty Barnes and making him work at the rim. And same thing with Pascal. 
having a shooter that could really knock it down. And he's a shooter shooter, like yeah. no matter what. So he's going to be a great addition. Do y'all buy into Grady Dick being anything more than a shooter? No, he, when no, I, no Gordon Hayward esque. When I, I watch I him play, I don't really see much of a fluidity to where I could say he has that Gordon Hayward. Step. I think he has. I, I think he has good hips. I think he could. I do. Would I project it? Probably not. But like at three years down the line, if he's more than just a spot or come off screen dude, I wouldn't be like, oh my god, what a big surprise. Yeah. I think he definitely could. Yeah, I would. If I had to take a bet, I would put my money on it that he does. You know, eventually show that skill level where he can do more than just shoot. That boy got that suit on. I can't get over that suit, man. He. he I can't get yeah. over that suit. How? What y'all grading that suit? Uh, I'm grading. A, I'm grading to C. I'll I, give it, I hate I'll it. Give it a D. D I, I, I hate, hate it too. I'm a KB. It's a straight F. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody had to do it though. Somebody had to be out there. Everybody's Nobody been very chill. Had a worse fit. I now wish we <laughs> talked to him at the combine because I did not know that this was his personality to wear something so poppy. I mm-hmm. do like the GD chain though. The GD chain is I'm from good. Chicago. That's nice. I'm you from would Ch- never see me <laughs> repping those GD. I'm chains. from Chicago. <laughs> That's a GD like chain is dangerous. Well, we, for him, Grady, <laughs> Grady, we know your initials are GD. When you come play the Bulls, so don't bring that keep chain. Keep that in, in, in at the crib in <laughs> in Toronto, please. Well, he's going to Toronto. We ain't got to worry about none of that. And shout out to our very own GD at HOH. Shout out to I'll never forget the All Star Weekend, Chicago, and I'm in the hallway talking about GD, GD calling them and Derek like, bro. You realize what you're yelling right now? I'm like, oh, my gosh. I did not realize what I was yelling. Hey, so. Chad, let me know what y'all grade this trade right now while we wait on the next pick, one. Pick, pick, pick. I mean, pick, my bad. Let yeah. me know what y'all grade this pick while we wait on the next one. Cam Whitmore still available. I got- we are at the last pick of the lottery, ladies and gentlemen. Man. Anybody going to the draft night telling you Cam Whitmore would fall out of the lottery, you would say, hey, I doubt that. <laughs> Those, I man, I want to see those medicals. I want to see the medicals. Yeah. I, I got to see has it how been, the heck... Has it been leaked of what's wrong? Nope. With? Mm-hmm. Not yet. But it will. I got a feeling that the Pelicans might take him. Are, are we getting the Bowl Bowl scenario? Is he going to be sitting there in Michael the second Porter round? Jr. To the second? No, I don't Michael think so. Ain't no way to the second round. I'm getting some C pluses, C minus, some Cs. So it's kind of... Shut, hey, man, shut. Round of applause for our chat. That's a good grade. But there's, because... some, there's some B's in here, too. <laughs> okay. So it seems like it's very middle of the pack. Yeah. That, that, that's a good grade yeah. to have for this. I don't think they you love it because there's some upside guys there, but you can't necessarily hate the pick either. Shooting is such a premium and it's such a big need for Toronto that I don't think you can absolutely just say this is an F and you hate it. Yeah. You probably just not like it because you probably wanted Nick Smith Jr. with some upside or whatnot. <laughs> But yeah, this I, makes I don't, me feel like they're there's keeping an overwhelming their amount of C's in this chat right now. This makes me feel like they're keeping that core together. Oh, they hell got yeah. a guy oh, yeah. that fits with what they need Gary right Trent now. Jr. after the end, kind of. Yeah, that like convinced that. me that they were keeping it together. Uh, OG on and Obi not being a pacer kind of made me feel that way because the pacers <laughs> had 50 picks. We got in this we draft. got a report from our, our good friend Shams saying that the Mavericks are active in the trade marketplace to use their 17 million dollar exception to acquire a player or current or future pick. So we knew that that money that they freed up was going to be used, and it seemed like I was thinking maybe they use it for agency, but it yeah. looked like they're using it to try to get somebody else that's already on the team. Seventeen million dollars is a good is a good chunk of change. Could get you a nice player. They can get you Gary Trent Jr. who's opted in at eighteen million. Yes, um, so I would love Gary Trent with Luka. Gary, do you? I was just that? saying somebody with the contract Luka stuff. Luka and Kyrie, and then you. Yeah, that is a small wing. Gary Trent is a very small wing. He's six five. Yeah, he's not. He's not that big, lengthy wing that you would like, but. They play with Tim Hardaway Jr. We see the results today. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Um, but, man, okay, Pelicans on the clock, man. How, how are we feeling about the Pelicans? Kobe Bufkin? Keontae George? I'm Cam thinking, Whitmore? Well, I can see them taking a chance on Cam. I can see the chance of them or, or Kobe. Jordan Hawkins? This is such a team. Jordan Hawkins would be nice for them to get some spacing. This is a team that's very talented. They have a lot of talent on their roster. Yes. So it's like they're just taking in another lottery pick to just – even though they want to compete, I would love to see them make some I'm trades. I'm funny. I am hilarious. What'd you do? I seen the pick. And oh, oh. I, oh, you looked on accident? I blurted the name out. <laughs> I'm just, on, I'm just, I don't know. I mean, we not, we, we, we not, we're we going to save, we're going to save it for y'all. We're going to save it. We're not going to save it. Just yeah, yet. what's up? Do you know who it is? Yeah, yeah I saw okay. it too. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw it too. Look at them. They thirst. Yeah. It's part of my job as the, as the host. I, I want to see these trades. I'm just making sure we yeah. stay on point with the trades and, 
you know, unfortunately, when you take a peek to look at some trades or rumors or speculation, you get a little you get a little nibble of a of a, of a, of a pick. And the Pelicans they have a lot of draft capital for the future, and they have talent. They they got to be active on trying. to I'm get, thirsty. They got to be active on trying to get. Don't something. you do it? I'm Don't thirsty. you do it? Don't I'm not do selling it. a pick. But okay. Cam Whitmore is not going to be a lottery pick. <laughs> Spoiler alert: oh. It's not Cam. All right, it's one of the other people. In, <laughs> the, one of the other people in the green room. Uh, so you didn't reach. You know, mm-hmm. somebody that's in the attendance, and it's not somebody. It's, it's, will we ever get a lottery pick that's not in the green room? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Josh Primo. That don't count. Or was he in the lot? Was he in the green room? I don't know. Was Cam Johnson in the green room? Cam Johnson was not in the green room. Good, good pull. Cam Johnson was not in the green room. How come Josh Primo not being in the green room didn't count? Because we don't talk about Josh Primo. <laughs> for, hey, you asked for you asked the question. You got an answer. <laughs> yeah. Nobody up here vouching for him. <laughs> Heard he's going back to the Spurs. For real? No. Oh, I'm about no. to say what the what the heck? Jay Billis that Cam Whitmore going four. Wow. Uh, no, no, no. He didn't script. have him going four. He has him. That's his big board ranked yeah. in the draft. Yeah. And look, he he mad. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to to JJ friend of the show. Shout um, out to JJ and shout out to Jay Billis, two former, yeah, Dukies. Yeah. Hey, shout out to West Lawn, man. He said he loves our shorts. Oh well, thank you. Appreciate I need you to start loving. These our ones longs. are enjoy basketball. Go pick them up. I need you to start loving our longs. <laughs> All right, the pick is in, ladies and gentlemen. With the fourteenth overall pick, the Pelicans select Jordan Hawkins, hey! our guy, our guy. Jordan definitely. Hawkins. I, I want to say, Mike, I threw out Jordan Hawkins. I know before I saw the pick. I know I seen it, but uh, no, nah, I like it because especially with Zion on the floor, they're looking like they want to keep him. We've seen a lot of like points Zion, a lot of him having a ball. You need shooting the space out the floor to keep those de- the defense honest, and you add a, a piece like that. We mentioned they already had a talented roster, but you go with something a little bit more fit. And I like it. Hey, the winner, that man winner. Runs. The way that man runs without the ball is ridiculous. So to, to be able to add that with Zion and Brandon Ingram, it's going to just open up so many lanes for you them. You know who also runs very well off screens? Trey Murphy the third, yeah. man. They got, yeah, they got some shooters. Hart. They got some shooters. Congratulations. This is this is our guy. This is a real, real friend of TTW. He really sure. rocks with us. Show a lot of love on social media since we met him. Um, he told us he had watched the show. Mm-hmm. But he didn't say that. A lot he of these said players, it after yeah, the cameras yeah. were off. These players be cool. Just like uh, Asar. We asked him, like, what's... Oh, he boo-hoo crying. I respect it. He I said uh, Asar was talking about, uh, I like to stay low-key. We like, why you don't comment enough? <laughs> <laughs> you need no comment. A winner, too. Like, more than anything. Um, read some scout reports that say there's, there's the three greatest movement players in NBA history or basketball history is Steph Curry, Ray Allen, and Jordan Hawkins. <laughs> He's only like six, seven, three point mace off the all time behind Ray Allen. So yeah, um, and yeah, I love it. I love it. I love this pickup for them. Uh, hey, Chad, rate this pick for us, man. Let us know what y'all I think. Had to snap, snap a pick and say congrats to my boy, man. Considering what was available on the board, I like that like, they I went for like a need. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I missed an opportunity. <laughs> Just really, really <laughs> good shoot. He's gonna come in. Bro's going to come in and fit like a glove with this team. Yeah. And it's going to be beautiful. Bro. The only thing is, it's it's kind of a log gym over there, so he's going to be fighting for minutes for show. But the, his ability to shoot the ball is going to give him a head start. You know it's what's even crazy? What? We talked to him. Let's run that interview. Let's run, let's that, run interview. that interview. What's one thing that you feel like you ha- you weren't able to showcase at UConn that'll grab people by surprise at the next level? Just my ability to score off the dribble. Um, I didn't really have to in college. I mean, yeah. I had great players. Uh, that was just penetrating. and I just had to shoot. Or when I had the chance, just create one or two dribbles. But I, I really, I really can get in my bag if I need to. But, yeah, talk that and, talk and, and, and score. So, what player in the league do you watch and you say, "Damn, you remind me of me." I, I, I see some of my game in his too. Clay Thompson, quick trigger. Yep, uh, great player. Steph Curry, he move around all day. I always tell people getting open is a skill. It's, it's mm-hmm. not. It's not yeah. easy. Watching y'all, it is like very intricate of what y'all doing. Yeah, and with the offense we do, it's like NBA style offense. Yeah. So uh, knowing knowing your players, you have like I think the personnel knowing your players you have. So I know Dom's gonna be in the post. So I know I'm gonna move around or cut. If I cut, go in and out. I know that if somebody else will cut. If somebody it'll be open. I'll be. Mm-hmm. And with Andre, he loves to triple handoff. So I, in transition, I always find him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if it if it's not there, get the rescreen. Because uh, it has to be a guard, or they don't switch. They're going to be in drop coverage. Right. Go back to him. He got open shot. So 
Just thinking the game three steps ahead. So. Yeah. Big improvements, big improvements from his rookie to or his freshman to sophomore season, and now he finds himself as a Pelican. I'm gonna have to hit him in the DM to say, "Hey, be careful what you do in New Orleans." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm hearing some stuff hey. about about New Orleans Max. that could get you in trouble. Chat is spamming A's and B's for this man. I like Chat it. is a very big fan of this pick. I love. It. I think most of the basketball community is. Yeah, I can mm-hmm. see that. I love the next pick as well. <laughs> it's in already. Hey, it, it is in already. That's we won't, all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna we say won't no. talk about it, but it, it is in. Uh, Jordan Hawkins said he was um, working out a lot with Ray Allen. I mean, if there's anybody you want to work out with in history, going to the NBA is definitely gonna be Ray Ray. Um, said he got some good advice from him too. Yeah, I mean that man said he used to. The game used to start at like seven eight. He was there at two o'clock practicing already. So Ray Allen got all the keys. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ray Allen, that's just silly. <laughs> hey, the yeah, shot that he the, the shot that he hit. Yeah. Practice it a million times. Ray again. Allen, that's just silly. If the game was at seven, why don't he said he seven. already <laughs> shooting around two at two o'clock. Uh, that explains in the lot. gym doing his routine. That that's why his athleticism went out of nowhere. He got that <laughs> hey. evaporated so quickly. He got that longevity though. Put them legs to use. Damn it. Yeah. Um, very textbook jump shot from Ray Allen. Yes, I love Ray Allen. This is all 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 of my jokes and humor is just love. Tif- Tiffany Dial? Tiffany Dial on the watch? Come on, but man. But it's iced out. He does. I don't like after after, it, after factory diamonds personally. Exactly, it's iced out. Yeah. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it either. Spend your money, young yeah, man. Sure. Spend your money. Because he got NBA lottery money. But that's probably NIL national championship money. It could be. Could be. That boy probably on posters everywhere. I like this next pick though. Atlanta, smart, smart, smart. But what I will spoil, it's not the pick. <laughs> okay. It's not Cam. Cam Whitmore still on the board. <laughs> <laughs> Cam is gonna be a Laker, bro. He's about he's two picks away from being a Laker. Oh wow. He's two picks Bring away from being a Laker, bro. That would be insane. Bro. Make sure they make sure ain't no trade. Or happen. look who's on the clock at sixteen. Utah. Yeah, I didn't want to say that. Utah's on the clock. He could go to Utah. Yeah. Could go to Utah. He could go to Utah. Um, the pick is in, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Silver is coming to the podium to announce what? Take a guess, Derek, real quick, real quick. Uh, you took too long. I don't know. Kobe. Kobe Bufkin? Kobe, Kobe Bufkin. Bufkin. This is probably one of the best best picks the entire night. I like it. If it was one thing that they needed, they needed an, another guy that can come off that bench um, at the guard position. We talked about John Collins, Jalen Johnson, Clint. Anyeka, DeJounte, Bogdanovich, Hunter, Sadiq, uh, and A.J. Griffin. Yes. Then it was just Trey. Now you have Trey <laughs> and Kobe Bufkin. So you, every position you have um, a starter and you have somebody behind them. And look, another Michigan guy off the board, Jed Howard, and now Kobe Bufkin got Jawan Howard feeling real, real good about his program and what he was able to do. And mm-hmm. Kobe Bufkin gives you the element of, if you want to entertain the idea of Trey and DeJounte Murray. Name or Trey Trey Young. We're trading Trey Young. Hey. I think that's still a possibility too. But I just I like the way he he can Welcome get to, to the Atlanta rim. Where the players play. The way My he fault, can Mike. get he can get to the he rim. Cut him off a lot. Create his own shot. And I also like the defensive impact he he brings too. So it's a, another pick that I feel like is real, can help you right now, but also good for the future. Real Jordan Poolish. For real. Yeah, I'm saying that jokingly. He's talking about for real. I'm went saying to, went to I'm Michigan. About here in the, he got the glass. He doesn't fit like Jordan yeah, Poole. He definitely went to the same around. school, and they just throwing that out there. Yeah. <laughs> freshman year, three points per game. That's very similar to what Derek averaged his freshman year. Probably. Let me now. <laughs> let me go back and retweet my Kobe Buffkin tweet. Hey, chat rate rate this ago. pick for us right now. Rate it for us. What they saying in the chat? Let's see what they saying before they spam all the ratings. <laughs> um. Hey. I'm beyond, again, I ain't no draft guy. No idea he was left handed. No, you are, you, you are crazy. The way no he kind of like be moving <laughs> with the crazy. like moving with the ball kind of remind me of Deer and Fox a little bit. With the speed? Uh, not as fast, but you going you will eventually see the way he gets his like gets his left hand, does a lot of the like moves around the rim. It look reminds me of Deer and Fox. Y'all messing with the with the suit jacket, no undershirt? Yeah. That's something you would do, I feel like. I'm yeah. too damn skinny. I ain't got I, I got I ain't Kobe showing Buff, nothing. Kobe Buff got skinny that's, too. That's a skinny Shit. person he, thing. He got a lot more muscle than I do. I'll tell you that much. Getting a lot of B's and A pluses for this. Ch- yes. Some some D's. I guess some people aren't a fan of it. I'm sure but, they're thinking about overall fit. Oh, you got Troy Young and DeJounte Murray. You got something. I, in th- every I think you'll be fine. Yeah. I think you'll be fine. It opens up the future because those players won't end their careers in Atlanta. I'll tell you that much. Some people are saying Cam Whitmore to Miami. Ooh. 
what picked is Miami? Oh, 18. 18. They, 18. Yeah, 18. Um, they do. Okay. Interesting. They Interesting. Oh, 19 is Golden State. Right, 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 right. 19 is Golden State. Uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Kobe Buffett. One Utah, of the dudes that back we, on the board. We They've weren't already able. had two picks. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. They had no, one. They had the one, one that, uh, Hendricks. And then their third pick is like 27 or 28, I think. The 28. Pick, whoever it is, the pick is in already. They knew exactly who they wanted. And they, <laughs> and they got them. <laughs> Anytime you put up your feet without your shoes, <laughs> it just throws me off. <laughs> Why? I just it's just not something you see every day. Well, I guess I do when I'm podcasting with you two times a week at least. My feet clean. I ain't say they not. <laughs> a little distracted. A little distracted. Especially you, you cracking the toe. Home. This is second home. This <laughs> is cracking the toe. <laughs> I got a look, I got a hole. I'm not looking. I got a hole. I despise feet. I got a hole though. I respect it. I got my feet done today. My my stuff A1. Look at you taking care of yourself. Self care day. Always do. Make sure y'all get that. I just don't plaster it on social media like some people. Much needed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done that in so long. Oh my god! It has, it has been a minute though. I give it. Okay, to it. you're I right. I usually just post it in our. It's group been chat. three weeks. That's what I'm talking about. The, 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 being snapped. Oh, <laughs> look at me. <laughs> but no, you got it. You know, treat yourself. Don't treat yeah. yourself. So they got Wimby up here talking to the panel. Put my TV. shoe back on. Um, I'm gonna put my foot down. But I'm not gonna put my shoe back on. <laughs> They got the uh, and when we talking to the panel, which means that even though the pick is in, we probably gonna be waiting saying? for what a little bit. Um, Mano Ginobili, uh, Benny Ben ah, San Antonio, gonna be fun. <laughs> what does that mean? Maybe Derek, welcome. That's something you're supposed to know. You would know. I don't know. Oh, uh, Derek, we know random stuff. Just the random facts about random everything. Random facts. Rudy Gobert <laughs> also tweeted something. Um, oh my gosh, I can't read him. Yeah, they're probably just saying right? in yeah. French. So. I'm, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is. Yeah, man. Uh, they did this interview a little late. Didn't they, right? <laughs> this is why they say being the first overall pick is exhausting. Because this man got picked 50 <laughs> minutes ago. And it's 50? still... What else? Two hours ago. Still getting t- uh, talked to. Bro couldn't even go out and celebrate being number one. He just had to oh, stay the around. Oh, me- the media that he's going to have to go through is ridiculous. It's not. This is just the beginner. Yeah. This is, until he's actually in season, he's going to ha- have even so many season. media runs. In season, I think they're gonna leave him alone for a little bit. Let him what move. a burger! What Get a burger! Tweet. Tweeted to always oh, going to Texas. Right? Hey, what a burger! When we in Houston, I need them chicken tender sandwiches. The W stands for Wimby now. I need a. I need, <laughs> what do they call the chicken tender melt or something? I need yeah, like the chicken tender I need melt. like twenty of those. How do y'all? How do y'all feel about when those companies tweet as if they're people instead of companies? Uh, they should. I think. They I should think be, it I is. It's that. good for like the social media aspect. Yeah, I don't need you to be tweeting like a bot. Yeah, show 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 me the deal of the day, please. You remember that time Wendy went on this rampage of oh, roasting tweeting. people? Yeah. Did they drop an album? <laughs> they did. See, they that's did. going too far. Oh, do y'all watch the Ar- Arthur podcast? No. no, that's just. I love when companies be tweeting crazy. Eddie Arthur D W. Arthur brother? has a podcast that D- we watch very like regularly in my household. D W. Like D W. Yes. yes. Oh wow. Yes. I did not know that. Benny the Bull also has a podcast. Which has everybody saying? got a podcast? Everybody has saying, a podcast. Man. We started this wave. Pioneers. <laughs> Wimby, Wimby's I'm trying to find stuff that's worth. Dang, you said what y'all <laughs> said. What y'all don't matter. Said Chad, somebody literally means nothing. Keontae George. I don't know if that was the pick, but Sam, somebody's saying that they got to take Keontae George here. Okay. Talk um, about the Utah Jazz. Who yeah. take Keontae in? George. They're going to milk this pick is in because they know that Wimby's on TV. So even though we know, they know, we can't talk about it yet. <laughs> Got to sell them ads too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. LA always get lucky in the drafts. Whoa, they they, they ain't got lucky yet. Yeah, Wait, what would we consider lucky though? If four, fourteen Whitmore? teams passed on Cam Whitmore so far, but then the Lakers get him and he blossomed him into a star. He could, <laughs> but it's, it's still got to be a reason though. That's what I, say. I don't even think it's that thumb stuff that was on the medicals. It had to be some a little bit. More no, for sure, here. definitely not the thumb. It's got to be some leg issues or back or something. You know, thumb thumb's gonna heal. A lot of people are spamming Whataburger orders. Okay. I got us. If it ain't the chicken tender melt, who cares? Because <laughs> they got the sourdough bread, you know? Texas toast. We'll oh, see y'all soon, Texas. Texas. Toast. Yeah, we will baby. see y'all soon. Sourdough bread. Same thing. Same difference. <laughs> you got the cheese. What cheese was that? Mine Swiss. Bread. Right? Oh, Swiss <laughs> Uh, what type of barbecue sauce? Was it I hickory smoke? <laughs> <laughs> he better name everything. 
Derek said it was a hickory smoke ketchup based <laughs> barbecue sauce. <laughs> Bread and butter pickles picked next to ripe tomatoes. Look at this media. I mean, it's real. These pictures when he was going down the subway to New York and stuff was really dope. Yeah. Like it looked like he looked it looked like they got the New York experience. Y'all yeah. remember when we went through and got the New York experience when we was with RDC? Mm-hmm. Oh, we, we, the, we, on the, we the, rode the yeah. train and everything. Yeah, that was cool. Feel like a hundred years ago though. We never went to Rucker. I'm okay with that. I'm a basketball guy. Yeah, that's what I say. Me and Rucker. you, we gonna try to hoop. Yeah, we gotta go to Rucker. These dudes might be on the sand like he might be looking for a hot dog. Remember when y'all ate that New York City hot dog? It was I for a video. It. it was for content though. Content over everything. See we I don't even think that made it in that video. So if I told, <laughs> if I told <laughs> y'all just ate it. <laughs> if I told y'all to cheat on y'all girlfriend for content, y'all doing it? Specific content over everything. Okay. Not all content. <laughs> if I told you to specifically slap yourself and it'll give you a million views, would you do it? Absolutely. Yeah. But you, you have to slap yourself so hard that you fracture your jaw wrong. Okay, now you tripped. <laughs> the Utah Jazz, <laughs> Utah Jazz. selects Keontae George out of Baylor University. I think this is a great pick. They need some uh, shot making, some some creation, and boom, they got it. Yep. I, I was I was advocating for them to take Keontae George for a little minute now. Mm-hmm. Thought he was like that good guard and come in and facilitate running offense. He's a bucket, three level scorer, and I feel like he's going to be coming in and mm-hmm. fit. What you what they doing? What you I just I don't know. The, some of the graphics they put up is, is just interesting. I love his suit. Suit is clean. Yeah. Suit is clean. The watch is clean. Um, after factory diamonds, but you know. I don't think he starts right. No. You, nah. You think they going? Okay. They going to still give it to Jordan Clarkson if he opts into well, his contract? I, I, Oche Abaje, year two, Kansas mm. guy. Mm. Uh, you still have Colin Sexton on his team. Um, How long? I They're shopping know. them. I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. You're but shopping them. I would be surprised if you started two rookies. Yeah, I would be surprised too. I mean, I'll be honest pick. with you. I don't know if Taylor Hendricks starts to start the season. Yeah, I'm right. starting them. We'll see. My top ten pick start. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of top ten picks that didn't start. Yeah. Year. I'm okay with it. As long like, as you don't start in the G League, yeah. Start working it out. You know what I'm saying? Take those minutes away. We're from getting it. a lot of A pluses in the chat, man. The, the chat, they they loving this pick right now. Okay, yeah, Keontae good. George is one of those guys that people are fans of from high school. You know, mixtapes and bag. He's a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's my type of guy right there. Yeah. And he got that, just like that strong build to him. He might not be the tallest, but when you kind of build like that, kind of like that strong like an ox, you can get to your, oh, you get to your spots new? a little bit easier. <laughs> oh, no, 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 they're not new. But you said this is one of your type of dudes. They say create space, crafty, shooting range. Oh, yeah, because he's going to remind me of myself. Okay. You see the step back, got the defender like falling this. a little bit. Nothing you like this. You a certified bucket like that? I can get a bucket on you. Mm. Ooh. Sometimes that don't make you certified. You We've seen that. Oh, what that mean about you then? Hey, a lot of people can get a bucket on me. <laughs> <laughs> he's so, saying that kind of proudly. So, right. so you weak? No, I ain't weak. I'm just saying I can, I can give him too. Okay. Okay. Do you give enough to win? I want us some money with him. What money you with me? The slam ball. I'm talking about bas- <laughs> I'm talking about basketball. Nah. He didn't even win it. He, bro. You actually s- That was Gideon who won us that money. Y'all, that's crazy. <laughs> Y'all not going to discredit him. That mo- He was Shaq in that thing. For, the, for he, two it minutes. It don't matter. Two minutes was enough to get you the we money. We could have won all of the money if he kept that That's Shaq. crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, he was Shaq. He would have He would have. He would have put Cash Nasty under that hoop every time. <laughs> he went. He, you know, he was Jerome James. Jerome James had a <laughs> had a good round. Got paid and said, "I'm gone." Hey, sometimes all you need is a little money on the side. You know what I'm saying? Lakers are on the clock, man. Mike, talk to me, man. Your, your boys are up. And make sure ain't no trade Let's, going through. Ba- based on what you know, who's available? Mm-hmm. How are you feeling as a Laker fan? Who would you want to see right there with uh, Bobby Mark's team needs? They need ball handling and shooting. I think that, you know, with players like uh, Jordan Hawkins off the board, we've seen Grady Dicko. I would be mad at a player like Nick Smith Jr. who could fill it up, mm. create a little bit at that guard spot. Uh, I'm curious to also see if they keep this tra- this pick, too. Still got a little bit of time to see if they make any moves, but they're probably looking to build a little bit for the future in the right now, so I'm going shooting. Okay. So you're not a fan of the Cam Whitmore pick right now? If. I don't want people to think that's a spoiler. Yeah. If. What about Jalen Hushafino? 
I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad at it either. Like I said, we could use guard play. I, I'm just thinking that Nick Smith, he, he could knock it down a little bit more. He could play a little bit more off the ball. I do like Jalen Hushifino just because like he could play a two way more. You concerned with uh, the injury history of Nick Smith? Played a very limited freshman <laughs> freshman year guy that was supposed to be a top ten pick, but he's fallen because I believe it's he didn't play a, too much college basketball or not enough to showcase his full arsenal. Yeah, I know some of the the knock on him could be like getting to the rim pressure and just like that type of thing. But with the players that we had, like LeBron James, and Anthony Davis, him, I think his role is very defined. He just really has to come and shoot the ball. What about a guy like Ryan Rupert? I wouldn't be mad at it either. Um, but I feel like, especially with the chance of us losing all series or just losing – Arguably one of our best shooters, we that should be like our top priority. Okay. I do not see a world where Austin Reeves is not a Laker next Same. season. Bryce Sensabog intrigues you at all? He does. He does. I like the way he can he can score from multiple facets. He's got a little bit of size to him too. Colby Jones. I think there's uh, a lot there's a lot underrated. of options they can go. The fact that this is going down and the pick is not in with a minute to go and it has not been spoiled make it feel like that y'all are calling people to see who's interested in getting this pick right yeah. now. Yeah. That's what it feels like. So so realistically, spoil, you know let's the, not spoil it, even if it does. not spoil it. Because realistically, you know the Lakers do not want to bring in a young guy that has to develop. Okay, in case there's a trade. We wouldn't be able to hear the trade because we we'll, ain't got no we'll, sound. We'll we'll figure it out. <laughs> see, yeah. Thank you, Sam. It's not a trade. I saw who it is. Don't worry. I won't spoil it for y'all. If I know that don't that oh, they don't look, they don't man. impact anything. We, we killing a surprise. Um, this will be a surprise to Mike. That's all that matters too, and the people in the chat. As long as it's a surprise to those people, that's all that matters. All the players that we drafted, I most can't of the players hold that we drafted recently, they Mike. panned out good. GG. GG. GG Jackson. What? GG, bro. GG Jackson. I'm surprised. That's crazy. I'm very That's surprised. Crazy. At that. I thought I said it was I GG. Love... I didn't say GG Jackson. I I'm saying GG's in good game. Yeah. Good oh, game. I thought you said GG Jackson. Oh, I thought you were saying GG no. Jackson. Y'all are tripping. No. Y'all are tripping. GG is good game is something that was been existed before GG Jackson. I would have said GG Jackson. Right. GGJ. <laughs> but on, it's man. the way you said Mike GG or Yeah. G- thought... Good game. <laughs> okay. I'm mad they cut the commercial right before we were gonna get the note of pick. Oh, don't worry. That's don't worry. Just have some patience, my f- big fella. I got you. I like I'm this. I'm really. Pick. I'm not gonna check my phone. I'm. I like this, this pick, pick too because I was already anxious, but even more. L.A. Now. food ain't good, but he ain't gonna care. <laughs> L.A. food ain't good. Is that his chat? Let me know how y'all feel about that. I'm yeah. from Chicago, so it's not good. There's not many places that be competing. Exactly. I had, I had a lot of L.A. food, but that don't mean it can't be good. That sounds is good. That sounds solid. Dare got 13 items on his sandwich, so he, he I was couldn't disappointed. Even taste it. I forgot onion rings, mozzarella sticks, sticks, chicken tenders. That don't even sound With like something. I, uh, and, and he got he, three entrees on he, one sandwich. He ate it, it was like, eh, I can't taste nothing. <laughs> but devoured it. Too much taste. It was french fries on it. it was yeah, a he lot literally of... had, I'm not exaggerating. I didn't all... pick it. It's one of their like classic sandwiches that's like on the menu. I just had to try it. I had a nice chicken sandwich, chicken, barbecue chicken sandwich, and it was perfect. With no fries. No mozzarella stick dipped in barbecue. <laughs> that sounds awful. Horseradish cheese. How many calories was in that sandwich? I didn't eat the whole thing, so I couldn't even tell you. I only took a few bites. You think if you did eat the whole thing, you'd be able to tell me? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my body said it was uh, it's about uh, 1,200 calories. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, notable first overall that. anniversaries. Derrick Rose in 2008. What do you, James, what's Chris significant Weber? about Chris Webber? Who are you? What do you mean? What's significant about that pick for Chris? I mean, he didn't play for that. He got traded. No, he played for the Warriors. Oh, he got well. He did get traded for Penny, oh, though. Yeah, there you go, Penny Hardaway. <laughs> Here it is, right, Mike. See. The pick is in. The Los Angeles I'm Lakers not nothing. select. I mean, I wish I could hear it. Yeah, you I don't see it. They gonna just put read, read the. You can just read his lips. I'm not getting read his lips. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that, Mikey? Jalen Hushavino. <laughs> Shout out, shout out to, He's to vegan. Jalen Hood Shafino, man. He's vegan. He ain't got to worry about the food. I'm, Chad, rate this pick for us, man. I love this pick, LA. He's a Laker? I love I'm not this mad pick. At that, I'm not mad Mike, at it. T- yeah, talk to me. How you feeling about it? Uh, de- definitely addresses the guard play. The The three-point shot is a little bit of a question, but you got to like just like just the competitive nature that he brings and his two-way ability can create a little bit of shots in the mid-range, but 
I think it's a good pick for, like I said, you bring a little guard play off the bench, but you also have somebody you can build with in the future. I think he's got a lot of upside, too. I seen, you know, uh, mock drafts, and, and I'm thinking about, like, he could have gone as early as, like, 10 or 12. There was a lot of teams that needed a guard, but he fell down to the Lakers, so. I love it, man. Well, the first thing I recognize when we interviewed him, I'm sure we're going to play that clip in a second, um, is how NBA-ready he looked already. I don't drink Gatorade. I don't drink anything but water. I'm already on the vegan diet. Everybody, when they turn 35 in the NBA, automatically turns to a vegan. He's coming into the league at, at, with veganism on mine. That boy um, don't get no meat in his Chipotle bowls. He, yeah, did he that's say crazy. That he play, did he say he, play, play, he plays PlayStation or he didn't play at all? He plays, but he don't play it much. I but feel like he's not a video game but type yeah. player. He said he did not play games he, at all. Yeah. And we were like, what do you do? He's like, I just hang out with my girlfriend, yeah. do this Get and massages. That. Yeah, so he's he's league ready. Mm-hmm. Mindset yeah, he just wise. gave his girlfriend a kid. I'm ready to go home and see my girlfriend. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I want to be drafted so I can be celebrated. There must be a lot of Lakers fans. <laughs> <There must be. laughs> Ain't a lot of Lakers fans. I it's think a it lot is. Of Lakers it's, haters. It's some, it's if you're a Lakers S- hater, say something in the chat, baby. There's a lot of S, D minuses. What? F, F is L, crazy. B. There's some B, some F. F is, is, F is ridiculous. No, just C, say you don't know who Jalen Hood Shafino is. F, F is crazy. Look at this guy. There's a. This kid, this, this, kid, this kid can come in and, and replace D'Angelo Russell immediately. Yeah. He can disappear against the, in, the, in the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, D'Lo. But no, I think Jalen Hushafino is a very, very good pick. I don't know how you F at this point. Especially for the value. It's a I think. 17th F. pick. It's a 17th pick in the draft. There's no F. I'm sorry. There's no F. Unless you, know you, unless you draft me from this couch, ain't no F. Can Whitmore. What would you do right now if your name was just drafted? I, I'm getting on the plane to whatever city just drafted me. I guess. <laughs> At least sign a contract to get that guaranteed money. <laughs> and then whatever happens, happens. I show up to practice. That's what they should do for the low-viewed NBA teams. Like, they don't have, as, you know, that type of, like, publicity or stuff. They should sign a content creator to help them out. Don't disrespect the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> they should sign a content creator What to team help do you have in mind? What do you think this no, is? No, 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 no. What team do you have in mind? For you? No. What team should sign a content creator? Because you think they got low views. Yeah. I mean, um, they could just yeah. hire they could hire a content creator to run their YouTube channels and stuff. No. What team <laughs> do you want to see sign Jitty on because he can get the clicks? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think who's the least I, I rarely ever tune into. But that's a you thing, though. That don't, that's not I universal. Guess. I mean, it's a little different now because some of these teams, they just brought in new picks. So I was going to say some of the bottom feeder teams. Like who? He asked you who? <laughs> yeah, it might be. Uh, it ain't no teams. It ain't no oh, teams. Okay. Yeah. He was, he was, was a team that, that went down there 20 He shouldn't have said that. He was just going to fight that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. I, I disagree. Um, Amara Rashad played for the 76ers in a the, in the preseason game once upon a time, though. No? That's crazy. He scored a point. Cam one point for the field. Bryce Sensabaugh, Chris Murray, Nick Smith, Kobe Jones. Kobe Jones, one of my guys. We're two picks away from our straight talk timeout. Mm-hmm. Two I, picks away. I'm, I can't wait to review these last 10 picks. I forgot who was even drafted 11. And then. <laughs> and, like so long ago. And then we're going to get to our last 10 picks. Boom. And we appreciate everybody that's been showing out, man. Uh, we have been consistently at over 9,000 people in here. That's love. Because at this point in the draft, let's be real. Most people don't really care. Damn, look at Cam. Once we get post lottery. Sad puppy face. He's going to get drafted soon, though. Don't worry. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I feel for him. I feel for him. 11 was yeah. Jet Howard. Magic. Okay, yeah, I know what so pick we, we I'm surprised by. Kaysen <laughs> Wallace, yep. Jed Howard, mm-hmm. Derek Lively. Wasn't Grady Dick drafted? Also? Grady Dick, 13. Right. 14, the Pelicans to I don't like Jordan any Hawkins. So far. Oh, yeah, okay, that's a pick I like. 15. Well, whenever Woj is talking, I'm assuming that something happened. He he came into the night saying, he's I'm not going to spoil nothing. He's probably saying why the Lakers kept their pick. The Lakers are trying to get the trade. They just couldn't find it. Yeah. He said he wasn't going to spoil, but he has been, you know. That lets you know that there's not been a lot of trade. He thought it was going to be trade heavy. That's why he wasn't going to spoil. So, and yeah, 17, Shafino. Utah took Keontae George. 15 was Kobe Bufkin. 14 was Jordan Hawkins. 13, Grady Dick. 12, Derek Lively. 11, Jet Howard. And 10 was Kaysen Wallace in the trade where the Mavericks sent him and Davis Bertans to OKC in exchange for the 12th pick, which Dallas used to take Derek Lively. I cannot believe this man is falling this far. I mean, this this is, whew, for a dude that was projected to go 
What if he just five? got up and smacked that camera? <laughs> Cause that's gotta be just got his right? Like, bro, damn. Just face him. Leave me alone. Way. He ain't got no smile or nothing. Why would he smile? Hey, there's one thing he could do. This could be motivation. Yeah, I guess. Hey, come out there and play with that chip on one, your shoulder. One thing I live by is Fino. Here <laughs> <laughs> is not an option. <laughs> oh, you know, you think that. he picked that because of his name? I ain't never heard Fino, but I like fear is not an option. First of all, I said failure. Failure is not an option. <laughs> Secondly, where do just, you be? At? It was just plastered all on the screen. Yeah, what do you be? Jay, at? That's Jalen Hood Shafino's motto that they just had all over the screen for him. Oh. <laughs> when you said that, it, ra- it reminded me of his name, but I didn't know that that was like his motto. Uh, yeah. There is no option. It's cool. Cool, cool way to live your life. That's the only way you should live your life. Put the work in. Put the work in. All right, our defending champion. Oh, defending champion. Our defending <laughs> Eastern Conference champion is on the clock, and the pick is in. Uh, the Miami Heat. Um, surprised that they have a pick, considering ninety percent of their roster is undrafted. I can't wait to see y'all react to this pick because this is a guy I don't think none of y'all are prepared to talk about <laughs> at all. Well, I was prepared for anybody today, so here I am. I'm eighteen picks in. I, I'm doing. All right. Matter of <laughs> fact, I want all three of y'all to try to pronounce his name. Okay, oh, I got you. Yeah, um, Brandon. Sh- I don't know. Brandon. <laughs> Pronounce his name. Oh, you're talking about the dude from Santa Clara. It's not him. It's not him. Instead, it's Hi- it's Jaime. J- Jaime. Ooh. I mean, I can see this pick. Oh, Jaime. I can see this <laughs> <Okay>. pick. <laughs> Jaime Yaquez. <laughs> oh, Yaquez. Jaime Yaquez Jr. Jaime Jaquez. They call him uh, Trey got J. it. Mike got Jaime it. Jaime Jaquez. Jaquez. Really? Yep. Mike That's got a lot it. cooler than what I was thinking. Mike I like it. this pick for the Heat, though. You know, like Jalapeno? Yeah. Jaquez. Okay, Hami Hakez. Oh, he grew up a Laker fan. He was this close to being a Laker player. I like it for him. He, he went to UCLA? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and now he's going to the other side of the country. This is a Miami. This is a Miami pick. pick. It really he, is. Yeah, it really team. is. He's a smart player. He can, you know, affect the game in different ways. But I just like that he's going to give him a little bit more offensive, just versatility. And, Joe and Ingles. Just, very, yeah. He's very fundamentally sound. He's going to be one of them dudes that, like, he he, pl- he plays and he has some impact right away, I feel like, for the Heat. Joe, uh, Joe Ingles, Jetty Eisman, George Niang. Mm. Type player. That doesn't make me super excited. Um, upperclassman, though. Not a lot of them getting drafted right now. He's one of them dudes that, like, finds himself in the right place at, at a lot of the right, you know, right yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's gonna a very good, high man. IQ basketball player, so I think he's gonna fit well with that Miami coach. I love, I love the fact that he can get his own in the mid range. It's gonna Chad, be let's rate this pick, man. Rate this pick. You think he's gonna be posting up like he was? Nah. <laughs> nah. No you said he's not getting no post ups at six eight. The same uh, height as Bam. Him and Jimmy gonna be switching, alternating their mid range post ups. <laughs> <laughs> that boy going, that boy going to the three oh five, baby. Versatility, winning player. All right, shout out to the Miami Heat, man. Surprise! They kept the pick. Oh, we're getting a lot of A's, 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 C's. Oh, we, people okay. no ball. We got some C, guys that a, no ball. B. This chat, the chat seems like they are very high on this pick right now. I like. I'm that. not seeing no D's or F's. Yeah, I like, like we that. just saw for the Lakers pick. <laughs> <laughs> well, they was hating on that pick, bro. They just wanted to say something. <laughs> Man, look at that. He's, he's just, just, you know what? Oh, I can't say that about him. Never mind. What you gonna I was say? gonna say he plays the game the right way. I know he's gonna say he play. does play the game the right way. Though. Yeah, but he just don't—he don't fit the mold of a the, guy that the I player. thought was gonna come out to the draft last year after a good run. Yeah, and he just had a really, really good year. But he doubled down and came back with another good year. Um, and now he's a Miami Heat. I can't, I, I can't, can't think of another player that they would have taken. Maybe My, Noah Clowney. Miami's beautiful too. Noah Clowney, we have a cool. good time. He still he brings a lot of the stuff that I think back. they just need. I always think that once we get past the lottery, like it should speed up. It should definitely not be five minutes on the clock. Yeah. Um <laughs> but <laughs> you hey. know, four scenes to make the big pick pick. No, but I, I, yeah. I agree. Lose more if you they want more the time. Same thing in the second round. <laughs> <laughs> the second round gets sped up, so yeah. do it here. Yeah. Or yeah. break up the draft into two different days, like football. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, that that gives us an opportunity to interview Nikola Jokic after he gets drafted. Absolutely not. Because so Jokic won't get drafted during a Taco Bell commercial. Exactly. The NFL got like thirty rounds. This is two. Yeah. Give me an give me an extra day, please, so I can not watch it. We now got the Warriors on the clock, though. Very interested to see what the Warriors do. How y'all feel about do Chris y- Murray? Do y'all think Ooh. they take Cam Whitmore? 
I would honestly would love Ooh. to see them take a guy by the name of James Najee. I was about to say he would be a real good yes. big for them. Yeah. Some people might of... think it's a reach, but James Najee is a six yeah. ten big who specializes in offensive rebounding, um, rim protection, rim protection, and he dunks everything that's in his area. Him so and Draymond to, will be crazy playing together. Don't have to worry about him trying to get post touches and jabbing at the mid. Nah, he's not ready for that in this game. No, nah, yeah. Just catch it, dunk it, protect the rim, set some screens. Would the, would the Warriors offense be a little bit too intricate for him from day one? Sure. Probably. Limit it to 15, 20 minutes a game behind Kevon Looney, you're good. I yeah. just don't think you draft a center ever for the Warriors. Why? Just because they you need got, a certain mold? You got a guy that's going to have a statue playing the center position right now. Kevon Looney. You don't need you don't he don't need no backup. He is the guy. He always will be the guy as long as they're doing their thing. Mm-hmm. I just don't know where else you draft. The it, Warriors drafting has not been good. It has not been good. And that's yeah, it has been good. But hey, new guy in charge. Mike Dunleavy Jr. made his first trade earlier today. Chris Paul getting traded. Um, for, for Jordan Poole. After for, saying he loved Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is gonna be two days ago. He said Jordan Poole is playing the next four seasons on this team. Traded his ass already, bro. <laughs> he did? Yeah, yeah, he said that I in his interview. He yeah, he said he's, he's he's at least spending the next four years saying that that contract is going to be here. Noah Clowney. And they got rid of him. Kyle Ford. Mm. Or maybe Noah Clowney. Yeah. It uh, also stretched the floor for them, too, a little bit. Yep. Gigi Jackson is an option if they want to tr- kind of draft and stash, potentially. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't liked when they've done that. Kaminga, Moody, and them guys ain't yeah, really. yeah, it just seems like those guys are just sitting and they're not really yeah. reaching their full potential. Um, and Gigi Jackson, yeah, I would rather see him on a different NBA team. ready players. Kobe Jones is out there; he's a guard. But you, I don't know what they're doing. with Dante Divincenzo, Chris Murray is a forward, mm-hmm. four, um, smart, intelligent upperclassman. Um, yeah, also has a brother. Very, like, very, very, very. I relevant. can see Chris Murray also being there just because he he's you know he wasn't no one and done or anything like that. So he's kind of got that that familiar familiarity. Don't look at your phone, Pierre. Of just like being my, in the system and everything me. like that. <laughs> so I I can see Chris Murray, but I, I do like that James Najee pick a lot. Okay, I guess we'll we'll see who it is or what it is and see what happens, man. Um, just don't it, go to commercial. There we Adam go. Silver's at the podium, baby. Adam Silver's at the podium. And I'll guarantee you, it's not Cam Whitmore. <laughs> it's not. Just guarantee it's not Cam Whitmore. It's the last team I expected. But instead, it is AirPods. Brandon Podziski. Okay. Um, out of Santa Clara. I like that. Very Santa good game. Clara. He's going to be able to catch and shoot the ball. One thing about him is translating what he did at Santa Clara. He had a Jalen Brunson type game there where he was getting in the post, pivoting and backing guys up and doing things like that. It's going to be hard to do that in the Warriors system. Yeah, but he is going to be able to catch and shoot the basketball, which he can do. Um, This dude played at U of I, and none of us knew because they didn't play him. Yeah, it's rookie freshman season. Transferred out, and here he is getting drafted in the first round of the NBA draft to the Golden State Warriors, man. Yeah, he just fits that mold. It's just like. And his attention goes to Chris Paul. Yeah, hey, you know how he, <laughs> yeah, he's got like one of those shots that's got like that unlimited range type feel. He's real comfortable pulling up from a couple feet off the line. And you know he's gonna be, you know, okay with the the type of warrior system that they got to just constant movement and constant open looks. I had no I didn't realize he shot forty four percent from three last year. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. That's crazy. That is insane. Um God, all right. All right, Warriors. <laughs> yeah. The Warriors gonna find him a shooter. They could do a little bit of everything. And Nine rebounds got, as a guard is also a insane, to, you know, to see. Yeah, yeah. This is I. I don't know much about the kid, but based on what y'all are saying, I'm. I like it. At, <laughs> I like it at nineteen for the, the last Warriors. Santa Clara guard that came out last uh, year. He looked pretty good too. He looked pretty damn good. Jalen Williams. Um, and now he's gonna be playing with Steph Curry and Chris Paul, two of the uh, and Draymond, three of the smartest minds in recent NBA history. Like I potentially you know, Draymond. Draymond's back. After they move pool, after they move pool, I'm pretty sure they bring him. That Draymond is back. My sources tell me, don't worry about Draymond going to any other place other than the Warriors, because they traded away the dude that he punched. (laughs) So I think he's really happy. I think he's really happy. Um, Shout out to what you call him, Pods. Pods is a, Pods is a real AirPods because if you don't, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. That's hey Chad. Let me know what y'all thinking on this pick, man. They gonna probably say F because they don't know who Bro is. Oh, we're getting a lot of A's. We're getting some okay. F's. Okay, okay. The good thing there's no pressure when you get to this point in the draft. 
You know, if he don't pan out, so be it. It's the overall pick. Rockets, Nate Warriors need Rockets one of the young guys to, to do They some. should take Cam Whitmore. Rockets can yeah, take Cam Whitmore. Yeah, the Rockets should definitely take Cam Whitmore. There's no reason not to take Cam Whitmore right now, right? You got a dude that was projected to go top if five. If he doesn't, the Brooklyn's 20. taking him with their two back-to-back picks. You think so? Yeah. There's no way no. he gets lower than 22? Yeah, it is. You if think I'm so? Brooke, if I'm Brooklyn, I would just go in a different direction. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, one of the few people in the draft. Because that- if the Rockets ain't taking you, why am I? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could use that logic for all the other 20 picks that haven't taken them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the Rockets just make a lot He's of sense. one of the first people to be at this couch without a watch on. Not no watch. I don't like that. No watch. He also got his hat cocked. Just a little bit. He Maybe it's the hell. Oh, no, he no, he's he he trying it. to fix it. He, he, knows see, he, see, his, he see himself. Yeah, he see yeah, it. Yeah, he see it. Okay, he got it fixed up. He got some class. I like it. He, he got, got some, some class. class. That thing. That mean anybody that way they had like this is classless now, right. Derek? <laughs> what the hell? Man, that's crazy. Oh, man. Oh, I know what you about. Oh, man. I've seen you in a certain hat. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my I'm God. I'm in the blue HOH hat, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Make it great again. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Derek, you had a wild phase, boy. I don't want nobody at home thinking that that's... Somebody That's said real. this is a deep pick because he has on well, those socks. I didn't. I didn't because I, I know what they're going to assume because they don't oh, know the I, actual I say, thing. I, I, I know. I just don't want them to. Yeah. Anyway, what'd you say? Somebody said that this is a deep pick because he has on no socks. So you got to let the ankles breathe. You never wore. Uh, <laughs> I never wore loafers. loafers. No. But I, ne- I never. I would never feel comfortable without socks on. I don't believe you. Be ashy. Nah. I like your shoes today. Thank you, man. Thank you. I, I bought the uh, my daughter's wearing a matching pair as we speak. Still got the tag oh, on them. So cute. <laughs> she tried to take it off. <laughs> she should have got her first whoop. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Oh. That's crazy. Actually, hers didn't come with the actual tag. Oh, that's that makes sense. Because you know, no, they're, just they're, keep they're it, a four C. Keep it honest. Her shit fake. <laughs> hey, shout out to the nine thousand of y'all that didn't stuck around this what long. They saying? Man. You keep shouting out. They tell us what I'm they saying. saying. Stuff, you tell me grades. Have them talk. Tell them to say if something. If they were to you. asking good questions for us to ask, no, you ask them. A no, question. Derek, do you tell tell them to step their game up. Then, what are y'all thoughts on <laughs> Brandon Prezinski getting picked? Just right ask now? them how they feel about the draft so far. How y'all feeling about the draft so far? He, <laughs> he asking y'all questions. Cause you asking them shit that you. If they know were they, stuck around this long, they must be enjoying it for sure. But I want <laughs> you to you. interact with them because they stuck am. around. I'm, re- I'm reading the stuff that I think is worth. Hey, reading. chat. Tell Derek your favorite picks of the draft so far and how you enjoying this draft compared to recent drafts you've seen. Talk about they say C. I was really excited <laughs> for this draft going into it. Um, because of the trades. No, just because I think this class we has did, a really we cool did come amount here of hoping people. That was be trades. Yeah, it has. I thought, a, I thought it was more so going to be the trades. Yeah. But deeper than that, I just thought you based on the time we spent with some of these players, just a bunch of really cool dudes, you know, that you can root for. Um, and maybe that's probably the case every season for the I future. I can't wait to link up with them in we'll Vegas. See. Yeah, we'll see. See if they want to come out with us. Isaiah said, do you think Jed Howard was a good pick at 11? I guess we will talk about that at the end of the sec- uh, this next pick. When we get to our straight talk, talk, straight talk and talk and talk and talk. Straight talk time out. There we go. There we go. The pick is in. The pick is in. My wife texts me again. And uh, <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Is it not Cam? My girl steady texting me. I can't say nothing about it. I feel like, like it's just not Cam at this point. Cam my, is in the 20s. I hate when my girl texts me. You think that Cam falls out of the draft completely? Mike. No, no <laughs> way. All I have to say, I should be a GM. Why is that? Because you're always right. No, I'm not always right. But I'm right a lot True. of the time. GMs aren't always right either. Exactly. I ain't going to lie up here. I'm, this is my, I need to be a GM. GMs are human too. It's okay for them to make mistakes. Let, Those um, not as much. Fly. Let Brad Stevens sit here and let me GM the Celtics. Me and him switch for a year. Look like he's doing pretty good. He's <laughs> he doing, doing, he doing right, pretty right. good. He's doing all right. Okay, then let me be the G. Let me put Rob Palinka here. <laughs> and let me be the GM of the Lakers. And be doing. Well, y'all would be in a rebuild if I was a GM. <laughs> I won't be mad. I'll be cheering still. Oh, I forgot you did. Yeah, say you do that. want to trade LeBron. I forgot about that. I forgot about when you said that. Hey, Chad, who do y'all think had the best draft this so far throughout the draft? Ask them how they feel about Bradley Beal trade. I want. I always want to peer people opinion on that. I did not like that trade at all. What's y'all thoughts on a Bradley Beal trade too? It's so- <laughs> <laughs> he just repeating it, for- and he's not telling you what they're saying. You asked nah. him a question three they, minutes I ago. I have to wait. I have to wait. The chat is. It's slow. not. It's he not three minutes behind. Man. Ain't no way. It's three minutes behind. 
You just asked there's them their favorite nothing. pick three minutes ago. I asked ago. them that. There's nothing in I here. I want you to see who this pick is. You should know because I said it like three minutes ago. The Houston Rockets are selecting. Are selecting. Selecting? Cam Whitmore out of Nova. Okay. He's finally, finally out of the green room, man. He's They're going to smile. Out They're of the green smile. room. And, uh, yeah, each town boy. So many. So, yeah, they got I'm, so many players yes, on the bro. team. I mean, bro. they just, they got Amin Thompson, but he's talking about this dude was could have been a top six pick. They just basically got two lottery picks. Literally. Yeah. So I, I'm liking it for them. Yeah, if you can get a guy that was projected to go top six to fall to you all the way at number 20, you got to take him. I just, I cannot wait till it leaks and we find out exactly what was the reason he fell so far in the medical. Let's get to it. Straight talk timeout. That was our 20th pick. I need favorite, least favorite, and most surprising. And I'm starting with Mike. Favorite, least favorite, more surprising. If you need a recap, let me know. Um, Favorite first comes to mind is Derek Lively. Like I said, I was super excited with this pick. I think he just brings exactly what the Mavericks need. They needed size. They needed rebounding. And they needed somebody to protect the rim. He does exactly that for him. Favorite, least favorite, most surprising. Uh, Least favorite. You might have to run those picks back in, yeah. Okay, so I'll I, just go into my favorite. We'll, we'll yeah, keep it yeah. keep it on brand. I think Cam Whitmore is my favorite mm-hmm. to see a guy this high, um, projected to be this high, to fall all the way down to twenty for the Houston Rockets, who again have a lot of bodies, but high upside is high upside regardless. They got a dude that they trust to help them with the playmaking tip, and now we got a dude that don't pass, but he's one hell of an athlete. Uh, so I really like that pick. Take a chance on a dude, even if his medicals don't look great, because you got a lot of young players anyway. Uh, for me, my favorite pick would be Jordan Hawkins uh, going to the uh, Pelicans. I think him being able to come in and fit well with Zion and Brandon Ingram, the way he runs without the ball is going to just open up the game for both of them. And I think he's one of those players that he's just going to be able to come in and fit like a glove, even though they do have a log jam at every position. He's going to be a guy where his shooting is going to force him to be on the basketball court. My favorite is definitely Kobe Buffkin going to Atlanta. I think that just gives them a lot of different opportunities and avenues to shake up that team uh dramatically I, I think it's time for that for them don't know what direction they're going to be in like i said it's been rumors john collins clint capella deandre Hutton, hunter we heard Dejounte murray um but getting getting uh kobe buffkin i think is going to be good for them in the future least favorite pick Derek. can you run can you run me the picks again so at 20 we had cam whitmore okay. at 19 we had airpods um at 18 miami took hami hotcast okay um at 17 who did we have? 17 was this shit just popped up. Was it the was it Keontae George? It was Jalen Hushafino. Jalen Hushafino, duh, Lakers, then Keontae George with Utah. 15, Kobe Bufkin. 14 was Jordan Hawkins. 13 was Toronto taking Grady Dick. That was my least favorite. Okay. Yeah, Grady Dick. <laughs> I feel like there were a lot of guys on this board, like Jordan Hawkins, who I feel like also has a, like a higher ceiling than Grady Dick. But, I have to double down with Derek. I, I, Grady Dick I like, but I felt like guard play was a big premium I wanted to see the Raptors get at. Um, and I think there was some good options, man. I think Kobe Bufkin, Jalen Hushafino, I kind of would have much rather put my money on those guys than Grady Dick, though I think Grady Dick is going to give them shooting and they need it. Uh, I agree with y'all. I'll move on to most surprising pick. I'm going to go with Jed Howard. I think it was – it's not even I'm mad at the pick. I think it's just a little bit more of a reach. It was obviously a lot of good shooters, but they went with somebody with a little bit more uh, a little bit more size. I'm running with Mike on that one. Uh, that, out of all of the picks so far, none of them has made me say, whoa, like Jed Howard being drafted at number 11. I think it's not surprising that um, this was a surprising pick, but it's more so like that Cam Whitmore failed as well and that he is going number 20 to the Houston Rockets, and they pretty much – we're able to draft two top 10 players in one night. So for me, that is very surprising. I would not have expected that coming in tonight, knowing that the Houston Rockets walking around with two top 10 picks. Yeah, I, I got to go with Jed Howard. Like Mike said, um, I did a bunch of mock drafts, and in none of the mock drafts did Jed Howard go up higher than 15, mm. maybe higher than any of the 20s. So to see him go to 11 when I had him post 20, um, very, very intriguing. Not mad at it because I'm a big fan, like me and KB have said all show, when teams have a guy that they like and they love, they go get him no matter what the mocks or the quote-unquote experts say. And he has something that they need, which is shooting, and he shoots it well with size. And I think the Orlando Magic are put t- putting together something good. Now on the clock, 
after that straight talk timeout, we have the Brooklyn Nets with back to back picks. Um, this is always good. They got they got two situations where they can, you know, get some talent. We got Mikael Bridges. They should be bringing back Cam Johnson. You have Nicholas Claxon. Um, you got Dorian Finney-Smith, Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, you still got Cam Thomas. They should just announce the trades together or the picks the together. together. Back to back. You know who yeah. you want. I'm hoping this is a team that takes a chance. I want to see them reach because you have two back to back picks. So um, I would much rather see a Nick Smith Jr. go here. Um, there's also Leonard Miller, the I power like forward Miller for G League Knight. Um, Bryce Sensabog, you know. I, um, I don't know if there's a pick that I would like more for them than Nick Smith Jr. Nick Smith Jr., yes. Considering hey, what their Gigi guard Jackson. play looks like right now. Gigi Jackson is another good one. Some guys like that. where They, they went down in. to the last second, by the way. I yeah. don't know if that was real or not. Or, or just... maybe they're taking both picks. I didn't even look. I don't know. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, oh. It doesn't matter if I spoil it or not. <laughs> you saying okay, be thirsty? Point. No, it, it hasn't mattered all night. <laughs> <laughs> pick yeah. is in though, and I love the pick. Oh, thirsty! <laughs> and once you show me that you look, I gotta look. <laughs> the amount of three point shooting they got, Nick Claxton. Nick no, they Claxton, do need some sides though. They Shout out to Andre sad. Jackson from the UConn. Low, the low average. Jeez. He is going to be a guy that KB would love. Talk about all defense. I mean, this yeah. dude right here changes the game with with the defensive side of the basketball. I'm He's talking tenacious. about just just straight hawking you. Why are they showing him? Because UConn coach is talking right now. Oh, okay. Because oh. I I got no no audio, so I don't know what that. I'm like, did he just get drafted? And I didn't see it. <laughs> okay. Well, he's gonna get drafted eventually. Um, oh, Coach Hurley, who just got extended. Okay. Shout out to Coach Hurley, uh, Bobby Hurley. Um, also play college where guys. No idea. Yeah. I have no clue. Hmm. Stop talking. Right? I can't say I'm surprised. But you also have to. There's two Hurleys. We have to make sure this is the one. Because. Mm. <laughs> well. Are boy. they going to announce the pick? I know. They're right? talking to, to Coach. I can tell you. Noah Clowney is going to <laughs> the Nets. <laughs> okay, so they, yeah, definitely added that size. They had a three-point shooter and, and rebound. Uh, that's why I was funny when you read that three-point shooter and rebound. They, they got, got it all. They literally just got <laughs> yeah, what they, they needed. But they got two picks. So yeah. I feel like, one, you can Come get on. what you need, and then also you can kind of reach a little bit for some potential. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, in the 20s, there's no such thing as a reach, I believe. I just think you just draft who you Yeah, I think you, know. you kind of just kind of draft who you think has a higher upside or for what you want to fit your team at this point. Because it's going to be very rare. I mean, it's not impossible, but it's rare you're going to draft a franchise player at this point. Yeah. But, hey. It's possible. Definitely, you definitely want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yes, that organization that, that can, was, can do it, you look smart. You look that genius. was yeah. Dan Hurley. The prompt, he, he he went to Duke, too, but you were referring Bobby. to Bobby. Bobby. Uh, but, hey, Duke was what I was thinking anyway. So, I mean, I was right. We Noah was right. Clowney. Noah Clowney. Um, I like this pick for them, man. This is the type of pick they should take. A guy um, who has some upside, who's young, they can come in. It's not a lot of pressure because you have the Mikael Bridges of the world, the Cam Johnsons, the, the Nick Claxton. He can come in and just join that nice young nucleus and continue to develop and get better in the background. There's Rich Paul, so he must be clutch. Definitely clutch. Um, and, yeah, there's Nate Oates, one of the best college coaches in America. I just love the way he prepares these guys for the NBA. I'm buying in to Noah Clowney. Um, I want to see that jump shot transfer because when he was making his jump shots, I was intrigued with this guy. If you asked me back then – um, in the middle of the season, I had this dude in the teens because I just couldn't believe um, his upside. So Noah Clowney to Brooklyn, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I told. I mentioned earlier about just how the ver- the need for versatile fours, especially one that can potentially shoot the way he does. But he's could be the a real nice fit next to Nicholas Claxton in terms of like defense and what they could bring. They already have a lot of good wing defenders, but I just putting it more at the basket. As you see in the playoffs, they like to go small a lot. Mm-hmm. He's a dude that can run a little bit of small ball five, but also put some weight on. be in those bigger lineups. Yeah, they got so many wings over there, man. Good defensive wings. Mm-hmm. Um, and they not they don't like they train any of them. Yeah. They just add some more defensive versatility. I like it. That's one thing about being good defensively versus and when you're versatile, you can pretty much stay on the court. You're not going to really get played off the court, but you can defend multiple positions. And he's one, and he's the guy that's going to bring that to him. So now we have to sit and wait for them to use Make all that of the clock pick. to the second pick. 
dude, Rich Paul's got an open work blue man. M- that money is crazy. The m- the money we see in, in jewelry what tonight. I even see? It was it was an open work AP. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. From the little little work, and it's a, a blue everything. Okay. Blue, oh man. How much you think that cost? Don't Not move. more than Jay Z's blue. Uh, blue <laughs> that sounds like you glazed. <laughs> Immediately, bro. Right on the bay. Not compared to Jay Z. I'm trying to see what chat talking about, man. (laughs) You and chat is hilarious. Right now, they just dropping grades on this on this pick. Okay, what is is, is, what do you see? I just want to ask a question. When you go to the chat after a pick, what do you be expecting? I'll be looking to see their reactions on this pick. But they're going to grade it because that it's initial pick, but. If you you can't go in there looking for something to be said if you're not asking them anything. Somebody's asking, "What are y'all thoughts on Imani Bates?" Uh, th- I what I don't know the normal thoughts that are had. I feel That's like kind of what the chat is about. Not some reason, get but in the I first just feel round. like I feel like those type of questions you know the answer to. Everybody kind of has the same thoughts on Imani Bates. Nobody is in here vouching that Imani Bates should have been drafted. Imani, like I, I just I have the same thoughts that most people have. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any thoughts about Imani Bates. Not a single one. I'll be getting shafted. Yeah, so I, I do too, but I don't think it's going to be in this show where we're going to see that. But boy, if it is, <laughs> that would be interesting. That would be interesting. Shout out to Imani Bates, though. Yeah, Who luck. do y'all think so far has won the draft night, man? Um, mm. Chat, respond. Tune in on this. Uh, That's a who, great question. Who's there. won? It's so hard to say, mostly mm-hmm. because everybody has one pick. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Say, it's just like, who's like your favorite prospect? The Rockets. The yeah. Rockets are like the magic because they had two picks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but the Rockets. The Jazz also had two picks. The Rockets got a guy that was projected to go top five, and they got him at 20. So. Yeah. I think the biggest winner of the draft are the San Antonio Spurs. That's 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 what someone just said. <laughs> I'm getting the, I'm getting the answers now, and the people are spamming Spurs, <laughs> Rockets. The Rockets are are a heavy favorite right now just because of the two picks. Yeah, I guess Brooklyn got two picks. Y'all ain't gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> the Magic, the Magic are also a guy, a team that people are saying. So yeah, only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. That's the best thing about this. It's all the of two this. Texas teams right now that's carrying the chat right now. When you talk about Houston and Spurs, though, though that's it's going crazy. Clean, clean. Maybe a little bit too out there. If I had that type of money, I probably wouldn't buy that type of watch, but. I would never have that type of money. <laughs> to even think about it. Don't like, say that. He yeah. protected by people like me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> He's talking about don't say that. That boy is Jay Z is a b- 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 not a ma 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 a b- 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 ma Maybach music. You got them bees. Once you get so to right the bees, now, Jay Bill is best available. Bryce is spot. Chris mm-hmm. Murray, Nick Smith Jr. Please take Nick Smith Jr. here. I want this to see is Nick Smith so Jr. perfect. Yeah, I think so too. This is so perfect. So Brooklyn. Oh, and the Brooklyn Nets got Ben Simmons. We didn't mention Ben Simmons. There's a reason for that. <laughs> he's working his ass off in the gym. He's the only person I'm seeing with workout stuff right now. You're I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. Everybody trying else to send he don't need to be on vacation. Everybody else partying, man. He's trying to send a message to the world that he coming. He did that last year. <laughs> he did. <laughs> yeah. No, he ain't give a message. He just said it. Now he just, his actions are speaking. Okay. Well, the pick is in, times, baby. They took all the time to pick. They on their Kyron. Oh, they, was trying, they was trying to see if any bias was out there. There's no leak in his pick either. Uh-oh. What am I going to do? I got to wait like the Is rest of you. Is that why he asked about Imani Bates? <laughs> well, I'm just messing with you. Oh. <laughs> I was saying, ain't no way. They reaching for real. They're taking mm-hmm. a guy. There's it's a, there's not a, Nick Smith Jr. There's an NBA player, or well, he will be an NBA player. I'm uh, waiting on my sleeper. Just... My sleeper is still on the board. Maxwell Lewis, I think, has star upside and he's still available. Sacramento bet not let him slip. What could they possibly be talking about right now? I don't know. I wish they would just give us the pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I guess I guess we'll never know. We would never know exactly what JJ is very adamant I love about. That line. I guess we'll I never, guess we'll never know. Can you say a lot of people ask what I was gonna say if I didn't win this? I didn't win that. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll that was a co- good trend when it was like a high school basketball season, when people win their state championship. Like the first clip is uh, them yeah. before the game in the locker room, and then the last clip they got the trophy and they celebrating. That was cool. I haven't seen it much this year though. Trends, hey, trends you, about to, you, about to, you about to bring back a trend? I'm not winning anything, Derek. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't held a trophy a in a long time. 
Hey, don't sleep. We finna join a men's league soon. The Brooklyn Nets at 22. I hope y'all have fun. <laughs> are selecting a dookie. <laughs> y'all let me know how y'all feel about Dariq Whitehead. Dariq going Whitehead. Going to Brooklyn. Mm. Again, somebody else who can defend and also knock down that shot. So I think it just kind of fits the mold of what they're doing. They seem like they got a little bit of just like an identity with a lot John of like rangy Shire. people that can switch a little bit and also knock it down. So he's a first person drafted that's not in the green room. Mm-hmm. I will, I'm, I'm happy that they stick into what they want to do. They want these long rangy defenders who could do a little bit of everything on the court. And I guess they, they buying in on that. Yeah, I also buy in the upside of his shot creation um, to be a guy that could, you know, maybe do a little bit. Not too much. He's not going to be the number one option on your team, but it's always good to be able to have role players who are 3 and D guys, but occasionally can can create their own thing in the shot clock in a quarter and also are guys who can maybe get hot. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Uh, three three times a year, you have a role player who might explode for 25-plus, and I think Dariq Whitehead could be that. Two-foot procedures. Um can scare some teams away, but it is important to note Derek Whitehead was one of the top prospects and high school players coming into this college season before his injuries to his foot and whatnot, and he was the number one option in high school, made down All-American. Taylor Hendricks, that's a funny baby pitcher. Um, There's a ton of A's in the chat right now for this pick. I, I, I agree. I agree. There's some upside. Good upside pick. There's some, there's some floor as well, and uh, the, the Brooklyn Nets are continuing to stack a team that is going to look very well whenever they are able to land a star like yeah. Damian Lillard. Their team is very well constructed with like just good quality role players. Yeah. Like they have like the a log jam you know, with just good quality role players. They just missing that guy. Yep. I know Mikhail has shown us for this half a season with Brooklyn, you uh-huh. know, a little bit less that he has some sort of number two type option. Yes. But we know he's not your true number one. And let me throw this out there. What's up? What if Ben Simmons had to bounce back? <laughs> Then this team is even. This, that's looks the really best good. case yeah. scenario if he does. Because Ben Simmons, people, don't, people, I think people forget how good Ben Simmons was with Philly. Yeah, like how good he was when he was All NBA and all on all defensive teams. Like Ben Simmons was looking like a generational talent. But we need that just for the, the basketball world. Just how great basketball has been and so many unpredictable things for Ben to kind of reinsert himself into All Star level play out of nowhere. Yeah, would be. It's like him and Mikhail is like this duo that's like all of a over sudden going crazy. All of a sudden, it's just like oh, the and they're young, Nets. so then you could be like, damn, this is gonna be like the future of Brooklyn. It'll be real nice. Then that defense would be crazy. Ben at the point of attack, Mikhail at the point of attack. Yeah, you got uh, Cam Johnson as well. Nicholas Claxton protecting the ten. That yeah, Sounds and now your Portland Trailblazers are back. I I would love to see them. I'm sorry for hitting you. We're getting oh, to the good. point now where picks are going to be coming in during commercial. Let's hope so. Way. Um, well, I don't know if they're going to, they, they still going to let the commission go to the stage. Yeah, I think that's second round. That's the whole first round. They come up. Um, what do you do here? You take upside GG Jackson. I would love to see Leonard Miller. get Leonard Miller. I, Why? Cause you got, uh, not Brandon, but you could have had Brandon in, in you. Yeah. The Millers. <laughs> but yeah. no, it's just cause they've never had a player like him. What a, about this? A long rangey four who could push the tempo, rebound the ball. To... Chris Murray. Ready to play right now. He might be, but I would love the more upside of Brandon, okay. of Litter Miller right okay. now. Would you be mad at James Najia? A big for him? Who's I that? A big? Yeah, it's a big for him. Oh, oh. Like Zeke Najee. James Najee. I wouldn't I mean, be mad I say, at it. I, I wouldn't say be that mad at it. Because uh, Nurkic, he kind of had a down year last year, and that's, I feel like they're they're ready to move on from him. So No, yeah, he's, he's probably a guy that won't be there at the end of the season. I could see him getting traded, but I would still love the Litter Miller pick. You just want to continue to push towards that youth movement. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. And he just gives them a look that they haven't had. A long, rangey four who could push the tempo, rebound, defend. He, at the three point no, shot. No, y'all for to get Nick Smith Jr. Just doing ran- Ryan Rupert. Get, all, is a the, good get one all the point guards. Get every single point y'all guard. Y'all just in got the so many wings. I say, y'all got Jeremy Grant. Well, possibly Maybe. still yeah, got him. City Sissoko. I like him a lot too. Maxwell Lewis, I'm, I hope Maxwell is the next pick at Sacramento. Please, Sac, don't let Maxwell Ooh, drop. Chris Murray's still on the board, and Sacramento's up after this pick. Oh, Keegan and Chris. <laughs> Imagine. Unless the Blazers say, no way we let that happen, buddy. You thought you were going to play with your brother? Yeah, just in the, <laughs> in the dream. I don't even want to play with my brother. Oh. Pick us in. I'm a GM, Derek. Hire me. Handshake and hire me. Justice Winslow's on that board right there when they're looking at the greatest – Trailblazers. It's Brandon Roy KB, and Justice Winslow. Me? 
I I couldn't hire Chris, Chris Murray, Murray is the, is the pick. Hire me, um, Chris Murray, the twin brother, of course, one of the rookie of the year. You're not going finalists. to sack, boy. <laughs> um, how does his game compare to his brothers? I didn't shoot as well, yeah. but he's just a winning player. Yeah, it's similar. Just not as. Yeah, he's just not as good. Much wiggle, it's... lefty versus righty as well. But I think he just doesn't do anything really wrong on a basketball. It's so crazy. It just looked like, obviously, they're twins. But it like because one is a lefty and one is a righty, they just took a picture and flipped it with them holding the ball. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I feel like it's there you go. Of, There's your win now player, Dame. I feel like Good it's luck. rare you drive that there's twins, but that one is right and one is left. Right? I feel like they're always usually pretty the same. I'm trying, yeah. to, think, I'm trying to think of twins and like I mean, the Morris brothers, the, Lope, the Lopez's, the, yeah. the Thompsons, the Zellers. The yeah, Zellers. All, I couldn't they're, tell they're, you what hand any of them twins. shoot with. They're not oh, twins. True. Oh, they're, they're and it's three of them. Can you name all three? Cody, Tyler, Luke. Yes. Yeah. Good job, Mike. I did not know Tyler you were going to sound right coming off the, the, off, the, off the tongue. All Luke. of the colleges. Uh, Duke. No. Automatically. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking about the Plumleys. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think Cody went to Indiana. Tyler went to UNC. And Luke Zeller went to North Carolina. I mean, Notre Dame. Shout out to Luke Zeller, man. Hope you're doing well. 20 and 9. I mean, 0, 9, 20. I mean, that's that's just progression, man. That's putting the hard yeah. work in and getting to this point where you drafted 23rd overall to play with Damian Lillard, maybe. You know, it's pretty cool stuff. Hey, if I got drafted to play with Damian Lillard, I'm going to be pretty happy. Yeah. I know we know. <laughs> right. Sacramento. One thing, hey, there's one thing that man do. He make his players better around. Him. Come on, Sack. How much better, Derek? How much better? As, be, as good as they want to be. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as a Blazer fan, you you happy with this pick, though? Yeah, I think he's he he can come in and space the floor, shoot threes. He's a he's a high IQ basketball player, so I think that's just a good fit for the Portland Trail Blazers. We are in the the home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. Six more picks left in the first round. We want to say everybody at home, we appreciate you watching so far. I'm not telling you to leave. Shout out to the 7.5K that's still in there chilling with are us. Are you going to talk to him some more? That's actually pretty dope that we still got 7,000 people watching yeah. the dead part of the draft. Pick is in. Come on, sack, man. Uh oh. They made that one quick. What? A trade has happened, ladies and gentlemen. Lay it on me. This is this now I'm confused again. This is a good pick for that team. The Kings are trading Rashawn Holmes in 24 to Dallas. So with that extra $17 million they got from the previous trade, they use it to get to Rashawn, Rashawn Holmes. Holmes. And they're also getting Olivier Maxine Prosper, Omax, from Marquette, which I think is a really good pick for them. This is his comparison. Dorian Finney-Smith. Mm. So they... The so wait, I'm, I'm a little confused because where is Omax? Is Omax part of the trade? He's leaving? Yeah. So the, he's Kings going, are, the Kings are going to pick him right now. He's going to go to Dallas with okay. Rashawn yeah, Holmes. Yeah. I like that. That's man. Okay, Rashawn Holmes. I feel, I feel you know, like you would expect them to have guys, especially you just got Derek Lively. They probably just really, really like the guy, the, the kid that they drafted. I don't know. I forgot what you said his name was. Omax. But they had to really, For really sure. like him to take that additional money on to draft him. Mm-hmm. Had to. I feel like this got a where Rashawn he was Holmes. The guy that too. I thought could have went to the Heat. Rashawn Holmes. I felt like he just kind of got lost like last year too. Yeah, but the year with before the that, there? yeah, the year before that, he was really good for the Kings. He was, so bro. Yep. Just to have him on he the really depth, was. I, I think he, he could work out for the match. Rashawn Holmes has actually been good everywhere. As crazy as that means, because he's bounced around. He was good with uh, the Seventy Sixers, the Suns, the Kings. So I think he goes to Dallas and starts right away. Oh, I don't know. I think the White Powell's still under contract. So you think they they believe in the White? Uh, Oh, the White Power. I mean, the White Power was, better. was better last season. Yeah, than he's Rashawn. been there. He's been there. He has a connection with Luca, so it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Rashawn Holmes lost his spot to, to Alex Lynn throughout the season, so you know. That's true. That don't mean he can't bounce back. Obviously. Yeah. Um, but we got to. Tra- I mean, hey, it hasn't been a lot of trades. Very quiet trade night for the draft. I was man. not expecting it. Yeah, I was man. expecting it to be a little juicy, but all of the, all these the smoke and mirrors and man. All the rumors going into it, Paul George, you know, third overall pick. Yeah. Nothing materialized. And that's like the seventh year in a row. I'm not getting my hopes high. I think it's kind of crazy that Paul anymore. George Bro. is being shopped. <laughs> yeah. what it is, I man. just got followed by uh, Ohio State cornerback. <laughs> <laughs> that boy going to the league for sure. <laughs> that's one of my favorite prospects, though, in the draft. Talk I just, to me. I don't, I, I'm intrigued with how, like, 
his body physique is. He's got a super long wingspan. I think I could see him, you know, with Dallas getting out in transition and being one of those dudes that's finishing a lot of those and also being the recipient of just a lot of catch and shoot and open type of looks. But he's got upside to him, but I also think he can help now. Yeah, this is a Dallas pick. This is a Dallas guy. This, and I'm happy that they went in and got him because I think his defensive versatility just brings a lot to the table for them. I agree. My comparisons, like I said, Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, Robert Covington. Yeah. Like this dude can come in, make some shots. And he's going to be a hell of a defender. He is going to be okay. a great defender. Maybe not out of the gate, but eventually with his size and his tools, his active hands, he gets down in the stands. He can guard potentially one through four, one through five. This is this is a guy that, that you love. And we, we're seeing his highlights right now. The first thing they're going to highlight is the defense. Oh, and they're just showing the his athleticism. athleticism. Hey. Those two things go hand to hand. True, he like he does like to get out and run. This is not athleticism shooting threes. Hey, but there, there, there it is. You got to jump on it. There it is. The defender. I got a that. question for y'all. Cal Murphy said, "Who is the best player available right now?" Maxwell Lewis, in my opinion. Maxwell Lewis, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna go Gigi. I don't even know he's available. This corner ability just has me enticed, and if I'm a team right now picking late in this draft, I, I'm gonna probably bite on that. I'm not mad at that. I'm like a GGJ. That's my guy. I'm wishing him well. And he's That's how I feel about Max. Max is my guy. I got uh, the Max. No, Max, Max is good. Max Lewis is just. Max is like a win now guy too. I think he can come in and fit with a lot of teams. This pick is in for the Grizzlies. Also made a big trade a couple nights ago. They now um, have Marcus Smart. They're getting Marcus Smart. Out goes Tyus Jones and a couple first round picks. What do y'all think the Kings are planning on using this cap space for? It's a very good question. I mean, I've read some things about them um, being interested in pretty much everybody that's available. They were interested in Bradley Beal. They're interested here, interested there. Um, they have some intriguing pieces a trade. for we a, got trade. a trade. Uh-oh. We got another trade? Let's get it. Um, Boston is trading. So did Boston get this pick in that deal? Yes. yes. Boston is drafting Marcus Sasser from Houston, who played with Jairus Walker, um, a really, really good guard who can score. And uh, he's going to have to step it up. He can defend, but he's going to have to be a little bit better at the NBA. And the end, they're also trading. Uh, no, I think they're trading Marcus Sasser for 31. Okay, so Marcus Sasser is going to Detroit? Uh, yes. Yes, you're yes, right. Yes. So the Detroit Pistons are selecting at 25 Marcus Sasser out of Houston and University. He's going to Detroit. And he's going to Detroit. This pick has been okay. traded three times in 24 hours. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Shout out to this to Marcus Sasser. I think it's a, also just a good backup to have that guard if you're in Detroit. Just because I think Killian Hayes, he had a better year last year, but I think a lot of people are still on the fence with Killian Hayes and if he's right for this Detroit Piston team. Yeah, I mean, Killian Hayes has been a question mark for pretty much most of his career, so I don't think his position is just safe. So might as well go get another guard, see what you can get. Maybe he def- turns into something, and then you just move, wash your hands at a Killian Hayes situation. Last year around this time of the draft, we saw DeAnthony Melton get traded. So there's still a world where we can get a, a quality player get moved. I'm just I'm just keeping hope alive. Because <laughs> right now it's just players, I mean, uh, picks being moved, moving back, moving back for cap purposes. And, um, yeah, Marcus Sasser, I drafted him in one of my franchises in 2K a l- couple months ago. How did he turn out? I traded him. So there you go. <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see uh, how real that is. Would you trade him? Could the Kings uh, be getting cool with that cap space? Cap space? Huh? Could the Kings be going after Kuzma with that cap space? They could. Uh, they don't have Harrison Barnes under contract anymore. He's unrestricted. Um, Kuzma would be an intriguing fit, that's They've for sure. Shout out to you, years. Kyle, for that great question. Been linked for years. Very intriguing piece. And he probably does want to be back in Cali. He, he, he probably. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can bet my bottom dollar he does. <laughs> <laughs> this is where they need to hurry. I have to use the bathroom. Yeah. Did, did they have the key, Mike? I didn't check. It was, the I'm door hoping was they cracked, do. So I just it walked in. So they have you um, left the crack though, right? Yeah, I did. Instead of it being five minutes, it's now four minutes twenty seconds. I don't know if y'all realize that. Our is they is there a thumb up that I can go use the bathroom? We hold it down. I promise you. Now you come back, everything on fire. Like the Donald Glover from Community meme. <laughs> uh, that, that'll be the reason why. If I leave and Maxwell Lewis is drafted, a fit will be thrown. <laughs> <laughs> all good, all good. We'll, we'll hold it down for sure. Um, 
Yeah, so we're definitely going to be seeing a lot. I think we're going to see a lot more movement, not just here, but like at the beginning of the second round as well. Uh, just people trying to play um, the salary game. Yeah. The salary game. These contracts are more expensive than a 31st overall pick. So we'll trade down for the 31st because we think that our guy, whoever that is, could still be available there, and we're going to save a little bit of money. Uh, that's a lot of the times with this this moving because there's no additional assets involved. Like, it's no. 24th overall pick for 31st. That's that's salary purposes. Yeah, I, I never really look at these late-night trades for, like, anything more than just, like, money. Yeah. Like, they just – or maybe some team be like, hey, I like him a little bit more. Hey, I like him too. I mean, like, let's switch. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like these type of conversations happens a lot that we just probably don't even get to hear or know about. Yeah, I, it's also the, uh, the fact that the CBA had a lot of rule, change, rule changes regarding the cap space, so – I think that teams are trying to clear up for the future because they know they could be locked up a little bit. Yes, for sure. Especially a team like the Boston Celtics just traded for Chris Asperzingas, who they, they're thinking that they will be able to reorchestrate his deal. But as of right now, Perzingis is making 30 plus million. Jalen Brown is up for a Supermax extension worth 300 million. Jason Tatum just got a Supermax expense extension. So, um, yeah, they got a lot of money tied into their current roster. So trading down a couple picks can save you a million bucks. And for some teams, it's that's worth it. You might That's need right. it. You might need it. Matthew asks, if you're the Kings, would you rather have OG or Pascal Siakam? Um, I mean, are you saying that what What are we getting up? Are we just saying in this hypothetical anything goes world? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I think you, you would have to trade. You got to trade. Yeah, you you got to give something up. But if we're saying that that's not super important, I think fit wise, OG Ananobi yeah. makes more sense. But skill wise, I mean, Pascal Siakam I think is Pascal would be, Yeah, I think Pascal would be a little bit cooler just. I could see him and Sabonis playing really well next to uh, each other in terms of, like, that front court. Um, but I think at an OG, and you also still have Chris Murray, who you're, you're, you're developing and everything, or Keegan Murray, I should say, who you're still developing, who looked really good last year at that four spot, too. Uh, Marcus Sasser not in the green room, um, but just got drafted, and they're throwing up the H's for him. So shout out to, to Marcus Sasser, and shout out to Houston um, for, for that one. Um, hey, you missed it, bro. No, nah, they still love Marcus Sasser, bro. You ain't missing nothing <laughs> at all. You ain't missing nothing at all. Um, but it, it, may be, it might be happening. I'm, I am extremely – can I Can I rant for six seconds? Yep. The You're Bulls the haven't now. traded until the – all of the trades is going down at the end of the first round that people are just finagling. You can't trade into the draft. Y'all don't have a couple seconds? We don't have anything, Mike. Nothing. And our people in charge are, are going to do a press conference tonight. Why? They're going to the they justify why they didn't do anything. And and call, there was no, ta- be, there was yeah, no talent in this draft. We were on the phones. That's what they did at the deadline. We were on the phones and nothing. Material. Man, get <laughs> something. Get the 58th overall pickers. Get something. Stop playing around with this city, man. It is kind of crazy to see us not have any draft Not picks. a pick, bro. We and the 76ers are the only teams in the draft without a pick. The 76ers got the MVP of the league. They're fine. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have that luxury. We need some, just some. The Bulls didn't even make the playoffs. And they out here with no draft picks. No draft picks to show for it. We could add Jet Howard. Because that's who was drafted with that. That's who you would have drafted if you were nope. if you were at 11. Nope. And you were the Bulls. Who would you have taken? Um, not Jet Howard. I'll tell, you, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I don't even remember who's left on the board. But it wouldn't have been Jet. Would you have taken Cam Whitmore? For the Bulls? Yeah. Nah. Jalen Shafino. Nah. Wallace. Keontae George. Nah, nah. I would have traded the pick. Jordan Hawkins? Keontae George. Jordan Hawkins? <laughs> Jordan Hawkins would have been cool. Um, what happened? I said Derone? No, I'm just saying oh. Keontae George. Oh. He, he don't fix nothing for y'all. Oh, no. I'm That's y'all problem. It's too much to fix. That's why your, <laughs> your dad called me earlier today. I said what? He called me too. Is Zach Levine getting traded today? I was like, nah. I, I don't like, think nah. it's happening today. I was like, nah, it's not going to happen. He called me. He was talking about trades. He said he didn't call you first because you talk too much. Because <laughs> he, he was like, if I would ask Pierre this, he would have been like, well, you know, UCLA, Zach Levine, you know, <laughs> you know, he went by this. He was like, no, I just want to know, is he getting traded, yes or no? And I was like, no. He's like, I right, bet. That was that was the end of it. What's second round? Such just a talker. <laughs> What second round pick do y'all think has the potential to be a star? Um, we don't even know who's in the second round. Yeah, I gotta yet. see who falls in the um, second round. But of the guys left, if any of them fail, I mean, we could just kind of play devil's advocate. I mean, if some of these guys fail, I would say them, but I, I don't know if they are. Like if Gigi Jackson fail, Max Lewis fail, Kobe Jones, Bryce Sensible, 
Yeah, but they still have also opportunities to get picked, so I don't yeah. want to say it yet. And he said star? Yeah. I don't think second round stars. What Woj Woj is okay. He's tripping. Obviously, because he can't say X team is selecting this, right? Shams can't. Sean say straight up, this is the Jeff. This is what this man Woj tweeted. Pacers are keeping the 26th overall pick and eyeing a mid-major riser on the board. So based <laughs> on what that, who is he who now he's playing this jigsaw puzzle with us. So we just have Maxwell what Lewis. Mid, may, is it Maxwell Lewis? Maxwell Lewis is mid-major. Okay. I see you. You kind of not a mid major, mm-hmm. you know. G League like obviously Bryce don't. Bryce Sabar went to Ohio State. That's not mid major. So yeah, um, yeah. Leonard Miller's G League. Gigi Jackson played in the SEC. Yep, yep. So I guess yeah, I guess it is him. But I mean, he can't say it. He's got, he's got the mid major riser. That's just Nick Smith Jr. played for Arkansas. Yeah, I just always got that. That respect for Wills because he be right on oh, TV, but hella we, tweets coming That's not up. who it is. A guy that ha- I've not seen his name on this J J uh, J's best available. Okay, and I actually I don't know this name. Oh no, that's not that's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. I I do recognize the name. Um, what does he look like? Your guess oh, is this good is as mine. this is this was in my mock. I am a GM. <laughs> you took him here. I am a GM. I am a GM. Yeah, I wish I, I, wish I was nah, a grandmaster. Yeah, I wish yeah, you nah, could just tell us. I'm just excited at to this see. point. We can just start. It's four picks left. It's Ben. Sh- uh, B- uh, uh, ben Shepard. Ben Shepard. Okay. Ooh. Ben Shepard out like of uh, out of a, a, a mid major. Yeah, especially after you got Jerry Walker, you got another dude that could just he just fits with what they do. He's nice three and D, but he can put the ball on the floor a little bit. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Quentin Grimes. Just is. His play style. And I like the ability that I love guys who can rebound the ball and push it. I'm sorry. Right. I think he could bring that to the table. He could bring that to the table for them. He thought Jay Howard was here. I had them taking mark. Jay Howard, but I also I oh. had Ben Shepard being they got a later pick or something. Twenty nine, I think. Oh you thought that's where he's gonna go? Yeah. Okay. Hey, um, he still ended up on he still ended up in But it game. also became Denver's pick anyway. Mm. Okay. Ben Shepard. I really like this pick, man. Yeah. You don't know nothing about know. him. God didn't think yeah. about him. I don't know. God didn't think about him. You know, he's talking. Man, I'm, just talking <laughs> I'm not saying you don't know. He... Sniper. <laughs> big, Sniper game Kodak. <laughs> Sniper game Kodak. Okay. Perimeter shooting. Okay. Yaka. Okay. I like that. I like that. Yaka. Okay. Okay. All right. It wasn't a for one and done. I like that. Let me go on my late, notes. I late in the first round. I'm confident on him. Yeah. My comparison. He got, he got that dead Oh, my comparison work. for him, Um, RJ Hunter. Uh, Joe Harris, Max Struess, Josh Richardson. My cops. Okay. Matt, uh, R.J. Hunter, Georgia State, <laughs> had uh, had big big Hunter falling out of his seat. Yeah. Hey, played a, play, had a cup of coffee with the Boston Celtics in his NBA he did. career. Yes, he did. Uh, and the Bulls. No, didn't happen. <laughs> Sorry to break that to you. It didn't happen. Um, I feel like Pacers got to be one of the funnest young teams, bro. Yeah. yeah. They were already fun, but they bring in two new players. It's going to be, I think, a race between them and also the Pistons of that, that young team that comes up and is solidified. Hey, the league runs through the, the Central Magic? Division. Magic, too. The league runs through the Central Division. <laughs> uh, Gigi Jackson? Hornets? Oh. I would actually prefer him in Utah. I think you, I would think Utah would be a more of a good Behind fit. an all-star power forward? Yeah. Just and you took Taylor Hendricks to power forward? Because <laughs> I feel like Charlotte... There's a lot of room for error. I think Gigi Jackson needs to be somewhere where there's, like, structure and guy. I think Utah will be more of a team where he can go and, like, learn how to play the game of basketball, whereas Charlotte, who they coaches, might just kind of throw him in the fire. Utah, Jeff? I forgot. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. Mike? I don't remember either. Y'all is tripping, bro. Y'all been in y'all bag with this draft work stuff. I give y'all that, but not knowing one of the 30. It's only 30 jobs in the league. I just kind of slipped my mind right now. So if I gave you his initials, you'll get it? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. W.H. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That face says it all. When I was on stream, I was talking about him and I described him, but his name slipped my mind, too. But the people knew who I was. They knew I was. I knew who I was talking about. I mean, but I know this is his first year as an NBA head coach. Me the, if you told me WH, I was going. 
I literally told you. We're not Chad. telling y'all, by the way. You just you're gonna have to get it right. Who's the coach of the I'm Chicago look Bulls? This shit up. Don't look it up. Who, yo, why are you looking it up? I'm going for the name. I'm about out my behind. So you, you just don't, don't know. know. You don't. I don't know. I forgot his name. Did you forget his name, or you don't? Nate, describe him. It's a white guy. <laughs> That's a good bet. <laughs> I mean, like actually, not like it's his That's race. That's a good bet. He comes from a place. Derek, nothing. Like, I'm Nick out. Smith Jr. just got drafted to the Charlotte Hornets, by the way. Shout out to Nick Smith Jr. Are you still in the draft? How did they invite this brother to the to the the green he room? Crying hard. He oh, went, no. He, he crying hard. Who, who cried? Bro, he crying hard. He waited a That's long. the face I make when I just got a whooping, bro. <laughs> he, he waited a long time for this, bro. He so did. Let him have Shout his moment, man. He Shout was probably getting a little nervous. Just because you had never experienced that don't mean you could tell. No, I'm just joking. It's okay. Will, it's Will okay. Hardy, bro. Will Hardy coaches the Jazz. You don't, he, I would. I didn't think. Yeah. Where no, did he I come from? I don't, they don't know. Oh, okay. They don't know. Who coaches the Hornets? I don't know. <laughs> Who coaches the Hornets? Wait, no, you no. fucking me up right now. Hold on. No, oh, what? <laughs> These might be the teams that need them contact no, creators on the, on the roster. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot LaMelo Ball. One of the most popular Instagram dudes you know, ever. play half the game. Yeah. Okay. Y'all have no idea. No. Steve Clifford. Oh, shit. Do we need to go through all 30 NBA uh, I'm, teams? I'm about now? to. I'm about to in a minute. Who I'm coaches gonna... the OKC Thunder? Matt Dayton. That's not how you pronounce it, but. Yeah, Dayton all, I think. And it's Mark. Mark. So actually, you got no. What did he say? I thought he said Mark. He said Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you I, I, get, I always, always fuck up points. his first name. I always fuck up his first name. Yeah, you get zero points. That's crazy. You, the, but the his last first, name, yeah, the first name is the easy. Part. Who coaches the Kings? Don't say nothing. Oh, Mike Brown. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, what you pause and wait? I had to think about. Who it. coaches the Pelicans? Willie Green. Okay. All right. You locked there. Who coaches the Cavs? Bickerstaff. He got a, he got all the brothers down. Who is who is Bickerstaff? <laughs> JB Bickerstaff. What do you call <laughs> that? Who coaches the Wizards? Uh I forgot. Your perfect streak of brothers ends right there, man. West Huntsville Jr. There you go, man. Oh. There you go. Um Nick Smith Jr., highly rated high player coming out of high school and everything. Um that's all I know about uh, the brothers. The, emotion, the emotional part, man. I just I can feel for him, bro. I think it's going to be good, man. I think it's a good pick for them. This is a high upside pick. That's why I said G.G. Jackson, but they chose to do it with Nick Smith. Um, yeah, was a top player coming in, had some injuries in college. I'm a little worried. I ain't going to lie. I mean, it is a new, a little bit of a new regime. I love that game about this game. That floater is beautiful. They last couple of, like, shooting guards, off guards, or combo type guards. That James Booknight. James Booknight, Malik Monk. They... Did not end up well with Malik that Monk franchise. popped off somewhere oh, yeah. else. They have a they ha, they've had a tough time developing talent. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, Shout out to Utah. Pick is in. Pick is in. Yeah. Um, it sure is. The pick is in. <laughs> Pierre Anthony, what college did Anthony Tolliver go to? Uh, TCU, I think. He got to wait for the answer. I gotta wait for the answer because I, oh, I thought you were asking that. <laughs> no, no, that's what, no, I was gonna be really surprised if you knew that. Is it TCU? I think. I don't and know. Uh, who asked? It came from chat. Rocco, shout out to Rocco. Rocco asked you. Got him stumped. Well, tell Rocco. Tell me what what college <laughs> Tyrese Halliburton went to. <laughs> Fuck Anthony Tolliver. I'm gonna I'm gonna name a prominent player. I like, the, I like the emotion he's showing here. Oh, he's in the chat for real? Yeah. Oh, well, never mind. He's going to be able to Google. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost at the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we really appreciate did, y'all coming did, out. Did Anthony tonight. Tolliver go to UTEP? No, nah, that doesn't sound right. Yeah. Rocco said Creighton. <laughs> oh. Shout out to Creighton and Anthony Tolliver. Unless I would have never guessed Creighton, by the way. Yeah, I, I don't know either. why TCU popped right in my brain, so I thought that was it for sure. Creighton, wow! Oh, there we go. Another shooting came from Creighton. Yep. A oh, couple. Bryce since the ball, man. About time. I what think you I had about. Uh, <laughs> I was thinking about Dougie. I was, I was thinking about Dougie Dermott too. Corver. Kyle Corver. Yep. 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 There you go. Bryce since the ball is uh, going to the Utah Jazz. Um, what did this say, KB? A bucket. Absolute bucket. 
Uh, Utah Jazz, Bryce Sensabaugh. Thank you. Uh, Utah Jazz might be in the, that's, you know, one of the top winners in this draft. Who they just draft with their pick a couple picks ago? I forgot that fast. Keontae George. Keontae George. And they also Taylor got Hendricks. Bryce Sensabaugh. Bryce Sensabaugh. Mm-hmm. It's, a good, it's a good class. Yeah, this is a, the Utah Jazz are having a very good draft night right now, man. He is a hard guy to project, man. Just look at that size. That size is what makes it kind of hard because he, he's like 6'6", six, six, but he's got a thick frame, but he can move like a guard. So, like, it's it's very hard to gauge. Like, look at that handle. Like that's, He, that's can, he has some good shot-creating abilities for his size, and it's going to be very fun to see him with the Utah Jazz. It is. They have a lot of – they have more of, like, a system where I feel like a lot of – it's not – a lot of over dribbling, except for maybe because Will Hardy like, came from the Spurs. Yeah, I mean, only guy you really see like that is maybe like Jordan Clarkson. So I guess adding another dude that can create a little bit, it's you know, it's kind of what they need. And Colin Sexton, Colin Sexton too. Colin Sexton <laughs> dribbling the hell he, out of the ball if you're allowed. To. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now the Pacers are going to select for Denver, correct? Yes, this is a trade. So yes. this is actually Denver's. Pick. This is the the most important pick of the entire draft, man. Why is that? Because they always numbers. nail their picks. Yeah. They do a damn good job finding that talent they at the end of the Christian first round. They found Christian Brown last year. Christian Brown. Yeah. Late. Let's see. They'll probably take Max Lewis and get him, of course. Of mm. course, the rich get richer. Hey, I mean, I can't blame them, man. They've done some great stuff. Traded for this pick during the NBA Finals. We know the heat chilling. We ain't worried about them. We worried about the next next week's draft. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Um, ooh, they drafted my boy. Oh, the the pick is already out. The pick is out. We won't spoil, even though we're one pick away from the end of the show. <laughs> but for the for the different Nuggets fans watching, Chad, I was we watching them on your phone when we was in pre production. Okay, I have a um. Let me see if I can find this. Um, years ago, I had a DM from this player. Look at you! It was before I knew. Obviously, before I knew anything about him. Um, and now it's not there. Great. What? Um, well, he was just saying, love the videos, bro. And he had a check mark. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I was like, oh, so you go to, you go to Gonzaga? And now he is getting drafted in the first round and going to the defending champions, man. So when we see him at Summer League 8. Hey, bro. Congratulations. We got a show tomorrow. Come through, I guess. You know? What you might he, as well. if he hits you later, like, you think I can see you at the end of the season? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Fuck it. We don't, we don't interview you. It don't hurt us to add another another uh, microphone to the set. You know, he might have some good insight. Look, I don't worry about that plotting on Jordan Hawkins. <laughs> <laughs> he going to slide that deal. Hey, Mr. Best Shooter in the country, you uh, you free? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't don't feel bad. We catch Derek liking stuff all the time. Oh uh, yeah, he don't comment, but we, we, I'll see a random picture on Explore and it say liked by D Mills. You're like, oh damn, Derek. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Derek not out there liking basketball clips. I tell you that. You know. <laughs> we we crazy or are you crazy? No self control. It's only it's Motherfuck, only a matter of time Derek for Twitter release some bookmarks too. Derek, Derek open up his IG Book right now. You gonna hear is because I got a cute face, my ways in it. <laughs> <laughs> How you hating on them? And you and my mate. <laughs> yeah, man. This this has been a, a beautiful time. We want to say thank you to everybody that's been hanging out with us. For sure. Oh, um, we definitely appreciate it. I had a lot of fun tonight. I think we're down to our last two picks. Yep. Then we got a straight talk timeout to wrap up these final 10 picks, give y'all our thoughts and opinions on the last 10 picks of the draft. I did not realize the draft was this long. Yeah. I yeah. didn't. We started, at, about six, three we started hours. at seven, right? Yes, yes, we been did. Three hours. Three, three, hours. three hours. That's an hour per 10 picks. That's actually insane yeah. when you really think about it. There's no way that they can doesn't need officially speed that up. But, but you know they want to run their TV ads. They got to run that up. That's so. that's for sure. But they also want to give you their analysis on all of the picks as well. Yeah, so a lot yeah. of people put in a lot of time for yeah. this draft stuff for it to just be 15 minutes. Yeah, true. Well, all no, the yeah, hours and minutes. the time. of re- You think you put in research? Imagine the people who was scouting Keontae George when he was in high school. Yeah. And now it's just like, oh. And even deeper than that, the players themselves want their f- yeah, five, they get them their five yeah. minutes before they get to the league. Um, so shout out to Julian uh, from Gonzaga, Julian, Julian Strother, 
um, great drafted. catch and shoot guy. I think could come in and fit in with Denver easily. Used to playing with top tier talent at Gonzaga. He should fit in seamlessly. Smooth operator, man, with deep, deep Ooh, range. I didn't realize he was six seven. Deep, yeah, deep say, range. Give him a little bit more size too. The Nuggets know how to find some guys, and him coming in and being able to play with Jokic and Jamal Murray is just he, he had a crazy game winner earlier this season, didn't he? Right okay. I, I didn't even think he was going to get drafted in the first, I'll be honest. So, Denver really liked what they saw with this with this kid. And then the last pick is going to be the Los, Los Angeles, Angeles Clippers. 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 I would love to see them take Kobe Jones since they weren't able to get Malcolm Brogdon. I also got that. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Um, yeah. No, yeah, this is the last pick. Of, man. Clippers. 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 So is guard? You think they gotta go guard? I mean, according to Jay, there's only guards left available that on the big board. Oh, sorry, GG still there. City Leonard Miller still there too. Yes, City and Maxwell. Lewis. So, so cold is a good one too. I, I don't think I've seen any drafts where it was Leonard Miller falling this low. Same. He's, he's yeah. usually I thought he was gonna be top twenty. Honestly, I could see him going Leonard Miller either Maxwell Lewis right here. I'm gonna go Kobe Jones, ready to hoop. Out of Xavier, guard, like Malcolm Brogdon. Yeah. Do a little bit of everything. If I'm a young player, I don't really want to play for the Clippers. I it sang. says that the, they need help. <laughs> the health's the Damn. That's crazy. <laughs> hey, draft process. Are you healthy? Right. <laughs> Get a jersey. That's such a bare minimum requirement to become a Clipper. <laughs> <laughs> Be healthy. You just need to play. <laughs> That, that's very good analysis, though, because if the Clippers are healthy, they I, I, who knows how many championships this team has? <laughs> Especially with Chris Paul, the Chris Paul Blake Griffin era. Now they with the I, Paul the Warriors George, still exi- the Warriors are still intact. They get they get one. They get one. They get one. With Lob City. Yeah. I wish. <laughs> now I got to root for the for the Warriors for the next season. Or Chris Paul might get moved again. <laughs> I guess it's possible. Yeah. I doubt it though. They, f- they feel like Chris Paul is there. Or they could guy. take Ryan Ruper. Yeah. Defensive wing. I don't know how people do it. You do what? These three hours got me ready to sleep. I'm hungry. These people that's working, they got the whole second round to go through, too. For real. Uh, but I feel you, D-Mills. Yeah. Not eating dinner yet is, is something, too. So, And I, I wish I had some popcorn. You oh, do got some popcorn. Oh, I do I wish I had some popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's how D Mills was when we was doing the stream at my house. He, he I wasn't even paying attention. He was like, I wish I had some food. <laughs> he looked dead at home. <laughs> we had to sit there and watch the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> while, while y'all ain't getting none of that, uh, what we always get over there. Oh. They he did eventually. Yeah. Oh, they got there. <laughs> he did. We was eating it during the stream. I mean, I was. Mike Mike waited until it was right. cold. <laughs> I was told we could kick it, eat, and I was Look, gonna do it. All he needed, all you heard in the microphone. Yeah, all you needed was that. Mouse sauce on the IFB. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> got it, man. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, the Clippers having the last pick and using every second is gonna blow. Me. <laughs> like For a real, though. hey, it's the Kyron effect. It's, yeah, yeah. It's not like this team has been very sensible in making decisions like this before. What if they take Andre Jackson out of UConn? Defensive monster. I like T uh, T J D for them. I, I like T J D too. Jackson Davis. <laughs> <laughs> what college he went to? He went Indiana. to yeah okay. Indiana. I did a little bit of draft work. Uh, What's your comp for him? He remind uh, me of oh. like a. I don't. The pick is in. I probably say like a long four. Larry Nance for me. I was thinking uh, Draymond Green with like a Steph Curry wow. jump shot. Wow, this I was a very that. surprising one. So G. G. would have been a top tip, top five pick. Gigi Jackson falls. <laughs> Leonard Miller falls to the second round. Max Lewis falls to the second round. Trace Kobe Jones. The Lion pick is Rupert. in, and I'm going to tell you, it is another Kobe. There's a lot of Kobe's in the league right Kobe now, Brown. man. Kobe Brown. From Missouri. It is, the, is the pick he at 30. He went from being able to not shoot to being lights out this past year. Mm, like he shot the, the nets off the rim. I would be a little afraid of that. I don't even know if we have a graphic of Kobe Brown. I ain't heard that name before. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mizzou's also produced some other NBA players like MPJ. Jordan Clarkson. Oh, good call, Mike. Derek, add one more. He started somewhere else first, though. Tulsa. From Mizzou? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. That's fine. Give us one more, KB. Did no. you say MPJ? Did somebody say MPJ? Yeah, he did. Oh, then that's it. <laughs> good pull. Kim English used to play for the Pistons. Very weird shaped head for Kim English. <laughs> Also, one of the zoos you drafted in the 15th round of a fantasy draft because he could score a little bit in 2K back in the day. So that's oh, my gosh. I, I could not possibly know they're at, they're talking about. Oh, they're probably talking about the Clippers. <laughs> oh, Because J.J. played for them eventually well, for a little bit. This is the last selection from Mr. Last Silver. Selection. His night is over. Yeah. He said, I'm in a back room eating barbecue chick. Yeah. And you know what? This year, he's had a couple names that were difficult, but not a crazy year for him. Oh, yeah, true. Not a crazy year, you know? Because you know he knew Wimbyama. He definitely knew Wimbyama. <laughs> they bought the rights to <laughs> make sure we all know Wimbyama. Yeah, yeah we know Wimbyama. So, Air- AirPods is probably the toughest name. With names. the conclusion of the 30th pick belonging to the Clippers, and they're taking Kobe Brown out of Mizzou. Like I said, really, really talented shooter and score uh, wing from uh, from last year and improve. A lot with the jump shot, as we'll probably see here in these clips. 252 pounds. That's a big, oh, strong boy. boy. Look at him. Moving him with that spin move. I Six, like seven, that. 7250. Sheesh. Yeah, do your thing. Grown man. Love it. I guess we'll see what happens. Clippers struggle with making the right draft picks, too, later Being in the draft. Being able to shoot like that at 252. Derek, you got some work to do. <laughs> um, now we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna jump into our final straight talk timeout. Derek, favorite pick of these last 10 picks? Um, can you run it back to me real quick? They're right there oh, in front wait. of your face. My bad. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go Cam Whitmore. Cam Whitmore going to Houston was probably one of my favorite ones just because he was projected to go so high. And in Houston, able to walk out of here with that, I think it's a W. I think that that classified as the last word, but we'll let it slide. Um, my favorite here is probably going to be Derek Whitehead. Um, I like players that have really high high school like ratings. Um, I feel like a lot of those dudes end up translated even if they don't do well in college. So we'll mm-hmm. see if that's the truth. Um, I'm going to go with Omex going to the Mavericks. I feel like a lot of the questions he had is just like how much can he really create at that next level. But with Luka Doncic and Ky- uh, maybe Kyrie, he doesn't have to. He can just, you know, focus on being a, a shot maker and defender. For me, I think I'm going to go with – it slipped my mind. I swear I had it. It wasn't Chris Murray at Port. Oh, Noah Clowney going to the Nets. Noah Clowney was a good pick, I think, similar to the Nicholas Claxton pick that they had where it kind of just went, and then Nicholas Claxton turned to something. I think Noah Clowney can be like that for them. Rangy, long, added more defensive, uh, you know, to the front court. I like that pick for the Nets. Most disappointing pick, Derek. Um, What were they again? I'm honestly – I forgot the last 10 you picks. You had Kobe Brown. Yeah. We're only doing a draft show. Julian Strauss. I, I will say. I will say. Uh, Marcus Sasser. Brent, Bryce Sensabaugh got twenty eight. Oh yeah. Nixon I thought Bryce Sensabaugh should have went. Well, was going to go much higher than what he doing. What he went. Ben Shepard at twenty six. Twenty five. Marcus Sasser, who got traded to the Pistons. Sacramento traded Olivier Maxine Prosper to the Mavs. Portland. Chris Murray. Um, Noah Clowney is twenty one. And Cam Whitmore twenty. Mike, most disappointing. Mm, I feel like there wasn't many disappointing ones in this one. I mean, it's just, I guess it's still like Cam Whitmore. I feel like Cam Whitmore could have used a little more for a place where I feel like they already just got so much. It's going to be hard for him to kind of just get involved and get his shot going. He's going to have to do it in a lot more areas to get like consistent, like, you know, the reps and the minutes that he probably needs. I'm going to be honest. Maxwell Lewis not being picked there for me was definitely big time disappointing. I can't wait to see where he goes. I agree with KB a little bit. Marcus Sasser is really good, but I felt like he was going to be there in the second round. I did too. I think that was a big, big uh, jump, especially the pisses are on the clock right now to start the second. I think he definitely would have been here. So that was a little bit interesting one um, for me. James Najee at 31. For the Pistons? But he's going to Charlotte. That's good That's for Charlotte. good. That's great for, That's Charlotte. for Charlotte. Hey, shout out to everybody again that came out to the show. Any any last words from chat? Let's see what they say, just, man. Just know that we have a great love for you because this is definitely a longer night. So if you stayed through the whole Appreciate thing, you're the real, real Hayden. Hayden's any love the stream. Thank you, Hayden. 
Um, so much shot creation in Houston from NBA Laney saying Houston got some got some going on over there. Um, that's a, that's about it, man. Chat was amazing tonight, man. Yeah, Thank you so chat. much, chat. Um, and shout out to Straight Talk again for for sponsoring this. Um, available at Walmart and Walmart.com. If you're on the YouTube channel, head over to the BR app because Wasser, Weisserman, um, Wasserman, my fault, Weisserman, is giving us draft grades on the BR app. Can't wait to see what his grades are for some of these teams. Very man. interested. So go over, show some love to him. Um, and they also are giving winners and losers of the draft so far. And we all know that that's a super fun thing to do. And I got to get home, check out the second round. So Maxwell Lewis, I can know where he going. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you again, everybody. Love. And we'll see y'all soon, baby. Peace.